the opening batters for Berkshire are number one on the scorecard, Johnny Connell, and number five on the scorecard, Savin Pereira. So hello and welcome to the NCCA One Day Cup Final. We have Berkshire versus Cumbria in the fourth time in a row they're meeting at this lovely ground at Wormsley Estate. Let's see who will come out on top. Berkshire have won the last three in a row. So Cumbria will be wanting to make amends for the last three years. I'm joined by Steve Brewer. Myself is Will Hewlett and we are bringing you the live commentary from today's game. So let's hope for a good day, Steve. Yeah, no, morning, Will. Absolutely fantastic setting here at Wormsley. Obviously, the Getty Estate owns. Absolutely, it is. It is fantastic here. It's, it's, it's been known and said to be one of the most prettiest cricket grounds in the world, really. Not just in England, in the world. So it's definitely living up to that expe expectation today. Absolutely. I'm spending some time on the grounds from this morning. He reckons it's a belter of a wicket, lots of runs in it. And they obviously have got a 24-7, 365-day-a-week job here. Mm. Not only looking after the cricket ground, but all the estates, grounds, as well as the opera house in the background and the deer park. So mm. Berkshire are batting first after Cumbria have put them into bats. Um, the opening batter will be Johnny Connell on strike with his partner Savin Pereira. And Michael Slack will be taking the new ball. 50 overs aside, hopefully no rain, so we do get a full game in today. The sun is shining, but there's a few clouds about. So the bowler is at the top of his mark. He bowls, hits him on the five pad, but no run. Opening the bowling for Cumbria from the Deer Park end, number five on the scorecard, Michael Slack. So it's hard to tell what will be a good score, really. I mean, it's, you know, they, Cumbria wanted to chase, obviously. Um, so they'll feel, if they can get some early wickets, they'll restrict them to a decent total. But it looks a good wicket. It looks hard and flat as Slack comes in the bowl. And he beats, beats the outside the edge. We Little are bit. now in the first power play that lasts 10 overs, when a maximum of two fielders are permitted outside the 30-yard circle. And you're probably all getting the tunnel announcements there, so you've got additional commentary in the background. Obviously, a lot of rain around yesterday. Um, as the groundsman said, there was a bit of rain here yesterday, but it looked pretty pretty firm when we went out onto the wicket first thing. But set to be a good day here. Not too much rain around, so we should get, get this game through today. So two dot balls. And he just lets that one go by. So a steady start. Berkshire here. I'm sure they'll want to get a, get a good opening partnership, set the tone, and then they can go from there. They've got some big players coming back into their team, two Middlesex players um, of Davies and Greatwood, who have come back into the Berkshire 11. But it's currently Connell on strike. So he faces up for his fourth delivery. And again, he just lets that one go by. The Cumbria fielders seem to be quite excited about that. I wonder if there's a bit of movement out on the pitch. I think they're just seeing how it goes on the early doors, just just get themselves in. Last thing you want to do is get an early absolutely early walk back to the pavilion. Be interesting to see if this white ball is moving out there. We know it's been moving in the hundred ball competition. Wonder if it's the same batch of balls. We'll see. An early break for a Cumbria will be brilliant for them here. In comes Slack. He bowls, and this has played off his legs. Nice shot. They've taken the single. There should be an easy two there. The ball runs away quite quickly to the outfield. It could get a three. Oh, they've taken the arm yeah. on. Slightly wayward throw, and they do come back for three. So they've opened the count there. And hitting up the hill there, the groundsman was saying that there's about a two-meter slope, similar to Lord's. I don't know whether that was by design. But obviously, yeah. Uh, down the bottom end by the scoreboard, it will run away quickly. And obviously these two teams have been matched against each other for the last few years in this competition, with Berkshire having won the last three, I believe. Yeah, Berkshire have been strong in this competition. They've got a good squad. 
Cumbria definitely the underdogs here today, but you never know in a final. So it looks like Pereira is a left-handed batsman. He takes his guard and he sets himself. The last ball of the over. And it's flicked off his legs down the final Easy just single. for one run. So four runs off the first over. No wickets. Not a bad over from either side. Gets the game underway. Looks like Moulton's going to be coming on the other end. Opening your bowling for Cumbria from the Dibley end. Number seven on the scorecard, Edwin Moulton. So you've probably heard the Dibley end there. That's because uh, the vicar of Dibley was actually filmed in the valley at that end. So a little bit of general knowledge for you. And obviously the slope's just slightly moving away from the left-handed batsman here. Which will give the bowler something to, to assist him. So Moulton comes in for a first over to Pereira. Pereira down the leg, half an appeal. This should be a leg by, I think. They've gone to the second, this could be close, but no, he gets in quite comfortably. Umpire gives it leg buys. So first two balls for Pereira, both off his legs. And score moves on to six for no wicket. Moulton with the long runner. Comes into Prairie Bowls and a solid in the fence there. Cumbria players definitely up for this. Fair bit of chat in the field. I think early breakthrough will be key here, Steve. You know, if they can get one or two wickets in the power play, those first ten overs, they will be... Uh, They'll be delighted with that. Absolutely. And he comes now. And Good he ball. plays and misses at that. Must have done enough just to beat the edge. See so that natural slope as well coming across. He's going to help the bowler just to get that extra little bit of movement. Yeah, the uh, ground's been said from where we're commentating up by the pavilion here, there's a two-metre drop-off um, from one end of the boundary to the other towards the scoreboard which you can't really tell from up here, but it is significant once you're down the bottom end. So here comes Moulton again. Pereira goes to drive, but catches half a bat and goes to mid on for none. Just about finding the good, right areas of the bowlers now, isn't it? Just hit those areas off stump. You're going to get a natural movement away. It's just finding that line at the moment, isn't it? Moulton just... Just pushing a couple of balls onto the leg stump, early doors. You can just find his his length, and that's far better. That's exactly where he needs to be aiming it. And there's a little bit there in the wicket for the bowler. Early on, yeah, well left. So still six for naught. Just look and take things easy. And we've got one ball left to the over. Moulton comes in again. And just blocked. And that's the end of the over. So a tidy over there from Moulton. Only a few from it. Sorry, no, it was a maiden, my apology. Leg buys. Leg buys. <laughs> so I think... Each team is sort of feeling each other out at the moment. Some good areas from the bowlers, a couple shots from the player, from the batsman, but nothing outrageous yet. We've got a decent crowd in at the moment. Eleven minutes past seven. Uh, ele seven minutes past eleven. And my apologies. Were you got drinking last night, Lord? No, no. <laughs> also, I can't read the time. <laughs> so slack is on again for a second over. Solid in defence there from Connell. 
Yeah, the crowd just starting to build up now, isn't it? A few more people coming through there. Through the stars. It's looking set for a good day here. But what a glorious place to play cricket. Talking to the groundsman, I was really surprised how many games they actually play here a season. It's about circa 45 games a season. Wow, now, so really? It's, it's a lot of work for the groundsman's sake. Slacking again. And he's just cut that down past yeah. Gully. It'll probably be at least there. two there as it runs away down the hill. He'll be looking for it. It's in his hand now and it comes back in. Yep, two yeah. runs there to Connell. I think that down the slope, that's where you can potentially score some quick runs if you hit the gaps. Berkshire just taking it steady. And obviously Berkshire beating Wiltshire in the semi-final, which we'll see we were at. Absolutely, at yeah, we uh, live stream and commentated on that game. It was quite a close game. They had Berkshire sort of on the ropes, but a, a good middle order partnership with Davies, and they soon got over the line, so. In comes Slack, and that's left. Another dot ball. Very much at the moment, just steady pace, isn't it? It's just hit, hitting the easy balls at the moment, yep. and not making any mistakes. No, the bowlers are hitting good line of lengths. No freebies uh, as of yet. See two slips in, Gully. Point short cover, middle mid off, and square leg and fine leg. In comes in slack play. again. Can't and come down the wicket a over bit the there. Over top, over mid on. Clinks it over the inner ring. Didn't Initial really get hold of that, did he? No. The intent was there. He, yeah. he, he shuffled down the wicket, um, but didn't get all the bat, but enough to get two at least. But a little bit aerial, you have to say. The Cumbria players are, didn't mind that. The boundary is short, straight, isn't it? It is. So I think that's obviously one of the targeted areas, especially early on in this power play. Looking to make the most of any opportunities. Connell just plays this off his hip into mid wicket for none. So Barcher a 10 without loss so far. I think they'll be looking for anywhere between sort of 240, 260. Yeah. Especially in a final, runs on the board, scoreboard yeah. pressure. I can't imagine the wicket will deteriorate too much. No, it looks really solid, really, really solid. Obviously, a good toss to win just to take advantage. Blocked again. If any moisture it's around, isn't it? Just in this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. It stays fair. It should be a little bit easier to bat on. So move on to ten for no wicket. After three overs, yep. steady start. Just the one really attackive, attackive shot. Didn't quite get hold of him during that over. Yeah. So a little bit about the NCCA, which obviously the competition they're playing at the moment um, stands for the National Counties Cricket Association. Um, they used to be called the MCCA, the Minor Counties Cricket Association, for 124 years. In comes Moulton. Moulton. Pereira solid in defence there. So obviously I think the NCCA representative is going to come across a bit yes. later, isn't he? Just yeah. have a chat with us. Yeah. Yeah. The main thing of the NCCA really is just to get the minor counties onto the sort of bigger stage, make it attractive playing cricket. Um, and they're, they're they're doing this by playing more one day fixtures where previous um, it would be sort of a longer format. So Moulton's in again to Pereira. Pereira comes down, but. Plays it down, no run. They have the T20 competition, um, the one-day cup, which is today, and they also play the three-day games as well. So um, a good variation, lots of minor counties play. This one-day trophy especially is split in four groups, so there's group stages. Then it goes into knockouts as Moulton comes in again. Ooh, Pereira goes to pull that and it hits him in the ribs I think but they do sneak a quick single see what the umpire gives yeah, yeah. leg by Gibbon just looking to play a pull shot there didn't really yeah, get hold of it at all did he no missed that but he was looking to looking to capsulise yeah. but missed out there I think so yeah Cumbria were in group 1 and Berkshire were in group 2 of the uh, knockout stages well the group stages sorry they both topped their groups um, and got into the knockouts and they've made their way all the way into the final, like we said, for the fourth time in a row. And that is quite unusual, isn't it? It Both is. Both sides making the yeah. finals for the fourth year in a row. Yeah, there's five five teams in each group. 
So out of 20, 20 uh, teams, it's, it is quite strange to have two teams back in the final again for the fourth year. So Connor on strike here to Molson and just lets that one go by. It's going down at quite a good pace, you'd say. Yeah, no, it's steady. It's just hit back here in the good areas, isn't it? Early doors, just trying to get the batsman to reach a little bit. That's hence why we've seen quite a few balls just left alone early doors. Hasn't really been any balls to really go after. No, definitely no freebies as of yet. So Cumbria you know, set, set out quite well early doors. Molson in again to Connell. He just down backs this to the offside area, but no run taken, and that will be. And the umpire's just having a little word no, with I the bowler there. Yeah, there's one ball left. I think the umpire's just saying he's kind of in the danger zone there on his follow through. Just giving him a little warning there, I think. I think umpire doesn't look too happy. Yeah, that might have been a first warning. Mm, it did look like it. So, Connor on strike with one more ball to go in this over. Oh, he goes for a drive there, gets an inside edge onto his pads. Another good over from Moulton yeah. there, isn't it? Cumbria players are up for this. They're, they're pretty chirpy in the field. So, Moulton, two overs, two maidens. Great start. Yeah, absolutely. Good but we pace. think he might have just got a warning there for his follow on. The umpire didn't seem too happy. The umpire is in his book at the moment. He did put it, uh, one finger notification, I think, to the captain. Mm. So it could well be that he's had a warning. So we'll Barcher, uh, 11 without loss. A steady start after four overs, but they I don't think they would mind this. I think they'll have enough players to, to kick on if they do build a steady platform. Yeah, you just want to really just get a steady, steady start and then explode later. Yeah, so slack into Prairie now. Prairie drives lovely, lovely through shot. the covers. That was going to run away for four. Yeah, the four first runs. boundary of the day on the bat of Pereira. Lovely shot through the covers. Best shot of the day so far, cover drive. Yeah, four runs, really got behind. Just, just punched, lent really. It, yeah. Just punched it. Just lent on it. It was a lovely half volley. And the quality of the outfield here and the, set, and the setup is superb. Yeah, Slack did pitch it up there. It deserved to be hit. It's about hitting gaps, isn't it? If you can hit those gaps... This outfield is reasonably oh, quick, especially lightning. down the hill, and that was up the hill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just lent on that four runs, great shot. Slacking again to Pereira, he's in, and he just lets that one go by. Slightly short of a length then from Slack, adjusting his length after being driven through the covers for four. I think that's what the bowlers have got to concentrate on, not bowling too full. Mm. The last ball was a little bit full, mm, just punched it through four. It was a lovely shot, just lent on it, straight out the middle it's of the It's just pulling those lengths back a little bit, isn't it? Hit the top of off. Which they've done pretty well, in fairness. That's a better length. Pereira just defends that into the onside. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? You need to find that happy medium in between that slightly back of a length, but yeah. also full enough to invite the drive or to get any yeah. movement off the pitch. And I think it's um, definitely using the slope here. And, you know, if the teams haven't played on pitches with quite dramatic slopes, then it takes a little bit of getting used to them. They've always said that at Lords. Yeah. It's just finding your right areas and to yep. utilise that slope. And obviously, slack here needs to be just putting it just a little slightly further outside of stump. And that's a good area and a, yep. and a leave. Tempting areas, but Pereira was smart enough just to let that one go by. He's picked his shot so far. So, two balls left of the over. Don't think I've seen so many trees on the outlook of this ground. Yeah. It literally is an, in a by bowl in the countryside and you've got forests all around us. Yep. Absolutely amazing. Short to ball. shorter pitch and it's just gone over the mid-wicket fielder. Again, he, it didn't look like he got fully hold no, of that. This might not go to the boundary. The fielder's in chase, it's gone. Yeah, it's bounced. it just goes. So Pereira on the back foot pulling. Did not get all about on that and it just cleared the mid-wicket fielder. Only just. Looking on back in our replay. He's outstretched hand, just over the top. It's almost a bounce, is not as much as they're expecting. No, no, he did pull it, it didn't probably get above his waist. No. But enough to get four runs. So two fours in the over for Pereira. And obviously down the hill there, and he just ran away from yeah. him. Yeah, Fielder gave a, gave so a good chase, but not enough. Slack in, Ooh, last ball the over. for a drive there. <laughs> he came walking down the wicket there. Bit of Pereira. rush of blood there for Pereira, but that's over. So Barkshire 19 without loss inside five overs. Again, just under four and over. It's an okay start, power yeah. play. Yeah, they want to make the most of the two 
Wickets probably in favour of the bowlers early on. Yeah. So this power play, you only allow two fielders outside the ring. Usually with the pace bowlers on, you have at least one man behind the keeper, either a fine leg or a third man. Um, they currently do have a third man at the moment. A uh, fine leg, sorry. So Moulton so far has bowled two maidens. Let's see what he can do here against Connell. It's a little short of a length and Connell just plays that back to him. I think that's the length to hit on this pitch looking like early doors. It's just getting the bats from behind it, isn't it? They almost don't want to play those balls. No. So they're just slightly short of a length. Anything full, Bucks are looking to get get hold of, aren't they, quite quickly. But I've got to say, the Cumbria bowling so far has been really good. Will he get his, his third maiden? Again, Ooh, so get another good ball. Yeah. And not there, really, for the no, ball shot. No, uh, Connell couldn't connect with that one. Hit him in his thigh pad. He got back and across to look to pull it. And again, the bounce, not quite. It's not quite short enough. Almost, but no, not quite short enough. I mean, you say the shot is on with the field they have set. Um, I think the batsmen are expecting more bounce. Yeah, you'd think They've so. They've definitely tried to pull three or four shots yeah, now. Yeah, well, Pereira pulled not been there. a couple overs ago and it hit him in the rib. That one hit um, Connell sort of in the hip, but... In comes Moulton. Again, hitting good length Ooh. outside of stump and played and missed. A little bit more in that. Yeah, that was, a bit of back a bit that was an effort ball there from Moulton. That's just, yeah, a yeah. little bit of movement away. Good carry to the keeper. Connell sort of nerdled with that one. Yeah. Keeper liked that one. It's, it's that short of a length delivery again is, is getting benefit. Cumbria trite chirpy in the field now, which is good to see. So Connell just taking a moment there, he's just having a word with himself and he comes back into the crease. Moulton comes in again, bowling at a good pace. Ooh. Mm. Connell goes for a drive there, gets another that inside pad. edge. And that didn't bounce. No, see that one just <laughs> sort of skidded on a little yeah, bit. It did. So maybe there is a little few demons in the picture, we'll see. Maybe it's just a new ball. Maybe once the ball sort of wears off. Do you want to say that too loudly? The groundsman's just walked by him, do you? <laughs> oh, we'll see. We will see. Well, I think Connell's looking to get on with it here. He is, He's looking yeah. to get on with it. His teammate maybe Pereira have hit a few boundaries, but Connell yet to strike any clean balls. And he and goes again, for another boom and drive, and he misses. misses it. There's a little interesting bit of movement. to see if there's movement there on the replay. Let's see if we can. I think a little bit. Just see something there. That's, that was a really good ball. Connell looking to get after it. it was quite wide of the crease. There's, yeah, there's definite movement too. away. Definite movement away, which is a good effort from the bowler because it's coming back up the hill. Yeah, Moulton, when he, in, his, in his delivery stride, he is right on the edge of the crease there. Bowls very wide and then sort of angles it in towards the batter and gets it moving away. So some good pressure here from Moulton, good dots. And he comes again to Connell. Never short length ball, blocked, no yeah. run. Again, he's got... Moulton with a little stare there Another maiden, Connell. another <laughs> oh, maiden. He's loving it. Three over three maidens from Moulton. A little smirk from Moulton He there. really has bowled well. Yeah. He's hit the good areas. So he's got the ball to seam up the hill as well. Takes good skills. And built some really good pressure there. It almost feels like Connell's just just feeling the pressure a little mm. bit. Seven off 20 balls. Yeah, he's uh, he's soaking up quite a few dots. Doesn't look quite as settled as uh, Pereira. Pereira, you'd say, maybe is the more aggressor at the moment. But that will give chances as well, as we saw. Almost a catch at wicket He just cleared the fielder. So we'll see what he does here. Slack has been hitting good areas. So we've got two slips and a gully as well. So Deppy catches in. So in he comes now. It's left alone again. Yeah. He's just looking to pick the right ball, Pereira. Right thing to do. Yeah. Obviously the bowling figure's quite 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 different at the moment. Mm. You've got Moulton three mm. over three maidens. You've got Slack it's gone for sixteen off yeah, three. I don't think Slack will mind that though. There's been a couple chances. I don't think he'll mind it too much. Cumbria have kept the field in, like we say, two slips in a gully, so definitely attacking. Offside still up. What can Slack do here against Pereira? Pereira goes for on drive, doesn't connect. Didn't get didn't get a hold of that one, did he? No. Not really taking the advantage of the power play at this, at this moment in time. Let's 
looks like points just being pushed out of deep point. Fine leg's still out, so you've got two men now outside the ring. Previously operating with just one outside the ring. In comes Slack. Oh, that was a half shot there from Pereira. He didn't. Good teasing fully ball, though, wasn't it? Good te Pushed out point to deep point. Yeah. And then just dropped it a little bit shorter outside yeah. of stump. Trying was, to get him to try and cut. Absolutely. It was a half shot there. Didn't fully commit. It was there. And moving away. You wouldn't really say it was there to cut, it no. was in that good area. And again, moving the ball up the hill. So a good few balls so far from Slack. Building a bit of pressure. Yep, just works well through. Well there by Pereira. Through He's gully. It. Coming back for two. There. So we just lent on that one. Behind backward point. Sort of through the gully area. <laughs> Keeper just takes down the stump there on the, on the throw in. Don't know really whether he needed to push out this point to deep point, to be honest. I mean, they've, they've built some pressure there. Yeah, it's almost I, opened up that gap for them to actually try and play into. Yeah, Pereira, you'd feel, you know, if you kept the, the backward point up, Pereira yeah. has to... I mean, obviously, if he gets enough out there, it will fly through, but yeah, yeah. it's the catching chances they want. And, it, you know, Cumbria definitely want to take early wickets. I think they want to get a chokehold in yeah, this they've game. They've taken out an opportunity there, I think. Yeah, I just, it's an easy, easy shot for yeah. Pereira now. And you say it's one of his favoured shots on that offside. I mean, it's probably a 30-yard gap and just drop it and there's two. Mm. And again, cuts. Slack, yeah. Cuts and in front of square this time. Doesn't get all of it, just the one. Well fielded. And again, I think that's my, easy. That's my point. Easy, yeah. If there was a point there, yeah, <laughs> there wasn't a run. Yeah. <laughs> They've actually easy, just though. given them that gap, which yeah. was a bit of a strange decision, that. Mm. I'm sure there was, a, there was a plan in there somewhere. Maybe they feel they want to get Connell on strike and attack maybe, him. Maybe, maybe, because Connell's now you know, seven off 20 balls now facing. But you feel in the open, you know, opening a few overs, I think both batsmen are just as likely yeah. to uh, give a chance. There's I know Prayer has hit a few boundaries, but. There is movement in this wicket, so yeah. which we've seen early doors, so. Yeah, a bit strange letting them have one there, but in comes Slack to Connell. Oh, oh, that's because out. And that's out. out. Caught, Caught cover. cover. Good catch. Earlier wicket for Cumbria. Connell has to go. We did say Connor was looking a bit nervy. He has to depart for seven. Yeah, he, the pressure was on him there, really. Very too. nice catch there at cover. He needed to up his scoring rate. Yep. Ball was just slightly Bobby there, Connell not fully was there. Caught by Sam Dutton. Bold Michael Slack for seven. There you go. Yeah. So they kept the field in. They had a sort of a catcher in at cover, which was. I think that's a good move. Worked to the plan. I think yeah. That's a good move. You know, so you're they were always bowling, get a chance. Yeah, they were bowling slightly back of a length. Had to, it was a bit uppish from uh, from Connell. Like I say, he didn't look. He, he didn't, didn't look, look settled. Not at all. So new batsman Woods, I believe. Yep, Ewan Woods. Very good player in this competition he's so got, far. He's got a bit of pedigree in this competition he so does, far, hasn't he? He does, yeah. He's the one to watch for Berkshire. The new batter for Berkshire is number three on the scorecard, Ewan Woods. So Woods, he toured India um, when he was younger with Harry Brook and Ollie Pope of England um, for the England under-19s back in 2016-17. So he's been in amongst the, the top of the top. Um, so good pedigree. Yeah, and he's hit some. He's hit some good runs in the uh, in a few of these games. He's hit some some centuries. So he's played 121 matches for his club. Was his county he, he career? He could he's break the 4,000 run barrier if he gets just um, needs 65. 65 today, and he'll get 4,000 runs, averaging just short of 34. 16 50s and 600s. Yeah, his best was 184 inch Dorset back in 2019. So he's definitely uh, got a lot of runs under his belt. So this would be a massive wicket for Cumbria here. And obviously eight years in this competition. He's got good experience levels. Yeah. He also bows a little bit of spin as well. He's got 91 wickets with his off spin. So, molten in. So Pereira, and he just pulls. That's the first run he's given away. Yeah, yeah. Just pulls out the sort of the wide fine leg. Just the one. And this brings Woods on strike for his first ball. So Two left-handers in though. Yes. What can Molson do? He's bowled at very good areas. Which is quite a tall batsman, you'd say. Yep. So what have we got in the field? We've got two slips and a gully, so a similar field. We've Point, got points in. Yeah. Short legs to cover. Mid off, mid on. What can Molson do here? To the big wicket of Woods. In he comes now. Good and area. Woods lets that go by. Seems like there was a bit of movement there. 
Yeah, it looks like it was coming back up the hill again mm. from uh, the keeper's movements. The wind just starting to get up. I think we've got about six or seven cameras on this game today. Yeah. So we've got great, great coverage feeds. today. <laughs> if you can't be here, you might as well watch it at home. So Moulton in to Woods. Oh, oh, good ball, good ball. Yeah. Woods bit more that. effort there, a bit more bounce. Yeah, Woods recognised that was a good ball. Couldn't, couldn't play that really good at all. Good to see that one again. Here comes a replay. Yeah, yeah just that hard length. Just held its line, didn't it? Yeah. Just held its line. Yeah. Woods respected that one. So Moulton bowling some good pace here, good areas, a little bit of movement. Those catches, the, the guy's come into a third slip now, actually. Molson into Woods. Oh, and and he's, he's got him. him. He's chopped it on. That's a big, big, big Huge wicket. Huge wicket. Molson, the man in the moment, gets Wood for a duck. My oh, word. Cumbria, loving that. Wow, that's, uh, that's a big moment in this game. Ewan Woods was bowled by Ed Molson for no score. Yeah, inside edge, you yeah, say. Looking back on our replay, he just came back through the gate. I don't think he edge. can believe it himself. No, inside edge through the gate onto the stumps. Here we go. And he's, he's again, oh. it's movement <laughs> up the hill. Wow, what movement a up for, the hill from Cumbria. Moulton. He really has bowled a fantastic spell. And that is a superb start for Cumbria. Tw so Berkshire twenty three for two, Being off seven point four overs. Is number four on the scorecard, Jack Davis. Now I believe Jack Davis is, has has or is within the middle sets. He's in the middle set, set ranks, yeah, he's, he's sort of in and around there. Um, I think he's played a few games for Berkshire this year. He played in the semi-final, I think. He did, yeah. He's another good batsman, obviously. Um, he's going to have to rebuild it with Pereira. Wow, what a moment in this game Well, we built be. him up there, didn't we? Yeah, we, we built him right he, up. He got <laughs> knocked down quite quickly. No. The former the England and the under 19s batter. I was quite looking forward to, he's to seeing him play. Yeah, and yeah, take the game. He's been in the around. runs as well. So, yeah, the so Jack Davis, he's uh, placed for Henley, not far from here. Nope. Scored just over 1,300 runs, averaging good just, average. over, very good just average. under 43. So yeah, very good average. He can play. Yeah, another left hander as well. So, Parks have a lot of left handers in their top order. Cumbria fielders are well up for this. Three slips. Moulton in again, and he comes. Oh, good oh, ball. Good absolute ball. Absolute seed. The fielders don't know what they can do. I'll tell well you what, it is, it is carrying if you put a bit of effort in, isn't it? Absolutely. We've seen a little bit of lower bounce when there's probably not that effort and it's just a stop ball. But when people have bent their back, it is certainly yep. carried through and Absolutely. it's got that extra bounce, which has been quite difficult the Berkshire batsman to actually deal with. Yeah. Cumbria fielders are well up for this, so they're just bringing that backward point into a gully and they're bringing their mid wicket across. Oh, I think they're going to put another slip in, aren't they? Another gully. Yeah, so three slips in a gully. No, I think they've got this, might be four slips. Potentially. Wide, fifth, yeah. probably gone into fifth slip. Cool. You've got first, second, third, and fifth so slip Moulton. gully. He's Moulton. only steaming in here to Davies. And he plays Ooh, a miss. He's, he's, got him. He's, got him. he's got him. He's giving him. Wow. Oh, wow. Another 20, one in the over. 20. Another duck. And Moulton is on fire here. He is on fire. Davies has to go. The two big left-handers departing for naught each. And that's big scalps to take. Wow. I just watch the replay here. It's just held its length, to be yeah. fair. Jack and he, le he sort of left his back dangling game. out there. Bolden straight Bolden. through the keeper. Huge Bolden. celebrations. Look at them all. Well, you can't blame them, can you? Because this is a tremendous start for Cumbria. Wow. 23 for three, Berkshire. And two big scalps Woods taken. and Davies gone for naught. I think if anyone said that at the ground today, you'd, you'd be saying, not a chance. But Moulton has different plans. He's currently bowled four overs, three maidens, two wickets for one run in a final. That's quite impressive. And to be fair... He hasn't really bowled a bad ball. No, you say that one run. <laughs> it's probably yeah. one ball just slightly down the yeah. leg side that got flicked down a fine leg for that single. But he's... Here is number six on the scorecard, Dan Lincoln. So Dan Lincoln in now. I'll tell you what, some pressure on the Berkshire team here now. As you say, we're at, you know, eight overs gone. 
23 for three. And Moulton's got two for one. And we're still in the power play. Yeah, a brilliant start for Cumbria. Good toss to win. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> apparently so. Again, there is something in there, isn't there? If you put your effort in, there's something in this wicket. And actually, you're almost expecting the ball to be seeming away from Colton's mm. end, and yet he's managing to seam it back up the hill. So Berkshire, the defending champions of this competition, are in a bit of bother here, 23 for 3. If they want to win their fourth successive one-day cup, they're going to have to pull something out of the bag here. So Dan Lincoln's played 110 matches, scored 3,625 runs, out of the 35. 28 50s, a lot of 50s, but only 300s. Yep. Um, especially as 123 against Middlesex this year. So slack is in to Pereira. No shot played, just letting it go by. Again, though, they've got point right on the boundary. Mm. And it's a case of a scorecard as well, it is at the honest, moment. I'd put now, the pressure on, try and get another one. Yeah, you could say that. I think, But they also might feel that they'll just give Pereira one at the moment and get onto that new batsman. Um, saying that, Pereira hasn't faced the ball in a long time. Well, I would, <laughs> I would be going for the juggler here. Yeah, I'd, you know, fair play if he hits it through for four. But I'd, um, I'd be quite happy with that if you get his wicket. Mm. So slack in now to Pereira. And he just lets it go yeah. by. I mean, Pereira's got to be really selective here. He's the one that's, that's been around for a little bit. He's got 13. Really, the pressure's on him yeah. not to lose it, not to get out. No, and he's, he was the aggressor at the top of the he order, was. so he's definitely going to have to rein it in now. And or, who knows, he could just carry on and take, well, the, take the fight to Cumbria. Who knows? And that's why I'd have deep point in. Mm, yeah, no, absolutely. I'd probably have him in his gully and, and just keep tempting just, him. Yeah. Just keep tempting him to play that cut shot. Slack into Pereira. He just dabs that down. Single. Sort of a crowd catch, but no one really. Just plays he's going to be in two minds now. He's going to be in he two minds be. of, do I hit, really go after yeah. a few balls, or have I got to rein it in? Yeah, those, or... few, those few boundaries he's hit, you say he's quite an instinctive player. Yeah. Um, you know, he sees the ball in there and he, you know, he just plays his shots, whereas now, you know, three wickets down for inside nine overs, so he's going to have to either rein it in and leave him alone or just carry on his way and hope he uh, finds the middle of the bat. So but... he comes slack again, outside off stump. Dabs it down. And again, he's looking for that cut shot. That's why I would be almost having yeah. two, two slips, two gullies. I think and, he's got and, to be careful there that. as well. You know, this pitch, you know, it's a, it looks a good pitch, but the bounce hasn't been true every not ball, you'd say. There. So I think if he does want to play that dab or that cut, it's definitely got to be outside off and not on the stumps. You know, we saw Woods with an inside edge come back onto the stumps. And to be honest, three gullies is a, is a free shot at the moment. Oh, easy, yeah. So that's just, why I would have that. He can run it down that there. Field across there. Slack in again. Takes us off his legs. Place. Should Take be one. What? They could go two. No. I don't think they'll risk it though. No, just the one. Uh, Dan Lincoln did not want to know about that. No. So one ball left of the over. So this will be Lincoln's first ball of his innings. Definitely getting men in here. So two slips, potentially three. Short cover, it looks like, or just a regular cover, actually. Yeah, so not quite an aggressive field for slack as it is for Moulton, but that's understandable. But again, early wick is the key in this power play. It's putting the pressure on, isn't it? You've got to put the pressure right on the batsman now because mm. they're not going to be feeling comfortable at 24 for three. No, and as you say, Lincoln's not even faced the ball yet, so I would be definitely putting the pressure on him. Here comes Slack, last ball of the over. Good length ball, just blocks it down to Gully. Yeah, no good soft hands there from Lincoln, no, no danger there at all. So that's, that's five overs gone for Slack, one for 20. Yep, into the last over of the power play here. Mm -hmm. Definitely Cumbria's power play. Moulton jogging across the umpire to get that ball out of his yeah, hands. He's, <laughs> I can't he blame him it. the way he's bowling at the moment. He wants it. It wouldn't surprise me if he bowls all the way through if he has enough steam in him. Be interesting to see what they do. I wouldn't be surprised if he bowls six or seven and then they mm. take him off. But you're right, we're, they're very much on top at the moment. And Pereira to face. And here comes Moulton. Good length ball again. And he's and edged it. Big appeal, big appeal. He's edged it. Umpire says no. Pereira stands still. I thought I heard something there. Well, Pereira, I think, just walked away as, if, as if to think I got nowhere near that. Let's see the replay. Everyone but went up. 
Umpire stood still. Umpire was didn't move. Yeah, Ooh. came off his legs. Yeah. Came off his legs. Yeah, it's between bat. It and got pad. inside the bat and hit him on the it's side. It's the way pad. Pereira turned and almost walked back. Well, just looking... towards the pavilion, yeah. <laughs> that everybody got a little bit exciting, thinking. Yeah, well, Pereira. Maybe he's, he has he's taken this. a big stride outside off. Good ball again, maybe though. Meet the ball. In he comes now. Running. Yeah, good from Pereira there. Just Pereira looking the to come down the track a bit now. Yeah, I think he's almost looking to sort of unsettle that length. Yeah, and sort of kill off that any any lateral movement really. Because Moulton's bowled a really good area. Mm. It's probably a good move from Pereira, to be fair. Come a, little, a few paces down, yeah, disrupt he, him a little he's bit. He's a short stature batsman. Maybe he wants to meet it slightly more on the full, less bounce. But the pressure's certainly on the Berkshire batsman here. So Moulton back in. He's got his tail up here. Down the wicket again, Pereira. Yeah. Just lets and it that go was by. clever bowling, because Moulton actually pulled back his length a little bit further, knowing that yeah. Pereira's come two or three Pereira, paces down. So Pereira came down early there. Bit of cat and mouse there. It was good, good bowling. Impressed with Moulton, from what I've seen. Absolutely. Intelligent, good skills, good pace, a bit of movement. It's been really, 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 really tricky, hasn't he? So three balls left to the over. If Moulton gets Pereira here, that will be massive. a massive blow. A uh, couple of false starts here, and here he comes. Molten in to Pereira. Pereira down the wicket again. Glides it to third. Backward points all there into the gully. Just one run. And they take the single, yeah. Don't think Molten will be happy with that. No. I think he's. I think the gully should have stopped yeah. that. But brings the new batsman on. Start. Yeah, it does, does give him a chance at, at Lincoln. Lincoln's only faced one ball. Still on naught. And Molten hasn't got bad figures, has he? Two for two. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, four and a half overs. So Lincoln has two balls here at least. Against Moulton. Moulton has fired up here. So are the Cumbria fielders. Ready for any catch. And he comes now. There you go oh, for a sensible single. cricket. That was nice. Easy Pushed two into runs the offside, out. yeah. Just a nice two. The fielder. Maybe could have done a little bit better there, but uh, two runs nonetheless. Slightly fuller ball there, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. gets, it? Gets Lincoln off the mark. Yeah, slightly fuller the length. Let's, you know, Moulton hasn't really done that so far. This, no. This, um, well played. This game. By Lincoln, just finding that little gap instantly to expect uh, Moulton will just pull the lengths back, I would have thought, on the mm. next ball. Get back to his normal sort of rhythm. There you go. Solid there from Lincoln. He's looking pretty good here. It's the captain. So the power play is done. Now, after 10 overs, Berkshire have reached 27 for 3. Now, Savin Pereira 15 from 31 balls, and Lincoln 2 from 3 balls. Uh, we are now into the second power play until the 40th over, where a maximum of four fielders are permitted outside the 30 yard circle. So, Berkshire 27 for 3, slow run rate 2.7 and over, um, but it's the wickets which is their main concern, 3 wickets down, which is not ideal in any game really inside the power play. I think they'll just be looking to see these two bowlers off now. Yeah, yeah. and the field stays the same, so he slacks in to Pereira, just lets it go by. So Good ball. We've got the backward point out on the boundary and we've got a, a fine leg, but apart from that it's still the same. So. Um, Cumber not feeling the need to, to put any more men back. Definitely keep the pressure on the batsman here. Sun is still shining here at Wormsley Cricket Ground. So in comes Slack. Good length <gasps> ball oh, inside edge, and that's going to run down on. a fine leg for a single. Almost played on there from Pereira. And the Cumbria fielders with their hands Arms, on their heads yeah. there. <laughs> All hoping that would have careered back into the stumps. Pereira got away with that. So back to Lincoln to face his next ball. Good crowd all around the ground now. Good day to come and watch some cricket. And here comes Slack. 
his third ball of the over. Good length, just flicked off his legs, no run. Just building good pressure here. So Slack is currently um, the MVP in this competition. So the NCCA do MVP um, ratings for the players that are obviously most valuable. He currently tops the charts with 37 points. Um, the opening bowl here, as he's in, hits him on the pad, goes to slip. I was expecting a bigger peel there, but <laughs> yeah, nothing really. <laughs> Don't know if you um, see the replay on that or not. So yeah, Slack for Cumbria tops the charts at the moment for 2023. Ewan Woods, who previously just got out for Berkshire, he is third on 35 just points. Just going back to that replay a minute. Yeah, it's good movement. Wow, it's going down leg and Lincoln probably a little bit high, there. but showing a lot of his stumps there. That's a good um, ball. But yeah, so um, Slack seems to be having a good year so far. I mean, he's been bowling okay today. And here he comes again, short of length, blocked. Just quite steady. Oh, there's oh, been a single, single there. Cause be... well, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, well taken from Lincoln there. That was quite a sharp single. Yeah, Cumberfielder was sort of napping there. He was a bit. They haven't really been dropping and going, have no, they? No, that's but... what they need to do. It. They need to keep rotating. Hence why the Cumbria Fielder was a little bit back on his heels there. So one ball to go the over. I'll let you um, try and work out the points for, for Moulton then. I don't know if we know where he is. On don't the have them at the bit. moment, no. We're, they only let out the top three at the moment. I thought so. he gained a few, few bonus points from his early spell. In comes Slack. Oh, big edge! He's and that's gone. caught Gully. That's gone caught Gully. Gully. He's gone. Superb Pereira Gully. is out. Went low and quick. And that's builder. what we were saying earlier about having that gully in. They've moved it and put a gully in. They must yeah. be listening to the commentary. They must be. And, uh, they us. Was caught by Dicko so Watt. Slack. Bold by Slack. For 16. 16 for Perot, but he's got to go. He's not happy. Slack with his first wicket. Just as we were saying, he's the MVP of this year. He gets the wicket. Proving us wrong. I think Pereira was a bit slack with that shot, to be he honest. He was. It was a very slack shot. Good catch at gully. Back Looking back at the replay. Is number two on the scorecard. Archie Carter. I think that having that gully in is, is really important, I mm. think. Especially in this wicket, it seems. It's a little bit of movement, a little bit of bounce when they bend your back. And, yeah. and again, and, and that was his shot, wasn't it? He was, yeah. He's been looking to cut that ball through there. Yeah. And, and that was probably the... He's not getting many loose balls to have a crack at. And, no. And, and that's when he just put his hands through. No, nope. so Carter again, joins... Again, it'd be good to see the replay if we can. Yeah. Carter joins Lincoln out to the middle. The Cumbria players just in a huddle there, just sort of grouping themselves together. Well, they'll be delighted. It's been a superb they? start. 29 for four, four wickets down, but they want to stay composed and, here. And here's the replay. Let's just, just see this. Yeah, just full. A, yeah, it was full just outside, but again, it's not a, not a foolish ball, was it? No. It was just short of a length. His feet didn't just quite get moving, to Pereira. Didn't really quite get to it, but he obviously he was, you know, he was keen to get get some runs flowing because mm. they're a little bit bogged down here. Mm. Run rate 2.6 and over. Yeah. Like I say, we did say Pereira was the more attacking of the openers, and we said he was quite an instinctive player. You saw that that was a half volley sort he of just, length. He, and he just thought that's gone. Put his hands through it. So, I mean, a fantastic start for Cumbria. They wouldn't. They, they probably wouldn't have dreamt of this last night. No, no way. Twenty-nine for four off eleven overs. Absolutely not. And they are in box seat now. Yep. So both opening bowlers with two wickets apiece. Moulton's back on now. For his sixth over. To Lincoln. Yep. Lincoln's looked pretty good in defence so far. Looked pretty solid. Shorter ball. He's this just left that. No legs. shot played. No, no. shot played. It's just going to run away to find leg, but yeah, I think it says no. But again, you. the shorter ball, bit more bounce. Mm. It's obviously moved a bit because it's hit him. Yeah. It's probably just gone down the slope a bit, I would have thought. Good pressure here being built. So here comes Moulton. Have a short length ball blocked. Another dot ball. We've got some aircraft in the sky now. Mm. Don't think we've booked a flyby, have we? No. So the Cumbria players are high in the field right now. They're getting a lot of chat. Well up for it. 
Lincoln on strike, the captain. And he just plays that one down to your side for none. Moulton giving a little stare to the batsman there, showing him he's boss. And Lincoln won't want to unleash himself now. No. Captain, a lot no. of pressure on him. The side's not in a good, good place at the moment. They need to try and dig themselves out of it. This is going to take some real resilient batting now. Oh, I think they'll just be wishing Moulton comes off. Here he comes again. Good length, just flicked off his pads. Going to go for two though, I think, yeah. No, I think they'll just get one. Ooh, well fielded in the deep. Came racing in from the boundary, it's good fielding. Good throw. And obviously, no need to take any risks at this point when you fall yeah. down. Say 30 for four. So in Barcher's semi-final against Wiltshire a few weeks ago, Dan Lincoln came in a similar situation really. They lost a few early wickets and um, him alongside Jack Davies built a good partnership to settle the nerves, winning with 30 overs to spare. But I mean, a few probably worse conditions here, but he still had to sort of dig in and, and, and get a partnership building. So he knows how to do it. Here comes Moulton to Carter for his first ball. Carter just plays that down on the offside for none. Yeah, I think in the semi-final, Berkshire were very much on top of the mm. batting one. Once they got away and got yeah. got on top of it, as you said, they won with 13 overs to go. But they really are under cosh here. So Archie Carter, who's just come into bat, he uh, scored 64 in the quarter-final. See if he can carry on some half-decent form in this final today. In comes Moulton to him now. He just lets that go by. See, that one just died a bit. Uh, just sort of skidded along the surface. It's almost it? down to what effort you put in, isn't it? I he think doesn't so. just look to hit an area there, get yeah. through his over. Um, but when he does bend his back and really wants to push it through, mm. he's getting quite a difference in bounce. So Lincoln not out four, not nine balls. We're 30 for four. Oh. Just those massive two ducks of Woods and Davies in the middle order. It's huge for, for Cumbria there. The two big. Two big left-handed batsmen. Berkshire would have banked on them getting some runs, if not one, but both of them. Absolutely. But both had to go for naught. Both bowled by, well, bowled one from Moulton and caught by the wicketkeeper from Moulton again. So it's slack back on. Six overs, two wickets for 22. So run right 3.7 off his overs. And he comes. To Lincoln. Oh, and that just looks off his legs. My leg is out on the boundary there, so it'll just be one. Yeah. So I wonder when they'll make their first bowling change. Do you reckon these two will bowl their ten? I don't, I don't know. think they'll bowl ten. I can see them bowling seven or eight now. Yeah. With the pressure they've built. I think it depends. I reckon if there's one more wicket, I can see Moulton getting really charged up and, and doing his overs. Slack maybe not. Um, they might want to get a bit of a burst of someone new on, but they could say the same for Moulton, you know, maybe save them a few into the middle order. Um, but we'll see. Slacken again, this time with Carter. He's in, he's, plays it to mid wicket, it's slightly uppish, but safe enough. Yeah, I think if Moulton's fit enough with these figures at the moment, mm. I think he'd want to keep the yeah, ball in his hands. Feel, you'd feel Cumbria will win them, want him to carry that form into the middle lower order take a few more wickets with him he's bowled well he's bowled say better than just the two wickets really yeah he, he has three yeah. four or five slacking again just on the leg side flicked i think it'll just be a they're coming back for two this could be close but no he's just made it easy two. made that quite good running from the pair there you got to keep doing this when you're in a bit of bother keep rotating the strike Run those quick singles, get those twos. So back to slack. Very solid in defence, Lincoln. It was Carter, actually, wasn't it? It was Carter. Yeah. Apologies. So two balls left to the over. And this setting is amazing, isn't it? I mean, the facilities they've got here are unbelievable. They're actually building the second practice net session from the Dibley end. You know, we'll try and get international touring sites to stop off here. Slack again. Outside stump, lower left. 
I've got to say the nets were top, top quality. Yeah, we were walking around the grounds earlier this morning once it's all being set up and both teams were having a net on the grass, wickets out um, to the side there and just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I had a look at the wicket, looked looked, looked lovely considering the weather we've had and just picturesque really. Then comes Slack for the last ball of the over. Carter blocks it. So that's the end of the, end of the 13th over. And Berkshire move on to 33 for four. Yeah, a lot of investment placed into the facilities all around here. Yeah. Obviously with the history of the estate and obviously Paul Getty. Yeah, so a little bit of history of the grounds. So um, it was established in 1992 by Sir, Sir Paul Getty. Um, it was officially opened by Bob Wyatt, who was a former England captain. Um, he rang the Wormsley Bell and Fred Truman, who raised the Wormsley flag. So um, some, some big names who opened it up. I mean, the actual estate itself has been a bit about, about 600 years. Yeah. Gone through a couple of families. Yeah, absolutely. And um, the current Mark Getty, um, so obviously bought an opera house yes. just behind yeah. the cricket pavilion. Yeah, you can see it about 600 in. people. So yeah. obviously big into the arts. Um, a lovely old thatch pavilion as well. You don't see many of them anymore. So here comes Moulton again for his seventh over. Ooh, just short of a length, lowish in bounce. Mm. Lincoln goes back on the back foot and just blocks it. I think Lincoln was expecting a bit more bounce than that. But no, I mean, the state is absolutely fantastic. Obviously a deer park as well as we came in. Yeah, I saw them on the drive in, yeah. Lots of pheasants about, as you can imagine. So Moulton, can you get one more with him? In he comes now to Lincoln. Lincoln just dabs that to third man. There is no third man. So They'll be goes. looking for two. Yeah, well good field, field in. There. He took a bit of a chunk of the outfield with him, <laughs> but he did well enough to stop He the released two. the ball early there, didn't mm. he? And that, that's effectively what stopped Lincoln going back to the second. Yeah. So just around the ground, there's um, a few marquees in place. There's a permanent marquee here for for hospitality and there's also a members marquee. Yeah, if people were nearby they're more than welcome to get a ticket and come on down. There's some food and drinks. Here comes Moulton again, this time to Carter. Carter just plays that on the offside for none. So obviously there's uh, food available here via catering vans and, and a bar. I'm sure that will be... Welcome to bring uh, your own as well, bring a chair and sit around the ground. Like many people have done, and it's really filling in there all around yeah. the banks, isn't it? Yeah, it's bank holiday. So here comes Moulton again, fourth ball of the over. Short lengths, blocked again. Definitely, if you look at previous pitch map of his deliveries, it's probably 90% of them have been just short of a length, and it's really worked for him. Yeah, I was quite amazed that they actually played 45 games here this season. Hasn't really? It? Wow. Ground staff done a fantastic yeah. job to keep keep that ongoing. Mm. So here comes Moulton. Oh, they, oh, oh, we'll, oh, 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 they, they mix, mix up, up here. here. Direct hit would be out. Oh, my word. They've just managed to sneak in there. There was a yes and no stutter, but they managed to sneak in. Uh, that looked like a side at a 34 for four. Yeah, it? yeah, that looked very uh, indecisive, to say the less. They got there eventually. They got there. They got there. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> I mean, luckily for Berkshire, they. Get... I think the fielder didn't really know where to the, go if either. If that was a direct hit. Oh, he was I, gone. He was gone. Yeah, the fielder didn't really know what to do either. He was like, what end do I go he, to? I think he slightly fumbled it as well. Mm. But if he'd taken that cleanly. Yeah, Carter with a. Uh, or a direct hit, it would have been. An unnecessary, now. risky single there. So, Moulton in, last ball of the over. Lincoln just plays that back to him. So, Moulton again, another tidy over. About seven overs. Three maidens, two for seven mm. for Moulton. Fantastic spell. Yeah. Will he come back for one more? Are they going to make a change? Yeah. So a little bit more history on the ground here. So the first game that was ever played here, um, the Sir Paul Getty Eleven played host to the MCC. Um, it was watched by Her Majesty the Queen Mother and then Prime Minister Sir John Major. And apparently the whole thing came together from Mick Jagger. So. He was a good friend of Sir Paul Getty, and he's the one that got him into cricket. He did, yeah. Apparently, uh, Mick Jagger was invited to the house, and mm -hmm. just he asked if he could put the cricket on, and then 
He probably said, "What's cricket?" He, well, I think I think that's exactly what happened. And then, <laughs> and you know, over time, he just fell in love with the game. Yeah. Well, who doesn't, eh? It's and a um, game. and obviously built this remarkable ground. Mm. And I think they've got quite an extensive library here as well, which they have do. got a huge ab- ab- amount of yeah, um, memorabilia and history. Yeah. And, and not just on cricket either. I mean, I think I was reading last night that was some of the the books back from sort of Henry VIII's times. The, almost like one of twenty-five editions are actually here in the library. So they're obviously a massive collector. Mm. So we've got a change of bowling here. Um, slack has come off for a new bowler, Walkden. Slightly Again, fuller. Got his hand on it. Stop the run. Another right arm over. Pace bowler. So we'll see uh, if he does anything different. At the deer park end, Ben Walkden. I think this could be where Berkshire might just look to hit back over the top. Mm. I think they'll see what he does and then see if they can line them up. I don't think they'll be too aggressive just yet. Car to the face. Again, straight back to the bowler, but no run. He's bowling that more of a length of a driving delivery, mm. whereas the other bowlers have bowled slightly short of a length. So. so Slack, the MVP, his first spell was fairly decent, picking up two wickets. He, uh, he didn't look the most threatening of the opening pair, obviously with Moulton really uh, going in. So, w- w- Moulton's got best of four for 32, averaging yeah. 29. Only 15 That's matches played though, so he's quite new to the game here. 16 wickets. He's in now. It's driven to short extra so cover. That's three drives now and three balls, and that's why I'm thinking mm. All of them are they'll be looking the to uh, hit gaps here or yeah. just hit over the top, because obviously mid-off and mid-on are still back you know, reasonably well in with inside the 30-yard circle. Probably 20 yards out, so there's definitely shots there. Extra cover on the boundary. So here comes Walk doing again. Driven to mid on. There, but for none. So I was just looking back and Cumbria's quarter final game against Cheshire, and it was the opening bowlers of Moulton and Slack that did the damage in that game. Was it? Um, both taking three wickets at a piece. Yeah. Um, it was a close game, but Cumbria did win by 14 runs. Um, but obviously, those opening bowlers are key to their success so yeah. far this year. Solid again there. It's hit the non-strikers and stumped. It's been a bit unfortunate to be honest. It's been four good drive yeah. shots and either hit fielders or the stumps. So it seems walked in um, is a bit of an all-rounder. He's, he's hit okay. some runs in this competition as well. He, uh, their second game of the season against Oxfordshire with a six-wicket win, he uh, he knocked up 60 runs. Um, so it seems like he can, he can swing the willow as well as bowl. So we'll see what his bowling efforts come out so far. And again, another punch. Oh, they look gone for a single, single misfield. Field. Tight single taken, but the pressure got to the fielder there. Didn't pick up cleanly. No sh- no shot at the stump. It's not a bad first day with only no. one run off it, and that was, you know, built the pressure. Yeah, I mean, he was bowling in those areas where the batsman could play strikes, but. Um, That's the difference. Really That's it. the difference that he's bowled a different, different, different length, hasn't he? He really has bowled a lot fuller there, looking for the batsman to capitalise on the drives. Didn't. So, so I'll be interested to see when they is bring Moulton their... Is Moulton going to come back again? It looks like he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I I'll don't just... blame him either. No, I was just saying... I bowled seven overs, two for seven. I mm. think I'd want to stay on. Isn't yeah. It? it should be interesting to see when they bring their spinner, Freddie Fallows, on. He's been in the wickets um, okay. a lot. He's quite a tidy I bowler. I think they might keep Moulton on, you know, mm. bowling through it the It seems like pace seems to be the way at the moment. It's definitely the areas, so isn't Mal- it? Just Moulton that in now, the Carter. Sure oh, is. again. Now it's going over. He looked to flick that onto his leg side, but he didn't get any bat, and it came but off. Again, it's off. that shorter length ball. Mm. Batsman's going back, just done a little bit. But it's the areas Moulton's bowled is why his stats have been so good. I think that's probably what the other seamers need to probably pick up on yeah. is the lengths Moulton's bowled and the benefits got from it. Here he comes again. Again, he's, they're finding it difficult the pads to find hard, him, aren't he? they? Hitting the pads hard. Looking for that little flick off the legs. Yeah, 7.2 overs, two wickets to seven. He's got to be bowling well. It's not easy to hit. Not easy at all. And I think that slope is just probably just tucking up the right-hander mm. there. 
a supper bar, so you know, you, you don't want to be on the defensive, but you, you might as well just say, sort of, just play Moulton out and go for the other bowlers. I think you know, he's bowling so well, you don't want to give him another chance, really. Put a little bit more into that one, dot ball yeah. again. But I think you're right, Will, I think. He's bowling near the end of the spell now. You've got to see him off and not give him another one or you know, two wickets. After this, he's got two overs, he's going to be tired. If he gets one more wicket, he's going to be charged up to the end of the spell. I think they just need to play him out. Yeah. Also, if Berkshire goes suddenly 36 for 6, oh. it's almost game over. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, they've just got to see him out. Here he comes again. Dibbly end. Shorter length again, blocked. This seems to be quite repetitive in our, yeah. <laughs> our assessment. But he has bowled sensational. Seven and a half overs here. He really has bowled well. I presume his stats must be pretty good through the whole tournament, I would have thought, this season. He's really yeah. impressed today. And batsman taking a bit of a guard, out, almost outside off stump there. Here comes one again, blocked again. I think this is going to be a little bit of a series of mm. let's just block Moulton out. Yeah. Moulton will say... I'll just keep bowling them through, probably. Yeah, I can it's... imagine their second change could be um, Matt Siddle, who's been in a lot of wickets as well. He's taken a five for in the third game of the season, um, a, a registered wicket taker for Cumbria. So I don't think there'll be much let off on the bowling aspect. Last ball of the over, Moulton comes in, and again a dot ball. Yeah, another maiden. Brings his maiden tally up to four now. So eight overs, four maidens, two for seven. Can't really in ask a final. much more. Yeah, you can't <laughs> ask much more in a final from Ruben and Bob. <coughs> What's the batsman doing here? I think he's getting a new set of gloves, it looks like. He is. So, Berkshire, like 30, they, 36 for four. Looks like there was covers on the pitch yesterday of maybe a little bit of rain they had. Just shows you the setting, doesn't it? It's fantastic. I mean, to keep the ground in this quality of condition really does take a lot of work. Mm. Full hats off to all the ground staff here. It just looks immense. So, walk, walk done again in from the Deer Park end. Just flicks us onto the onside. One run. And the field's spread a little bit more now, isn't it? Yeah. I think they'll just be looking to flick a few singles around here now, won't they? Try and build that scoreboard up. Yeah, current run rate of 2.3. Can be really are on top here. Walked in again. Nice shot, More straight to mid on. With that shot, but uh, well no run. from mid on there. Cumbria <laughs> fielders like that effort from their fielder. And this is also where the frustration can build, isn't it? You, mm. you're, you're trying to get on top. You've got balls there to hit. You're trying to pierce the field, and you keep pinging it straight to fielders. Mm. You can get frustrated as a batsman. Cumbria got to give themselves some credit. They have fielded well. They've, they've taken their chances. You know, in these finals, you've got to take every single thing that comes. Yeah, to they've you. been tight, haven't they? They've been tight. That well, should be another two, I'd have thought. Yeah, just just close it, it down. Through. There is no third man on the boundary, so the gully had to go and chase that one there. Two runs. So again, a slow run rate due to the lack of uh, the lack of well boundary scored, but mainly because of the wickets falling. Oh, they've bowled well, haven't they? And they bowled very well. Good no areas. Loose balls. Good areas. They've bowled really tight. Yeah, you? Box, you're gonna have to manufacture shots here. That could be another just another single, I think, there's a man yeah. out there. Fine leg's out, Carter just takes the single. So you've got deep fine leg and you've got deep square leg as well, patrolling that boundary on the leg side. You've got deep cover on the boundary. Everybody else within the ring. Walt done, hasn't done badly, to be fair, has he? No. Taking a few singles here or there, but... Um, He's not giving out anything away, really. No, just steady. Nothing rapid, but hitting good areas. Comes on the wicket. There'll be another single, I think. I don't Looking for two. I don't think they'll get it. No, thought about it, but turned it down. Just another single. So good rotation of the strike from this pair. 
I think that's all they need up. to do at this stage yeah. is just try and build the score back up again. I think they'll set themselves slowly, targets, you know, they'll get to 50 before yeah. hopefully and then next stage we'll get to 100. See um, off Moulton. <laughs> it's yeah. got to yeah, be yeah, the first plan see off Moulton, no more wickets to him. So in comes Walkden again. Shorter ball that time, slower ball I think. Yeah, it could have been. Just trying something different, blocked. Sees the end of the over. So it's walked in two overs, completed for six runs. Berkshire move on the 41 for four. After 17 overs. Crowd fairly quiet. Yes. Just, just seeing some pleasant cricket. Yeah, they're just enjoying the day, I think. Number of straw hats out. Yeah, a lot of people on the bank. Lovely vantage point from all around the ground, really. I think it's basically in a bowl, so you're overlooking the players. It'd be amazing to play here every week, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, can you imagine? So, Moulton in again. Gone for a single, yep. Easily taken. So, Moulton into his ninth over now. He's got a bowl through now, hasn't he? Of course, yeah, you'll have to do now. Can't blame the, the Cumbria captain for letting him do this. He has been the main man with the ball. Eight runs from his eight overs so far. Mm. Carter's digging in well here. He's only on seven. He's faced 26 balls, yeah. but he's doing a job. And he comes. And it's just Oh, well out. fielded. Yeah, very well no fielded run. from the third slip there. Outstretched hand. It did fall short. It wasn't that was four catch, otherwise. Oh, absolutely. Safe ball there every day of the week. Umpire again, just having a word with Moulton. He's, he had a warning, I think, about his danger zone, and Moulton just says sorry, but I don't think he'll care too much, but who knows? With ten balls to bowl with his spell, I, think, I don't think he cares well, at all. <laughs> no, but maybe it depends. If he's got one warning, he, he won't want to get another one. He definitely won to bowl his last ten balls. And he comes now to Carter. Carter plays this on the onside, but for none. Mind you, take some to doing the bowl. You know, nine overs straight through. Mm. Looking like yeah, he pro seems probably end up bowling ten straight through. You don't often see that, do no, you? No, especially from a pace bowl. He seems quite the athlete. Do you think maybe a bit of adrenaline is helping him get well, through I this think as well? Without doubt. I mean, you're playing on a good stage here, aren't you? Yeah. Good crowd. And you're bowling well, so you want to keep going. Yeah, Moulton into Carter. Carter defends straight back to the bowler. Well, I think we've got our first man on a match contender. Oh, easily, yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, if one of these batsmen digs in and plays a sublime knock, you would say from that position where they're in, it's still a long way to go. 33 overs yeah. still to go. Absolutely. Somebody could still get 100. So a shot with more authority there, but well stopped from Molson. It came back to him quite quickly. Carter's looking compact, isn't he? Looking yeah, technically he's, good. Yeah, he's facing confidence now. He's, I don't think he's too fussed not scoring. Yeah, no, I don't he's, think he is. He's hitting the ball quite clean. He's just getting himself in. Yeah, getting again, himself set. Good bowling. You've got to respect good bowling. He's just going to wait and cash in for that sort of wider one or a short one or anything he can free his hands up on. But he's not too fussed so far. Last ball of the over. In comes Moulton. Short length ball again. He's whipped Although looking for a quick single. Oh, I think if he was hit, he was gone. That was very tight from Carter. He wanted that single. It was well fielded from the mid on fielder. He went for an underarm flick, full stretch here dive. Watch the replay here. I think I'm giving this out if it's hitting. It was good fielding, good release quickly. He was a goner. Ooh. I think he was a goner. Umpire wasn't in a great position. Would have been a very tight one, that. Tight margins in these final. And that sees the end of the over. So that's nine overs, four maidens, two for nine. Mm. One run and over. <laughs> you don't mind that at all, eh? That's superb bowling. Superb so performance. So back on now for his third over. So he's not express pace, but he's getting it in good areas. Yeah, he got a deep backward square. Actually, no, just deep square. Just walk back. Mm. So maybe they've put the man out there at deep square for any short length ball that um, the batsman might want to capitalise on, go for that pull shot. 
shots over the top, I think, isn't it? Yeah, got sweepers out. They've got yeah, they've got also cover got a deep cover as well. So they're just giving Walton a bit of protection here. Carter just drives the mid off. Yeah, and he's he's hitting the ball well. He's hitting it clean. He's just he is. seems yeah. to be picking the fielders, but I don't think he'll care too much. So walks in at the top of his mark, he comes in. Oh, slightly edgy. Goes to the gully, but falls short. It's again, it's that just short of length mm. ball, isn't it? It's anything full, they're, gone, they're, all, they're right on top of the drive. That was slightly shorter. A bit of an edge there to have to gully. So currently there's only been three extras so far. <clears throat> 111 balls bowled. Only 40 runs off the bat. So three extras. So a very slow rate, but it's all due to the good bowling. Carter goes for another drive, connects, but straight to the cover fielder. Extra just not finding the gaps at the moment, is he? No. Just a few clouds sort of commencing here, isn't there? A bit of, it's all gone a little bit grey. Might give the bowlers something to swing. Lovely again shot. down the ground looking for a single. quick single that hits oh, has gone he's he he missed and that's going to be buzzers oh, and as we got fine legs got it's all going on so you got one over throw and is the bowler is... is so a lot going on there I'll tell you what a direct hit and he was gone by about yeah. two or three the yards the non-strikers end he was gone by two or three yards but the miss the throw missed the non-strikers end it almost hits the strikers end stumps and I think he would have been out as well <laughs> and then all the fielders missed it it so all managed to get happened there my word, it's all going on. Berkshire have taken some risky singles and they have gotten away with them so far. Well, maybe they have are riding another, their luck. Maybe have another look at that after this next ball. They're definitely riding their luck at 44 for four. They're just moving deep square. Cumbria's it's catching deep has been good, but you said they're ground fielding. I'll well, tell you what, it's been two or three yeah. run out opportunities. All right, tight, but if they'd hit. Lincoln on strike. At least two of the three oh, would have gone. That's gone a wide ball. I think that's Again, the first wide. Taken, in it comes. Yeah, so they've run down a wide. Wide ball. It's the first wide of the game. Shows you how well they've bowled. I don't know if we've got a replay for that potential run out. I hope so. Well, here we go. Right, watch carefully, everyone. So, so he punches so it down the ground, takes picks a single it up cleanly. On. Easily gone if he hits. Ooh, Ooh good miss ball. There from Carter. Good ball. Good areas. And that will end the over, so an eventful over. It was a better ball from Carter, wasn't it? Mm. Last ball of the over. Just again shorter. It'd be good to see if we can see if there's just any movement from from Walkden. So 19 overs gone. Barks is six, uh, 46 for four. So we've got projected scores here. So current run rate projected 117. Nowhere near enough. They're, 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 they're not going to stay at that run rate, no. are they, at all? At 2.4. So if they get it up to six and over, they can get 230. That seems more like it. That was more like our yeah. target, probably when we started in the first few overs. Mm. I can't see them getting eight and over from here and getting 293. No, I mean, these, I've, I've found commentating over these minor county here games. Comes. Oh, Jaws that's up -ish. gonna be four. Go through the gully region, that's gonna run away for four. So Lincoln with a boundary, very edgy, but he'll take it. And that's four against Moulton. He won't be happy with that. Well, he that's will not be happy figures. with that. So Barks' 50 comes up inside the 20th over. Slow goings, but uh, they've needed to. That went through Gully again. Yeah. Yeah, they have they have taken some catches out. But no, I was saying that I've noticed in the, these NCCA games, the my counties, they bat deep. Every team can bat, you know, all the way down to 11, really. Um, so you definitely have to bowl teams out if you want to get a low total. So they've got that sort of first and fourth slip. To Moulton, Moulton and into Lincoln. Point. Oh, it's, there's an appeal of some, someone, a, but appeal, no, a bit one, no one's interested. Moulton's slightly slower there, but we'll have a look on the replay. Why did the crease again? Just yeah, it's just high. 
Oh, he's going bad. down, yeah. Half an appeal from Knowlton, but he knew it was not out. And movement, you know, movement there, isn't mm. there? Going back down the hill, which is... That slope is helping. So Knowlton, he's in. That pass on edge. I just noticed, it might be a replay there, he bowled a good half yard behind the crease there. Whether that was that. intentional, I don't know. Might have been, just to adjust his line. If we look on the replay... Yeah, his front foot was a, a good foot or two behind the line. Maybe that's some, maybe he's just so he doesn't go in the danger area. I don't know. All right, three balls left. Can he sneak another one? He deserves another wicket. He does. He's bowled sensationally well. In he comes now to Lincoln. He's in. It's like shorter pitch. Just worked he him. Works off his hip. Looking for two. They've taken one. They but will no, not get two. That field is pretty sharp out there. He's got it in and out. It's just a single. Oh, if I was Moulton, I'd be fuming about that four. Absolutely ruined his figures so far. <laughs> yeah. I don't um, think he'll get In fairness, much, I though. think he'll be still very pleased yeah. with what he's done today. So, Carter. He looks pretty solid. He's faced a lot of balls. Just got to see out Moulton here. Only two balls left of his ten overs. Again, solid. Straight back to the bowler. That's perfect from Carter. So one ball left from Moulton, and he's completed his 10. Fantastic effort. Question is, who will be on next to replace that him? That is going to be the question. Will they go to spin? Could be Siddle, could be Fallows. I think spin would be a good option I, now, just to see what happens, really. I think I would pretend to go to spin. Just change it up. So Moulton in again. Again, Carter, and solid that's in defence. And that's Fantastic. his 10 overs bowl from Moulton. Superb spell. Ed Moulton has finished his spell with figures of 10 overs, 4 maidens, 2 wickets for 14. Brilliant spell. Yep, so the crowd giving him a, a much, much appreciated round of applause. Thoroughly deserves that. Superb bowling from the opener there. Again, 10 overs, 4 maidens, 2 wickets for 14 runs. You couldn't ask much more from your opening bowler. Set the tone perfectly for Cumbria. Got him off to an absolute flyer of a start with wickets wise and they'll be looking to carry on that momentum into the second half of this innings if I was Moulton now I think I'll be looking at the 12th man yeah <laughs> and I come think, off I another think of break. thinking what am I going to have to tee now <laughs> so Walton's in solid again there in defence got to make sure that field is not on their heels on that 30 yard circle no. they've got you know, they're looking to take singles quickly they yeah. need singles Cumbria needs to be really hot on their field in here because mm. they are right on that 30 yard circle so space is opening up in the field I think you know Berkshire should now be looking to accelerate this run rate and that's really you know, 30 overs to go yeah you know they should be trying to get I think they need to get 200. They need to get 200 as an absolute yeah, minimum. I think these two know they want to build this partnership to at least the 35th, 40th over. Yeah, which you know, means they need about another 20 overs which here. Which means they've got to go at five and over at least. No, these two need to arguably hit 40 or 50 each yeah. to get up to a, any decent total, really. Um, so it's a very massive partnership, this. Yeah, easy single thing. taken. Again, a shot the stumps, but no, they're both in safe this time. Seems like these, this pair are just getting the gist of the running now. <laughs> They've well, taken I'll, them a few chances. If I was Cumbria now, I'd be trying to push this field a little mm. bit tighter, to be honest. Mm. Mid on, mid on, off. Uh, Almost mid let on, them mid say, off. go on, hit it over me. Well, I'd, yeah, come in, come in 10 yards. Well, even that, two or three, just to, you know. And the bowler's having that. a chat with them now. Yeah, you know, if I, you know, if you're bowling from that end and you, you're bowling good balls and you're just getting pushed mm. for singles, mid yeah. on, mid off. That's the fourth or fifth time it's, it's gone to mid and on, they're having mid a really, off. They're having quite a detailed chat now around... Look, guys, I don't want you sat on that 30-yard circle. Mm. I want you pressing. Because that builds more pressure. Yep. The more dots you bowl now, it's going to build more and more pressure. And Berkshire have to accelerate. Again, you know, that's better. So the mid-on's up 10 yards, and it's, it's no run. And it's not even a chance of a run. No. Whereas sat on that 30-yard circle, you're just inviting people just to, to push and get take easy singles. So, you know, good work from the bowler there. Bruce Field is just to say, come on, let's tighten this up. So, Walton in again to Carter. 
Oh, no noble ball. called by the umpire. So first no ball. Watson, Free hit. Watson looks like he stepped over the line. He's got his hand, his head in his hands a little bit. He's like, oh well, what have I done here? Right. Let's see what aggressive shot. Free hit. Berkshire can play. To Carter. So obviously you can't change the field. The field has to stay the same, but they do have a deep square leg, which will help. So you feel maybe I think slightly short of a length, you feel? Or? Yeah, well, if I was a batsman, I'd be looking to come so, down the track and hit it straight whoa, back over his so head. umpire just... Uh, just saying, hold on a minute. Hang on. Somebody's got ah, to come in. Umpires have noticed something there, so dead ball given. First so slip. First slip. First slip cheeky just, there. Just, just move back to he the 30-yard circle. First slip <laughs> thought he can move back to 5 or 10 yards onto the ring, but like I said, you can't change the field at all. It's funny you say that, because the mid-on and mid-off were 10 yards in. You could say that, but... So, walked you know. in now, so the free hit for Carter... In side of relief, you'd probably feel he bowled that well. I mean, it was yeah. back of the hand delivery, it was sort of cramped so him slight, up room a bit, slightly slower, nothing wide. It was in the middle of area, so Carter missed out there. But I don't think he'll be too he fast. He's bowled, okay. he's bowled, bowled, bowled in good areas, mm. he's been very steady. He bowled a little bit fuller, but he's bowled steady. Well played there from uh, Carter. He's got a hand down, just cut. for a single. Yep, just one run, saved a couple there. And that's the over and Berkshire 55 for four, off of 21 overs, needing to accelerate the pace of uh, the run right here mm. to set a, a target that they can try and defend. Obviously, a lot of damage done early on. So Carter's 10 or 43 balls, Lincoln 15 or 24, and obviously now a change of bowling after Moulton's fantastic turnovers. So it looks like it's still going to be some pace. The keeper's still standing back, no helmet. So no spin yet. A new bowler for Cumbria at the Dibley end. Sam Sharp. So, like I said, no spin yet. Just Four one, just bowlers. one slip in. Yeah. Just trying to work the field out here, aren't they? Yeah, maybe they're just thinking, you know, Berkshire aren't scoring at a big rate. No. I, Why change anything? Yeah, I mean, pace obviously at the moment has been the way. Um, it's doing a little bit. They say, why, you know. It's number 10 on the scorecard, Sam Sharp. So let's see what Sharp can bring to the game. Don't fix it if it's not broken. Be pace is away. Pace and don't... In he comes now. Sharp to Carter. Carter just defends that first one, backs the bowler. Sharp just looks at his boot there. I don't know, maybe he slipped on the uh, crease. Gives it a little scuff, yeah. See, I never understand that when pace bowlers do that. What? They scuff <laughs> the crease. What does that really do? Hey? What does it you honestly just, do? You just thought the moisture was probably gone, though. Yeah, you? yeah. Well, obviously now we scuffed it, but... Always it's all mental. Makes me it is definitely It'll mental. It'll make him feel better. Yeah. Well, he comes in now for his second ball to Carter. Carter flicks that off his hips. And gets down well. Mid on, yep. Just the one run taken. So, again, good rotation of the strike there. Gives the strike to Lincoln now. Bit difference in pace, I think. Slightly mm. slower. Quicker arm. Slower, probably looking a little slower bit build less up, bounce. Looking to get through on his arm. Yeah. His action. I think we'll just be attacking the stumps. That's all they need to do, really. Um, yeah, and see if it w wobbles around a bit. Yeah, so he's bowled 40. He's played in 45 games, 40 wickets. His best is 5 for 52. So, tidy little bowler here. And oh, that's gone, gone in high. the air. He's it in the air. Mid off his underneath Under it. it. And, and take him. And it. he's out. Brilliant wow. catch. Cumbria. Huge celebrations there from Sharp. And Lincoln is gone. The captain Lincoln has to go. And, that, and to be fair, that's the first shot he's really tried to get after. Yeah, yeah he didn't even have a sight of Big edge. Sharp. And it's just gone skyward. Cumbria, a cock a hoop here. They're absolutely loving it. Big wicket of Lincoln has to go. The captain Dan has Lincoln departed. Was caught by Matthew Semple. Bold Sam Sharp for 50. You know, again, bowlers just bowling wow. areas. Just as you thought, Good areas. Berkshire were 
getting a little partnership going. It's uh, that was a gift. They they gifted him a, a gift. wicket there. I mean, it was a good catch. It hung in, it hung in the air a, a long time. But I suppose if you're Berkshire, you've had to change your bowler. You've blocked away, you know, the previous bowler. You've, you've got to get this run rate going. You've got to take some chances. Lincoln didn't. He, that was his first ball against Sharp. That was, that's uh, in trouble. He didn't even have a didn't even have a feel for one. That was a. So, 56 for 5. And the current uh, reigning champions are really under a lot of pressure here after 21 overs. And this is going to take a lot of rebuilding now. So, new batsman coming in is Rishton. The new batter for Berkshire is number 7 on the scorecard, Andy Rishton. So sharp, one for one, after three balls. Richton plays for Wokingham, scored 3,414 runs, averaging just short of 28, 1950s, 100, best of 127 versus Dorset, so he can play. Let's just hope he can play today and He's get some runs to for Belcher, because they really do need to set a score in the 200s. So yeah, Richton, like I say, he can play. Um, he got third in the MVP 2023 in the T20 competition so so he's maybe a bit of an aggressive player maybe in his in his batting yeah. um, so we'll see but he's gonna have to hang in here for a little bit well, for, somebody for, for Berkshire. Berkshire's now got to grab hold of this yeah I and mean, actually get, get some runs on the board yeah I mean like I say that partnership was good to just sort of soak up a few overs knock it about but Sharp's in now oh he's, oh, he's in. in oh he's on a hat trick Rishan has to go for a golden duck. First ball. Top of off, I think. What a ball. Wow. Sharp just ran through him. And the Cumbria players Andy are all Rishan over Sharp here. Ball by Sam Sharp for no score. So 56 for six. Well, do we, do we call it now? Wow. Sharp. I mean, this is looking... In its first over. Dominantly one-sided. Wow. My word. Who could have wrote this? Well, we didn't. No, <laughs> no way. I don't think Berkshire would. I don't think Cumbria would either. And Sharp, who we thought were going to, just going to come on and just sort of just plod, oh, those, plod through the overs. Yeah. It's, 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 it's taking two Berkshire. very quick wickets. It's number eight on the scorecard, Rodri Lewis. So, wow. Lewis in. I Lewis don't think in. Lewis would have been expecting to get in this early. No, and I don't think he'd want to be on a hat-trick ball no, either. Number but eight he is. coming in at, on the 21st over. So, Sharp in his first over. First couple of balls didn't look very threatening, and then, I'll tell you and what, then I'll Lincoln bet. chipped one up to mid-off, and, uh, and then that next ball, that was an absolute seed. He well, we really to see that on replay there. again. That the bold wicket. Let's see if we can get a replay of that on the screen. He really hit the stumps hard there. It looked like, looked like he got. We went, we went back to play the shot mm. rather than getting forward. And went straight through him and clipped the top of off. It looked like. I think the catering staff here are now running around quite quickly to try and uh, <laughs> sort out which could be a very early lunch. At this Who knows? Rate. Cricket's a funny game. But Berkshire 56 for six. In deep trouble here. So. I think the captain's having a little word of sharp, seeing what he wants. It's well, an odd field, isn't it? I tell it? you this what, I would put somebody in close on the, off, on the offside now and really go for the jugular. So we've got. Put some. There's no slips, no gullies, but they've got men in front. So well, obviously think they're thinking to hit that back of the length and a bit of sort of chip it up. So sharp on a hat trick ball. Trying to get him to play on the up. To Lewis. Hat trick ball. He's comes in now. Bowls, and it's defended Ooh. well from sharp. Some scream of excitement, but to no avail. Still a good ball though from Sharp. That's good tactics here, isn't it? It's, you know, it's just putting the ball there and letting, let, letting them try and drive. Mm. I don't know if we've got the replay of that wicket. The last wicket. I hope we do. So maybe after this. Bowler ball. number four, Sharp, changing the game again here. It's the last ball of his over. And he comes now to Lewis. Ooh. Lewis is hit a bit the high. Pad. They bit high. Take a single. Be late, guys. Well, wow, fantastic first over wow. from Sharp, wasn't it? I don't mm. think we were expecting that. No, absolutely Two for not. one off his first over. Yeah, fantastic. And that really has put another nail in the coffin for Marcher, mm. isn't it? 
is the replay of the, uh, the wicket. Shot coming in, tight to the stumps. Oh, oh wow. that's unplayable. That has clipped the outside of our well, stump. Think, I think he's gone back though. But maybe he shouldn't have done it. Let's watch it again. Yeah, look, he didn't really move his feet. It was a, he's gone back. It was a big backswing, to be fair, but not the best. Of if shots, you're hitting, think. if you're hitting top of off, you know you have to be a good player to defend that. Replay here again. Not really gone forward or back. No, that was a, it's a bit of a big swing. It's uh, it's poor really for a first ball. But um, I don't think that's a great shot. He had to go. So in comes in. in. Full of ball. Drive. Cut. Well, stopped at backward point there. Sort no of run. Early. So Lewis still not off the mark yet. No, I think that was a loose shot. It was loose. Loose shot, first ball up. You're trying to really just get behind the ball. Yeah, mm. loose shot, but well bowled as well. You know, you've got to be hitting those areas for your, for a new facing batsman, and he sure did. But yeah, definitely could have been played better there. So Lewis still on naught. Walked it into him here. Need nice little shot. Eyes. Yeah, sort of. Just be one. Just pushed it into the offside there for one. Cumbria, as you expect, nice and chirpy in the oh. field now. They, they couldn't believe it when they got those two wickets in the previous over. Good length ball, driven, no run. It's good. So Carter's currently faced 46 balls for his 11 runs. He's looked pretty pretty solid. But he has um, looked solid and he struck the ball well, but I think if Cumbria just keep this field tight mm. like they have, mid on, mid off, an extra, an extra cover, yeah. all in tight on that. There's not a lot else he can do. He's gonna have to There's no shots, singles, and then he's got to try and play a different shot. He's either got to open up the cover, but which has got cover boundaries. He's only going to get one there. Here he comes again. Driffler, See, driven again, mid on, no run. So Cumbria have set good fields, it's I think. It's a good field. Especially to, to walk in here. It's, everything's been straight. You know, It's been fully pitched, but it has been straight. And, and, walk, and walk in did well in the previous saver where he's said to his mid on and mid off you're too deep you're on the 30 yeah, yard circle you make it, you're making it easy get tight Yeah. and that's instantly put the pressure right back on Berkshire again mm. so if you just keep it tight keep these areas Berkshire got to manipulate the ball a bit that's and that's a straight down shot. the ground for that's four what Carter's been wanting to do all game he's found the fielders that was a lovely occasion, shot lovely he's shot pierced the gap here lovely on drive Superb shot. And again, Straight I, wouldn't, out the textbook. I wouldn't be worried if I was the bowler there. That's, no. That's probably the best shot of the day. No, that's what Watson kind of wants him to do. He wants him yeah. to be that more aggressive down the ground. Play your shots. But that was a superb shot from Carter. He's been wanting to do that. Well, probably Hold the, last, the toes. last 15 shots like that have all yeah. gone to field. So. Exactly. But no, mid on, mid off, still up in the ring. Watson in. And he just opens the face on yeah. this one. Out to the cover. Just get a single. Yeah. So a good play there from Carter. Creams a fall down the ground at Elegant. And then... Uh, Fair enough, that was a good over. Side. Yeah. That was a good over. Brings him to 63 uh, for six. <clears throat> so Sharp's back on. Is Sharp going to get another couple? He's definitely up for it. <laughs> the celebrations are loud. Oh, Everyone yeah. heard him celebrate. I think he's got a bit of character to him. A bit of energy. Sharps Carter. Again, it's a, it's like an umbrella field. It's like what it England is. did in Pakistan. They've uh, no one behind the back really. Everyone in front. And this one's Down a bit the next wide, side, and that's yeah. gonna be a wide. It's a shame. It's. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is a set plan. Either if it's, either for the bowler or whether it's against the batsman, we're not sure. But um, they say we've got bowl straight and it get looking yeah. for them to hit straight. Yeah. But then again, you know, if you're bowling straight, you might want to get a catcher in a slip or gully just for that for that edge, but. We've got a tight extra cover, a tight cover in a mid on and mid off. Man at mid wicket, in comes Sharp. This is slightly short, not where he wanted it. They'll be looking for two if they yeah, can. He's not happy with himself. He's going for it, Fray's in. I'll tell you what's going to be tight. Close. He's in though, I, I think. I think that's in. Yeah, yeah just. Well ran, but uh, a little bit and, and what they Well thought. worked from Berkshire, to be fair. Yeah. You know, he deliberately just worked the ball through, through gully and 
and they, they positively went for two. Yeah, Sharp wasn't too happy with that delivery. They definitely too short for the field set. Any bat yeah, on with, it. With this field square. set, he's got a ball full and he's got a ball straight. Yeah. Because anything just short of a length is just going to get worked through point, through gully. The two boundary riders out, obviously, at sort of widish third man and sort of backward point now boundary, isn't it? It's mm. So Sharp in now to Carter. And Carter, again, open space. Too short for <coughs> Sharp for this field. Easy one. Yeah. He's just opening the face, letting the ball hit the bat and just playing it down and running, really. It's going to have to be a little bit fuller here from Sharp. Or you bring your <coughs> or you get big a, backward point up. up in. Yeah. Put him into gully. That sh shuts down that shot. But obviously then you risk exposing the boundary ball that Oh, he's looking to cut him. Missed. And again, not big bounce though, was it? No, Lewis just sort of uh, was, had a little waft of that, but just outside of stump, moves away slightly. A half-hearted attempt at a shot there. Good That's ball. a better length, yep. It's just teasing the batsman there, you know, to actually play, play the shots, isn't it? And it's almost getting them to play through. That, that point position, isn't it, where, again, he's I'll just driven through those. gully. They've just got to make sure they turn these shots into oh, ones boy. and not twos. They probably could have yeah, gone for two Good there. fielding there from Cumbria. They fall about a second, but sharp fielding in the deep. But again, not the best area from sharp. Lewis could just put his foot down, just open the face and let it run away. Maybe it's a case of, if you're going to be bowling outside off stump, moving the wicket into mm. gully. I do think it's poor execution from this over from Sharp. I think he'll want to tighten it up first before they change the field. In he comes. Down the side is going to be... Sharp's going to peel, keep his height excited, but... Well, it must have hit something because he's not says, given a wide. Nope, must have been. Yeah, it must have been must off, have been off, off the thigh pad or something. Let's have a look here. He was very tight to the stumps, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah. In swinger, going down, <coughs> too just straight. Just straight the pad, isn't it? Started too straight and just carried on. Fuller pitch, that's better from Sharp there. Much fuller. Carter drove, but straight to the fielder. And that's the end of the over? Yep. Still not expensive. It's going to be gone for six of his two overs. Just 24 two wickets. overs gone. 68 for six. Mm. I think they'll just keep going with these two bowlers for a bit now. Yeah, you think so? Don't change try it. Try and create. Until something, something. happens. Absolutely. Sun's starting to eke out. Yeah, it got a little bit chillier for a few minutes, the clouds, but it's still out and about a bit. Yeah, good attendance here today. Mm. All the banks filling up. People coming to watch all their Yeah, well, how many do you reckon are here? I reckon... There's a good few hundred, I think. Yeah, probably 500, maybe. Yeah. Maybe just under that. So, walked in and again... Driven. That's again down Get the down. ground. Lovely in the field. Oh, well fielded. Great bit of fielding. Well fielded there. Mid by off, mid off. Covering mid on there. <laughs> mid on, diving across. Mid on missed. Good mid off covered. But they still snuck a single. And just score a 69 for six. I think they're just having a bit of a chat here. Just what do they do with the field? Do they push one back and push one in? Yeah, I think they're going to bring the wicket a little, little bit tighter in onto the square. Mid on pushing. So here comes walked in again. And no run. So Carter, it's on 19 or 54 balls. Top scorer in this inning so far. Not like that, he's not. He's just soaked up the pressure, I think. Yeah. Ooh, oh, he drives and misses off the back foot. It's just still there, a bit, a bit there in the wicket still, isn't there? I think that probably just seemed away from him. It's 
not easy out here for the batsman today. And back comes Walkden. Short of a length. Played and missed. Yeah, a bit Ooh, of a given wide there. Carter. Was it, that? To... was it that wide? I don't know. We'll see. Carter wanted to free his hands there. So there hasn't been many wide balls today out, no. outside off. There's been two wide balls, including that one, and one no ball. And that's... I think Carter would have loved it if he could find the middle of the bat there and flee it through the covers, but he couldn't connect. So walked in again. Drives to the bowler. Fielded. Bowler tries to collect, but boots it back to the wicket keeper. <laughs> Good football skills there. Yeah. Speaking of football skills, we had a last league game of the year for my crew club, Red Lynch, and uh, there was a tight run out, and it dropped to square leg. Square leg um, was you and Tanner. Didn't pick up the ball. We kicked it. One um, one stump to aim at. Hit the stumps. Ran out the batter. No. Yeah. And you could have seen the celebrations. Crazy. In comes Walkden. Drives Just out there to cover. Just for the one. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So is, he is he a footballer? He's thing? not. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But um, for those few seconds, he was the best footballer in the world to us. Yeah. So. He thought his transfer to uh, yeah. to Miami was coming to, to Beckham's club <laughs> yeah. to, to play with Messi. Yeah. I said to him, you need to retire now because you're not bettering that. <laughs> but... Yeah, all good cricket. In comes Walton then. The last ball is over. And, and he defends. So, 25 overs gone. Berkshire 71 for six, so edging up. And I think that's drinks. Yep, so 25 overs gone. Drinks have been called. Cumbria bowlers, well-deserved drink. Uh, at drinks after 25 overs, Berkshire has scored 71 for six. Archie Carter is on 20 from 57 balls and Rodri Lewis on 3 from 8 balls.
<laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, what radio? Yeah. Okay, so we're back on after the drinks break. Start the 26 over, Berkshire 71 for 6. And Sharp to start his third over. In he comes. Shorter ball, down leg side. And, and that's, that's going to be four. And it could be four wides, and it is four wides. Oh, I think Sharp thinks that could be leg buys. But. The umpire doesn't. No. <laughs> I think the umpire very much has signaled yeah. wide there. a little word with the umpire here, but umpire says <coughs> having none of it. That's where Sharp's really got to just tighten that line up a little bit, hasn't he? He's bought a few balls yeah. down the leg side. And Keeper will be a bit disappointed with themselves, though. He should have got a gobs that, really, but regardless, it shouldn't be going down the leg side anyway. Anyway, no. Sharp in again to Carter. Back on Carter, it. Better it ball. Pushes it to the offside for none. I think we're warming up a bit. Yeah, I'm, it's a little bit chilly. There's some dark clouds, but... As long as it doesn't rain, which is not no. forecast, so... But it's definitely not prime time, summer time. Hasn't been now for a number of weeks, has it? No. So sharp in again to Carter. Carter on 24. Carter Can. just rides that ball to the offside. Keeper so what, they'll be looking chases. for two there. No. Keeper's done a good job there. Mm. So just the one. I think that's that is the problem with the field they've set here is that you can just drop and look to push push for ones and twos just three point just by not much effort to be honest. I mean they've got five players effectively straight. Mm. It's a very unusual field, but it seems to be working. That's a Driven better ball, good yeah. shot, no run. Lewis with a good drive. Exactly. I think that's what they want, isn't it? They want that full, want full ball and they want him driving. Yep. Any sort of... Any ball that hits slightly high on the back that can pop up or uh, even a hard chance to the fielder, I think they'll want to take their chances. But it's got to be in those areas, that half volley ish length. Lewis just kills us onto the offside and a Easy quick one. single taken. And Carter's you know, moved on to 25, chewed up 60 balls, mm. doing a good job for Berkshire. In comes Sharp again, last ball of the over. Full ball, driven straight back at him. No run. Not a bad over that from Sharp. <laughs> no, just that one loose ball down the leg side, wasn't yeah. it? Apart from that, it was, loose, no. it was okay. So, teams there, a few changes from the semi final. Yeah. Toby Greatwood is scheduled to come in next, the Middlesex man. And then you're into the bowlers, I think, really. I mean, you might be into the bowlers anyway, but like I say these teams, they bat a long way. Everyone can hold a bat. So, let's hope we can have a bit of spin. Or is it... We'll see. So, the keeper has got his lid on. Yeah, it looks... Standing like up to the stumps. Definitely a change of bowling here. And I think you're right. I think it's going to be spin. It is a bit of spin. Not sure of his name yet. It's Fallows. Fallows bowling. Freddie Fallows it is. Left arm around. Short. This driven out to... Deep cover for your single. Uh, the new bowler for Cumbria at the Deer Park end is Freddie Fallows. It is Freddie Fallows, so opening batter, but he bowls from spin as well. Best of four for ten. Yeah. Taking 19 wickets, strike rate of 35, left arm off breaker. Quite a tall bowler. In he comes now. Very flat. And this is just guided to sort of the wide back of point. Again, looking not to give anything away early so doors here. He's a tall bowler, so it'd be quite a high release point. Um, see if he gets any spin here. 
and comes Fallo. He's in slightly solid in better flight ball from uh, from Carter. Again, mid off is non-existent. No, that might be the shot. He's looking for him to play. That's a good ball, but as Anyways, drops out to deep mid off, just for one. So they got mid off all the way back on the fence. Yeah, they've got a deep square leg in case of any drag down or full tosses. They've also got a deep cover out on the ring. So they got. Oh, they've just sent mid on out to long on. Don't know if the field, batsman picked that up. Edge to gully, no run. That's probably a good move, to be fair. Put your mid off and mid on back, and you've got three men on the yeah, square. Yeah, maybe they feel Lewis would be tight. slightly more aggressive to. Uh, you've got extra cover because it's really tight, haven't you? You've got sort of short mid wicket where it's, this is gone. No run. It's a good start. Absolutely, yeah. Not a bad first over. Got through his over quite quickly as well. Yeah, just two from it. Yes, run rate still below three, 2.9. You know, at some point, with 23 overs to go, there needs to be a bit of a run charge. So Sharp again for his fourth. From the Dibley end. Yep, so... In he comes now. Oh, good ball. Beating Just beating the, the bat there. Uh... And Carter having a good look back at the wicket there. Looking back mm. on our replay, yeah, just not much move, mo foot just, movement there from Carr, so he sort of played around that slightly one. Slightly cut it away. Back up the hill. It's a good ball. Yeah. Carter plays this into the offside, but just for one. I think Cumbria will be quite happy with this. There's runs aren't flowing, yeah. are they? It's just ones and twos here and there at the moment. No, it's slow partnership building. They will want to break it eventually, but they're 80 for six. Still nowhere near enough runs for Berkshire here. But who knows? These two can get in, and then I think if you can get in on this ground, I can see you. I can see the players scoring quite quickly. Um, You've got mid on and mid off up, so there's, you know if they feel confident. Want to hit one back over the top? It's there to hit. At the moment, it's more sing, more more dot balls. Mm. Problem is, the clock is ticking, isn't it? And before you know it, you're going to be down to 15 overs and mm. 10 overs to go. And I think the main thing for Berkshire, they just don't want to get bowled out. Not they don't, until the they last don't want to get bowled out, but they've also got to set a score here to try and. You'd feel maybe I don't know, 150 gets a game. You know, they'll have to bowl exceptionally well to get a win, but this inside bold. edge onto the pads, they sneak a single. Yeah, but if they don't get 200, I can't see them. Can't see them winning this no, game. I mean, Berkshire do have some some good bowlers, but um, say all it takes is one or two blokes to get a half decent score, and they'll easily win. But who knows? Still a long way to go in this game. But it's not going to be a high run scoring game like a few people might have thought. So Sharp comes in, and Carter just lets that one. Run off the blade out to third man, just for one. A few planes now circling. Yeah. Probably quite seen it from up there, I would have thought, looking down yeah. on the estate and the ground. Lovely part of the country. Slight change in the field there, just moving point within the 30 yard circle. Just trying to cut off that single. Sharp again. Full of ball. Oh, this Beautifully is played through. Mid wicket, and that's going to be four runs shot all along the floor. Mid wicket of Fallows didn't have a chance there. Nice shot. I'll have a look at a replay here. No, lovely shot, straight out the middle of the bat. So that's the end of the 28th over. Berkshire 86 for 6. So at this current rate, Berkshire will get to 147. Um, 6 and over will get them to 215, which sounds more like it, and 8 over to 259. So 
they've got to be looking for that 200. Yeah, 200, to to 200. 200 would be a, a good good score from where they are. So Fallows in now. Oh, I like that. That was a good, good flighted ball mm. from Fallows. And it'd be interesting to see if there's any turn in this Doesn't wicket. Doesn't look like it yet. I think he's almost going a little bit too quick for there to be any turn. Um, you know, as this spinner say, all it takes is for one ball to turn to get into the head of the batter. And he comes to Lewis. Again, well bowled. No he's, run. He's bowling very uh, attacking lines, you know, stump to stump. Yeah, no width, really. It's a little bit more flight now than his first over. He's mm. bowled quite flat first yeah. over. He's just, it just bit, giving it a little bit more air now. That's quicker ball. Punch, the Punch offside, to offside. Got a hand to it. It's going to be a single. single. As Fallow comes in to Carter. Carter guides that. Oh, it's a misfield there. That wasn't the best of fielding, was it? Short third man, really. Cumbria, and that's that been run over a... four. Dedicate touch there from Carter, and he gets four for it. Lovely touch. Just plays it late, late cut. I think that should four have been runs. fielded, really. Should have been, yeah. Yeah, I think Cumber will be a little bit disappointed there with the fielding. They've been good in the field so far. Taking most of their chances. So Fallows here, what can he come up with? Slightly short of an end. Just played out into the offside for one. Score up to 93 now. It's just trying to push the ball through a little bit too. More quicker, isn't it? Yeah. And that's what's almost given the batsman a little bit more pace on the ball mm. to work around. Whereas when he was bowling first few balls of the over, a little bit more air, and it's a little bit more difficult just to get away. Again, quicker ball. This one on the legs, pads. but... <laughs> so that's the end of the over. 93 for 6 of 29 overs. A little bit more expensive over that one, 7 off yeah. it. That's what Berkshire need though, isn't it? Yeah, a boundary and over or 2 will, will definitely help Berkshire. Uh, Berkshire need to be scoring 5, 6 and over now. Yeah. All the way through to the end. And to uh, post something for... Sharp in here to Carter. Carter just lets that hit the bat to the offside, but for none. Better field set now, I think. Yeah. Now you've got a point in, you just yeah, so it covers all give the away that now, free shot, it? haven't you? So just block that hole. You've got men sweeping either side, you've got a catcher in either side as well. Pretty good field. It's nicely played there from Carter, but for none. These two starting to build a bit of a partnership now. Oh, oh a lovely, lovely shot. shot through the cover, sir. They might only get two for it, though. Yeah, Phil is going to cut that off. They get two for it. Good shot from Carter through the covers for two. Brings him on to 36. Last last five overs, twenty six yeah. runs from it. So, you know they're get, they're getting up there into the, into the fives. Oh, that's come back to sharp pretty sharply. Going at head high, got a hand to it. Carter's hitting the ball pretty hard. He has been all winnings really, but bowler did well to stop it going there. I think that could have gone for four if he didn't get a hand on that. So sharpen again to Carter. And he just solidly defends that back to the bowler this time. It's 
So we've built a partnership now of 39. Bit of a rebuild for Berkshire. Having previously been 56 for six, now 95 for six. And keep this going, build up to that score of about 200. It's a lovely shot. Oh, lovely that's shot. That's going to be there, four more. Carter. Elegant. <coughs> Flamingo esque shot through mid wicket there for four runs. You get off on one foot, whipped it through the, the mid wicket boundary. Lovely shot. Watch the replay here. Cock of the leg. Perfect balance. Head over the ball. Four runs. That moves him on to 40 off 76 yep. balls. He's back nicely, Carter. It's yep. keeping Berkshire in this, but I think, you know, bowling change this. Sharp Potentially, thing, yeah. Just to try and change it up a bit. Last few overs from Sharp haven't looked very threatening. There's been a few boundaries from it yeah. too. So after the first couple of good overs, he's. Mm, it depends he's, what the Cumbria attack have really. They might, you know, they could bring Slack back on for a couple. But it would be from a different. So end. back to Fallows. Dot ball. Now let's just see. If he varies his pace and flight in this over so flight ball to start with and again second ball just pushes it through the covers here for one and I'd be happy with that you know, just one sort of every other ball or so it's okay it's just you need to cut the four balls out and that brings up Barch's 100 so 100 for six inside the 31st over this is flicked off the legs but man on the 45 will collect for none yeah Fallow he's Fallow's just bowling tight areas but I wouldn't say anything is too Sort of, it's nothing aggressive, it's just sort of line and length bowling, really. It's not spinning. Good flighty ball, just be one, just push that know, in the middle. If the batsman misses, he'll hit, but there's nothing that's I don't think anything will beat the edge, really. I think it's almost in that tipping point of aggression, isn't it? Yeah. When will the batsman think, okay, let's let, let's have a go? They've obviously got two fields set here, they're pushing I think they it will on catch back. In if there's anything short or extra full, another dot ball well fielded there from the bowler. That would have been a single there. Lewis just taking his time. He's he's played a couple of nice shots, but it's a just, just singles, though. Just singles on off here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean they'll take this right now. You know, Cumber will be fine with this. The odd boundary here or there will, will do. Must be over finish from fellows. Quite a quick over. Yeah. To be fair, and just twelve off his three overs. Yeah, Barks could be a little bit careful with that. It's thirty-one overs gone. Only. Uh, only 19 left. The overs will soon decrease. But not many wickets to play with. No. And Carter's got to be, got to be the key player here to, mm. to go big, isn't he? He's got to go yeah, big if Barcher are going to put... Uh, you'd say it to at least the 40th over. Yeah. Um, and some, really. But we'll see. Oh, so it is a change in bowling. It looks like a, it's leg spin. This will be interesting. They had to do something, really, I think. I think they'd almost this got used to sharp and used to through that mid-wicket. Two boundaries given away through mid-wicket. Two good shots. I think Cumbria... So what field have we got here? We've got a men sweeping either side, deep cover, sort of a deep square. New bowler at the Ghibli end for Cumbria, Nico Watt. So you've got mid-off and mid-on so on the boundary. Nico Watt. Looks like leg spin. Extra cover boundary, deep got square leg. Wickets, 68 wickets in his career here. And he starts well. Good start, good areas. Yeah. Be interesting to see if there's any spin as he settles into his over. Yeah, so leg spin, more aggressive bowler, but also more prone to leaking a few runs. So this could go either way here for Cumbria. That's a bit short. Slightly short and just whipped. Into They'll be looking the for two here. They'll be looking for I two. I think they'll get two. Yeah, they've gone for it. This will be close, no. but he gets in. Well run. So slightly shorter ball there, just flipped off his hip. Brings Carter on at 41, Lewis on 15. So what in again. And oh, this is lovely played down the ground. Hit hard, but just one run to long on. Doesn't look like it's doing too much, does it, at the moment? I don't think it's spinning too much at all, no, not at all. Again, quite a quick leg spinner by all accounts. He's not giving it much flight. He's sort of fizzing it in there. Again, slightly short, but 
No run. Again, the key thing for Cumbria is they're getting through their overs quickly. Mm. Good length ball. Oh, Slightly uh, missed. Slight miss hit there, going to mid wicket, but it's been done. It was well bowled. Just a three coming from the over so far. So a good start so far from what? Wonder if one of these one of these batsmen will start to take the counter attack here to the, to the spinners. Short ball That's pulled, pulled in front of square. So it's going to be at least two, if not four. Well fielded. It's well fielded on the boundary there. Stops the boundary, but Just they collect two. two. Just a few too many short balls there from what, isn't there? That yeah. Over? That's the 50 partnership between Archie Carter and Rodri Lewis in 62 balls and 39 minutes. I'm sure you heard that on the speaker there, but just a 50-run partnership there between those two. And just 62 balls as well, so mm, good you know, they are really pushing this on in 39 mm. minutes. So this has been a turnaround, really. If you just keep this foot, foot on the gas, yeah, five, six, and over. So the nope. next spinner, what he uh, he was actually the man in the moment in their first game, but not with the ball, but for the bat, he uh, hit the winning run on the last ball of the game in their first game. Um, we have one wicket victory over Hertfordshire, so. He's got uh, some nerves to him. In comes Fallow. That's good. good. Areas. Yeah, good areas from Fallow's. I there. think Fallow's looks better when he just takes the pace off mm. a bit. Get a bit of dip as well, yeah. I think. He's got good height. It's his quicker balls they've put away rather than his flighted slower balls. And again, good flight. Again, good areas. Tease and drive there. It's probably only going to be one. They've gone going to go two. for two. Yeah, easy two there. Good running from the pair, Lewis with another two to his name. Yeah, Lewis and Carter are certainly doing a good job for Berkshire here, aren't they? And trying to turn this round from the real early pressure that Cumbria applied. Another dot ball. Quicker ball, another dot ball. Just not allowing the botch batsman to free the hands at all, is there? No. no freebies outside off, no drag downs really, from Fallows at least. Probably full of pitch there, and they'll just take a single to mid on. Long on, sorry. Just trying to get him to hit across the line, really. That sort of deep mid wicket area is empty, mm. and that's really that, and over the top of extra cover are your two places. That there aren't boundary riders. Pushed up to the covers here for another single. So then that's over. So Fallow's quickly gone through his four overs, naught for 15. And what needs to bowl slightly more consistently fuller in this over? And I think mm. yeah, he might, might better get something. Okay. I mean, I don't. I, th I think he's a natural quick leg spinner, but if he can just slow it down a touch, he might get a little bit of grip in the surface. Again, all it takes is one or two balls to spin, and then it gets in the head of the batsman, then doesn't it? Well, if not, they can just play through the line. Cumbria just get you know one or two quick wickets again. Mm -hmm. They're bang on it. Oh, Berkshire one 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 for six. They're on Nelson. <laughs> is there going to be a commentator's curse? We'll see. In he comes now. It's good yep. areas there from uh, from Watt. So only 17 overs to go now. Yeah, I think one of these, maybe not just yet, probably nearer the 10 over mark, will just put the accelerator down. Short, Short. Ball swept. That's yes. going to be four, I think. Very yeah. well played there from Carter. Yeah. yeah, that's four runs. He got down on one knee and swept that lovely. And into a picnic camper. <laughs> <laughs> he read the length very quickly there. He saw that it was. He saw that it was short. Got down on one knee. Played it behind square all along the floor for a well-deserved four. That brings him to 48, so he's he's cracking on now. But again, nothing nothing outrageous. He's just cashing on the bad balls, really. Some good shots, cashing in. This way, Watt has got to bowl fuller now, hasn't yeah. he? He so really Watson. does have to push it through. That's better from Watt. Good and areas. find that right length, because he's bowled, the balls he's been put away for have all been short. Yep, absolutely. And when you're bowling at that pace, you don't even need to hit it too hard. It'll just get any bat and it'll run away. Especially with Carter now, you know, well set. Mm. Watt into Carter. And this is flicked for one, I think. Yep, out to 
square leg. Puts her on a 49. Yeah. So the run rate has increased now to 3.45, which is better than what it was at mid twos from the first 20 odd overs. So Lewis on strike now. Better ball again. And Lewis just pushes this back. It's good when he bowls nice and full. Yeah. The batsmen are not finding it that but, easy to play, but they're also thinking, well, I'm going to get two or three shorter balls that I can put away. Mm. Lewis on the back foot this time. Well, well fielded. Well stopped there from the bowler. Fielding off his own bowling. Well done. That's the over. He might have hurt himself, but I don't know. So what ball is two overs for ten? Yeah, the bigger... 16 overs remaining. The big indent with the, the ducks of Woods and Davies, really. <laughs> they are for us as well. So Boxer, 116 for six. It's been 10 extras in this inning so far, which is okay. A few wides here or there. So Fallows, in the changing field. Blocks out. Sun's peeking out the clouds again now. Carter looking for that single to get to his 50. Yeah, it'd be a well-deserved half century if he can get there. Yeah, it's been solid. He's batted well. Not in that one, he doesn't. Fellow's getting into a nice little rhythm here. Hmm. Don't know if someone like Carter will come down the wicket, maybe. I don't think on 49 he will be. Mm. I think he'll just be looking to oh, flick it through mid wicket for which one. He does, slightly <laughs> uppish. They've taken Stay one. Stay there for one. And he's taken one, and that'll be a 50. half century. Well played. He raises his back to his crowd. After the score from 89 balls in 90 minutes and included five balls. So, a brilliant half century there from Carter. I'm sure he'll want to carry on and double that. But he's played a very calm head. He's picked the bad balls, played some elegant shots, really, and never looked like really getting out. Lewis just pushes this again for one run. Good rotation the strike. Yeah, he's set the base now, hasn't he? Mm. He's got to go on now, Carto. He's got to get <coughs> another 50, really. Yeah, I don't think he'll change his, his mentality yet. I think he'll just carry on as he is. Going to wait for the bad, for the bad one. Chubbies here with Barch, they don't want to give any the Cumber bowlers a sniff really, you know, they've still got 15 overs after this. Quicker ball, dot ball. Yeah, they'll want to maximise their, their batting, you know, they'll want to get, they don't want to get bowled out, they want to face every over. <coughs> it's a tricky one of when, when to go, isn't it? Mm. When to really start trying to attack. Wow, with Six wickets down, they'll have to wait until the last whether, few, really. Whether Lewis is given that, that sword to have a go. Maybe, yeah. So, Fellow's body is five overs for 18. I think it's back to Watt, isn't it? Yeah, Watt's got another over. How many more extra overs Watt gets before Cumbria tries something different? I'm not too sure. Oh, reverse, reverse sweep, sweep. It. It's gone Fielded. to Fallows at point, and he stopped it. Good shot from Lewis. So Lewis with a bit of innovation there. Okay, he's in again. He's punched down the ground, but for none. Definitely looks like Lewis is the one who's looking to attack. So what in again? Picked off his legs, but no run. Seems to be picking the fielders as Lewis. Morton again. Lewis punches down the ground. Well fielded, extra cover. So four dots so far in this over. Good over from what so far? Yeah, you got a feeling something's going to give, maybe. <coughs> Will he try another reverse sweep? doesn't he just pushes it again he's quite content with the dot so far much better over from what this this time round the reverse is there though isn't it they open up the field it is on yeah they've only got that back of point to beat but this time he hits a bit more harder goes out to long off there just for one and he'll keep the strike 
So one nineteen for six <coughs> from thirty six overs. Overs remaining fourteen. Like I say they want to back the whole the whole allotment. That's for sure. Make the most. So even at six and over now, they're going to get to two hundred and three. Mm. If they can get to eight and over two hundred and thirty one, but two hundred's got to be a minimum. <coughs> Good over from what that though, just one off it. So it's like a change in bowling now. So Fallow just come off, which is a bit surprising. He looked to be bowling okay. Yeah, he he did. Maybe they think something different here does uh, Cumbria. So it's a left arm spinner, it looks like. So it's Siddle into bowl. A long run up for a spinner, but he's in. And he gets driven through the covers for one. A new bowler for Cumbria at the Deer Park end, Matthew Siddle. So Siddle is our, um, well, one of Cumbria's main bowlers, really. He's picked up a lot of wickets in this comp. And he's driven through the covers, looking for one. They got one, could get two, but no. And he comes to Carter. And it's probably a straighter ball that mm. blocked out. Yeah, so Sidda win Cumbria's third game of this competition, took 5.58. Bowled very well, beating Northumberland. And he comes now. Again, just driven out to the offside for one. Again, just singles here, isn't it? Yeah. So left arm spinner replacing left arm spinner. Siddle replacing Fallows. Siddle a little bit shorter in stature, slightly slower, but off a longer run up. Sort of pauses and then goes again. Fly more flighted there, but just driven again. Carbon copy of the previous ball. Comes Siddle again. He's driven hard and it's well fielded, well fielded well there fielded. by the bowler. Definitely stopped a single there. Yeah, not bad first over. Three three runs no, from it. Not bad at all. Berkshire 122 for six. Off 37 overs, 13 to go. When are they going to press the fire up button? It'd be interesting. I think, I mean, it's the wickets, isn't it? It's the wickets. They don't want to get bowled out. They want to make the most of their overs. I think they'll just carry on this tempo until the 40th, maybe the 42nd, maybe even longer, probably maybe, longer. Yeah, maybe the last seven or eight, they might. But then they could kick themselves. You know, these two could bat all the way to the end and they might feel, why don't we go sooner? That's been pulled in front of square. That could be four. I think it's a fielder. Oh, oh dear. and the fielder let it go through his legs. He didn't get down. And they won't be happy with four that. Four runs there to Carter. It's a good shot, but it should have been stopped and uh, went down to collect it and literally... Got a bit excited, I think. He didn't straight through his hands. Didn't stay down low for long enough. For four. Cumbria, all you need to stay alert in the field here. Eh? Don't let it get away from him. Full of length. Slightly inside of the bat there. Runs away to square leg. Yeah, I think Cumbria, they, they shouldn't get frustrated as they're in such a good position, but... You know, they haven't had a wicket for a while. This I partnership is, is, is potentially <coughs> building. Yeah, that's the key. And thing. when you get to the back end of these sort of innings, they, you know, it, it has the potential to really kick on. So they'll be searching for a wicket, but they don't want to force it. And that's when things can start going yeah. wrong if they start forcing it. And little misfeels like that doesn't help the cause. No, it's been a while now for, since the last wicket. So what in again? Oh, well bowl, and this is fine to the outside edge, and it will run what, away to third there. man. I think they could even be... Two at least. Yeah, yeah. it's just going to does the it? fielding. Gets it into the wicket keeper for two. 
So a bit of an eventful over so far. We've had a boundary, a single and then a two as well. Two balls to go in the over. Short of a length and just whipped off his hip there from Lewis for another one. He moves to 26 now, so he's just getting on his way. He's meowing his own business, but he's accumulating. It's whether they want to change it up from this end the next day, maybe. maybe I don't yeah. know. Just try something different. Sonny Fuller pitch, and this will be one. Yeah, I mean, this Siddle coming on the previous over, that's uh, the. Yeah, so what's bowled four overs now for 20? Yeah, Cumbria have bowled seven bowlers so far in this inning. So they have plenty to, plenty of variation, really. Um, you know, Slacks to ask some overs to bowl, the opening bowler, the MVP. <laughs> so whether he'll come back on, but they might feel pace off the ball, be harder to hit on this wicket nearer the end. So we will see. Or whether they just think, you know, four, five and over. Mm, well, the current rate it's will get them to get one, them. seven, four. Six and over 204, I still think that 200 mark is the benchmark, isn't it? I've got to get to 200. You know, it makes a good game out of it then. Anything can happen. Who knows? This could be enough. We never know. So Siddle in. Shorter. Cut. Full shot. That's going to run away. Behind backward point, and that's going down the hill. Fielder goes for a chase. He stops it. I think he stops it. Yeah, I think he stopped that successfully. And I think they'll pick up a few there. Well fielded on the boundary there. Yeah, so they pick up three to Carter. He moves to 61 now. He's in the 60s. Lewis takes strike. Well bowled there from Siddle. Slowed it down a little bit, I think, there, didn't he? Yeah. Just trying to get any purchase out the ground here. I don't think there's going to be much, though. Whether that's the same in the second innings, we'll see. Definitely taking pace off the ball for the spinners is working. Well flighted in the air. Ah, and, and he's that gone. He's out. He's gone. Caught and bowled. Lewis has to go. He's disappointed of himself there. That's good bowling though, because yeah. he did hold it back. He's Siddle flirted bit more flight. up. Yeah. Bit more flight. And Lewis could only chip Best it to the pace. bowler. Good catch from Siddle to be fair. Yeah. That's what they needed though, didn't they? Cumbria needed that. Yeah. Hit. That's what I mean. They Just weren't break the Rodney punch. Lewis was caught and bowled by Matthew Siddle for twenty six. Yeah, good wicket there for Cumbria. Much needed wicket actually. That partnership was building. It's a good catch. Straight into the pouch. So great wood looks like he's coming out. The new batter for Berkshire is number nine on the scorecard, Toby Greatwood. See Greatwood again, one of the Middlesex players. Yep, he got drafted in today's. Squad. So very much structure to a score. But well bowled there by Siddle. Giving it a little bit more air, taking the pace off the ball, a little bit of turn, a bit of a full shot. So much needed wicket. Yeah, so Toby Greatwood, number nine batsman, he comes in. He's got an average of 48.8, 150. Mm. Can't have batted that much. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he can strike it. He's just going to have to stay in for a little bit here, I think. So, Siddle win now. And he plays that Old. softly. So Cumbria desperately needed that wicket to break the partnership. Now the seven down of Berkshire. Quicker ball. Greatwood pushes this to the offside just for a single. He's off the mark. So last ball of Siddle's second over. He's bowled really well so far. A slower ball, a bit of flight. Inside edge. And no run. And that's the over. So Berkshire, 136 mm. for seven. This game turns again. Just as we thought Berkshire were going to get to a half-decent total, which they still might. 
they've been set back again. Just having a look at the sort of wagon wheel here, so there's been 155 dots, 56 ones, 12 twos, two threes, 10 fours, and zero sixes. I think Berkshire will need to increase that four and six column yeah. later on in this innings. So, what still remains on? Good flighted ball. Yeah, much better length there. That's better if you, if you can. Um, <laughs> Phil Dunrys took his head off there, the ball. If you can just keep that flight going in those full areas, I think it's going to be really tricky to, mm. to score off. So I think Cumbria will bowl spin almost near to the end, I reckon. They will now, oh, I think. Quick single taken. This is close. Oh, that's got to be close. So he's given in. in. <gasps> he is giving in. Well, you might want to see that on the replay. That was tight. Who is it that's been run out? He gave it out? very quickly as well. Is that Carter that's been run out? No, I think that might be Greatwood. I don't know. I think that's Carter run out. Is it? Greatwood. Ah, sorry. Greatwood has been run out. <laughs> Apologies. For one. Toby wow. Greatwood was run out for one. Well. Not ideal. I don't know if we can see a side on replay. Here we go. We're watching it now. Good pick up, good throw, straight over the keeper. Ooh, that doesn't look out to me. That's, Sorry, uh, but that doesn't look out. No. We might get a better they... view. To be fair, the keeper was kind of in the. Wow, so was the batsman. They the keeper took the ball and then had quite a bit of work to do. But it looked like. Yeah, I'd say that's. I him. think that might just be in, but no I don't DRS think it's in this. Uh, it was Archie Carter who would run out for 61. It was Carter. Oh, you were right. So, not good. That's a big moment in this game. Here you go, there's a better camera. Oh, that's the, I'd still say that's not out. Wow. So, Carter, top scoring of 61, but he was run out. I think he's going to be, he's going to be gutted with that, isn't he? Absolutely Yeah, gutted. I don't think you should look at the replay, but... It's, it's live Umpire, and it's out there, Will, so... <laughs> Umpire's decision stands. Oh, dear. So Tom Nugent into, bar, into bat. And a big oh, appeal. Oh, an appeal. Everyone's Not up, out. but umpire's finger stays the down. The for Berkshire is number 10 on the scorecard, Tom Nugent. Well, that's going to make a huge impact yep. into what Berkshire's opportunities are here. Yeah. Because Carter was well set, batting really nicely. Mm. Cumbria with Commanding the of Lewis. And then the run out of... Well played. It'll just be one. It just Come. shows though, you get one wicket and the floodgates will open. Just sparks that little bit of excitement from the fielders and the bowlers. You know, within 10 minutes we're thinking, okay, 200, 200 still on and they, they'll, they'll be lucky to get 150 to get now, you never know. Oh, well bowled. And beat the bat there, very good over. So it says on our scorecard, it's... We're a bit delayed, aren't we, I think, on yeah. the scorecard. It says it's seven wickets down, but it should actually be eight. And, and we'll wait and see. It's because of the... What, yeah. What's shown as 4.1, but... I'm sure that'll catch up in a second, but a good... That was a good over from what? So we're in Into to the, final the last ten play. overs. This could be telling in how this game goes. A After 40 overs, Berkshire are 137 for eight. We're now into the final power play where a maximum of five fielders are permitted outside the 30 yard circle. So still spin with the last 10 overs to go. Whether they will stay with spin for I the think, whole thing. I think they will now. Yeah. I think it'll be hard for lower order batsmen to yeah. no, clear think, the boundaries. You know, the lower order batsmen then start thinking, right, do I have a big heave home? <clears throat> Try and get the score accelerated. It's not been easy. Still a winter bowl. It's cut, but for none. I think if they get 175 now, they'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I say, it's a final. You just never know. 
Berkshire have some good bowlers, scoreboard pressure, a few wickets early on, you just don't know, do you? Well played, that's going to spin away from the fielder, they could get two, but they decide not to, just the one. Yeah, I mean, we were saying 200 is the benchmark, but we say wickets, wickets are the key. Yep, yeah, Berkshire 137 for eight. It really has turned on its head a bit. One minute box, you're looking to climb back into the game a bit. Two wickets quickly happen. Absolutely. And Cumbria way back in charge here. Spinners are bowling well. Siddling again. Good flight. Great, we just pass that back to the bowler. So at this rate, they are estimated to get 170, which you'd feel is about right. But who knows, maybe this lower order might just swing the bat a bit more. Just hit and hope, maybe. Not Probably not. Maybe with four overs to go, you'd say? Four or five to go, I think yeah. they've got to go for it. Because otherwise they're just not going to have a score to defend, no. are they? So you know, they could get an odd boundary from an edge or two. Just... Otherwise you end up blocking it out and get yeah. 150, and that's not going to be anywhere near yeah. enough. And it's just starting to drizzle here. It's just starting to rain. Oh, oh, and this could be no, on here. I think he's made it in. I think he's made that in. So it's just starting to rain here. Let's hope it's nothing more than a drizzle. So Barksha one three nine for eight from forty one, nine overs to go. Still bowling, the leg spinner. Good length, yeah. hit the splice of the bat there. The slower he bowls, the more flight he delivers, the better he looks. Mm. Is that a hawk literally coming across us? It is. He, straight back to the bowler there. Rain coming down now. The rain is starting to come down a little bit more heavily now. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does have some sort of impact and the covers get called for. The ground's been just starting to get ready. And it's definitely coming down harder now. Just looking to move the cameras around a little bit. <coughs> Pushes it for a single. Uh, I think the groundsmen over there are starting to prepare themselves, I think, for what might be a break in play. They carry on though, however. Yeah, the umpires are standing still. People are taking cover. Umbrellas are going up. Picnics are being put away. Mm. Champagne's been moved. Flight to delivery, push through the covers. Just a one, I think. Well, they said there was a chance of rain. But mm. They said, it's, I think the groundsman said 0.3 of a millimetre. Well. A lost mobile phone has been handed in. If you have lost one, can you please come to collect it from the PA point at the front of the pavilion? Oh, it's not my phone, so... Umpires don't seem that bothered with the rain, no, do they? I think that maybe they just want to keep the game going. Maybe they think it will pass. It's one of those situations, isn't it? With 145 mm. for 8, you mm. don't really want to be coming off for a rain reduced no. game. Duckworth Lewis was saying reduce it to 120. And yeah, I, don't, I mean, I know that they'll have some time to spare anyway, but. Oh, we're going to go for a. Yeah, I should make that single easy. So, Greatwood just moved to seven. 
Nugent on four, so just a few handy runs from the lower order here. In comes Siddle. Good flight again from him. Yeah. I wonder if he'll be struggling to grip the ball in these wetter conditions. Seems to ease off a bit the rain actually. Still trickling down a bit, but not as heavy as it was for a minute or so. Umbrella still up all around the ground. Game carries on. Quicker ball from Zero. Oh, and the and slips, slips there. Now, maybe that might be the clues of the umpires. <laughs> it's been raining for about five or ten he, minutes. And he, he was on the back foot there, and he looked to push off his, his back foot for a single, and he just went straight to the floor. Anyway, here comes Siddle again. Flighted. Tempting him. Oh, Driven. That's no a run. Hard. Well, it's, 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 it's rain is starting to persist a bit now. Mm. Well, I'm surprised that I think the covers I think the haven't umpires, come on. I think after this next two ball, I think the umpires will get the covers on personally. Flighted, well bowled. I just got saw ball. square leg. I look at the groundsman. So you've got one balling over left from Siddle. He's bowled really well. One for 11. I think, I think they'll have to get the covers on I here. think they'll have to. It's, it's not making Hopefully it. Hopefully it won't last long, but we'll see. Bold again, dot ball. Yeah, umpire's going into his pocket. So it's... So, Siddle's completed his four overs, one for 11. Umpires, umpires are coming together, together aren't they? I think they're going to have to bring the covers on. As soon as that happens, though, it's starting to line up The groundsmen are on the tractors, they're all ready. Um, I think Cumbria are keen to stay out there, and so are the umpires. Interesting. So it carries on. So it's what again? He's completed six overs for 27. Only seven overs left. So if I was out there now, I would be um, saying it's time for a little bit of acceleration mm. and taking it on. Yeah, I think maybe a few more overs. So if he can knock it about. Keep knocking it about, a few singles, the odd boundary until the 46th over, I'd say. In comes Watt again. Ooh, Tried slap. to get aggressive there, well fielded by the bowler. Great one, slaps back to the bowler, and that's hit him hard. He'll be feeding that one on his fingers. And he comes again. It's looking dark over there across the trees. Mm. Not looking good. Hopefully they can get this innings done. Get the covers on over lunch. In comes what again. Shorter ball. Oh, he's missed out there. It's yeah, great. No run. Do we know what the menu is for lunch? I don't. I can imagine it'll be something quite nice, though. I'll have to report back on that later, won't we? Yeah. Something warm. It's a bit chilly now. Nice bottle of shard now, isn't it? That wouldn't go. That wouldn't go amiss. In comes Watt again. Shorter again. This time Great would connect, but it's straight to mid wicket. They're no, finding the spin difficult to get away. Mm. It's good bowling. Both spinners now bowling really nicely. Not much being given away. Pace being taken off a ball. And again, another dot. Yep. So that's. Watts finished that day, he's bowled seven overs for 28 runs, so pretty good from the legs. And these two getting through 11 overs really quickly. They are. Which That's again, spin you does. Know, get through those overs quickly and before you know it, you need six overs to go now. Mm. This is now a time where it's, rolling, it's worth rolling those dice. You know, try and get another 30 or 40. Because without that, Thank you. it's looking like a score that Cumbria will probably knock off quite, quite easily, I would have thought. Mm. So, you know, current run rate, 167. Six and over, they can get one, 183. So they, need, they need to be at that six over, six runs and over mark. And they've got to attack. Nugent goes to work it, but Siddle, he's been sharp off his own bowling. He has been very athletic. Caught and bowled of Lewis. Some glimmers of sun again, but not from where the weather's coming from. Uh, umbrella's still up. Did win again to Nugent. Well bowled. Jabs it in the offside. They go for a single. This could be close. Oh, he was a goner. 
but it did not hit. It's the fourth or fifth. <laughs> Seventh Direct or eighth run out would have been gone. Barcher have definitely taken their chances. They've, they've taken their chances with the, with the singles, haven't they? But mm. we really haven't seen them go after the boundary balls, have we? No, not yet. It's a great win. It's faced 25 balls now. He just pushes this to the covers again, just for one. Edge to score to 149. When will they pull the pin? When will the old long handle come out, well, Steve? You'd be coming out now if it was me. Was it? <laughs> Still number 11 only left to bat. I think they'll hold back a few overs. Well played there from Nugent. So that's three so that's 150 now. up. Yep, 150 for Berkshire. It's taken 44.4 overs to get there. So they're fighting their way back from the... Cumbria bowled really well, haven't they, all the way through? Yeah, a lot of early wickets. Sidor again. Slower this time. Pace off is working, especially mm. when they're not really looking to get after it. Not seen one shot over, over Cow Corner yet, have we? No, nothing. Just too correct. They're bowling very tight lines, stump to stump. You miss, I hit. Another dot ball, well bowled from Siddle again. Five overs bowled, one for 14. It's amazing, he's only gone for 2.8. Mm. So yeah, 150 with five overs to go. I mean, any other game, you'd say 10 and overs, 200. <laughs> so still the leg spinner of what? He's got three overs left, so he could bowl all the way through it. Yeah, I think he will, to be fair. I mean, they're, they're bowling well, aren't they? Spinners, Unless something spinners, drastic happens. Spinners are doing a really good job. They're not going after them. It's Nugent on strike. Why change? He's given that one some leverage, and this could run away for at least two. Yeah, I think it'd be an easy two. Outfield slowed up a little bit with that rain. So two off the first ball. Good start. Berkshire just scratching any runs they can get here to get to a half decent total. The rain stopped now, hasn't it? So the umbrella's mm. starting to come down. That's good news. But it still looks very dark in the distance. Short of ball there, and that's, could be a wide. Yeah, I think he's going to sit in a wide. Yeah. I thought he'd gone through. Umpire's getting a wide ball. So watch needs to tighten up here. Maybe that moisture on the ball just letting it go a bit. Slipping out. Not easy to be bowling leg spin with a wet ball, is it? No, especially at his pace. You can see it drying. He's drying the ball in his shirt. And he comes to Nugent again. Shorter ball this time. That's been hit hard down the ground. Long off comes around to collect, but just the one, well fielded. A little bit more aggression coming to the batting now, isn't it? Mm. Much needed, more I think. Intent. Much yep. needed. They are hitting the ball a bit harder now. Nothing aerial as yet. Great old on strike now. Oh, he's done the chop it through. It's the right shot because there's no third man, so if he can work it through there, it'll be runs. And that's been hit off his hips. Just one, I think. Deep backward square, just for one. That is a very black cloud that's gone round us, luckily. Mm. It looks like it is heavy, heavy rain over in the distance. So luckily we've got away with that. For now. So what? Two balls left to the over. Back in again. What can Nugent do here? Nothing with that Lock ball. <laughs> yeah. So I think after this over, I think the long handle's coming out. They've got to go for this. They... But how would they do it? Do they come down the wicket? Do they reverse well. sweep, sweep? Who knows? Well, he's made some room there and goes the bowl. Are they just, just going to take one, one, though? So what completes his eight over for 34 runs? 
Yorkshire move on to 156 for eight. Of 46 overs, four to go. We need some fireworks here now from Berkshire. Got to get up to 175, 180 if they can. Will they do it? Is the question. But it certainly needs some aggressive batting now. I don't know, I have a feeling one of these is going to get a quick 20 or 30, you know. I think. To be honest, it'd be nice to see to set a decent mm, it'll make a good game score it. to set a target. Otherwise, it could be the difference, you know. This sort of wicket, low scoring game in a final. The finals are always low scoring, aren't they? Go large or go home. Mm. Here, we, here we go then to sit all the bowling. They worked it to the onside. Keeper has to get this one, he does well. Good work from the keeper there. Extra man gone out on the boundary. So, great with on strike. Got deep square, deep wicket, deep mid on, Hope deep sorry. mid off. Nugent on strike. So they've got their fielders out now. Field they, set. They've, they've predicted it. They're not all on the boundary. They're all probably five, ten yards in. What can Nugent do? He dabs it to third man, but no run. Do you reckon the reverse sweeps on? The two men are up in the ring. He has to get yeah. it through them or over them. Anything past him is four. I think straight. Well, he makes I think straight back over his head. In he comes to Nugent. Slightly shorter. Just drop. They're going to work it. Keeper's got the ball in yeah. hands. Easy single. Well worked from Berkshire batsman there. Siddle's spot a good spell. It's brightening up here now. Siddle into Greatwood. Shorter ball. Hit hard to long off. Just going to be one though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's still good batting, you know. You've still got to get those singles if you can't get a boundary. You can't dry up. Quite a crowd in now, actually. It's slowly getting larger, despite the weather. So Siddle in. Two balls to go in this over. Nugent on a strike. Flighted. Whipped into a wicket. Another single. It's almost like Berkshire just content to not a ball around. Just get so now, six, five, six and over if they Maybe can, they'll wait. Just see... Yeah, maybe they're just going to wait another over to really go for it. Maybe they won't at all. Maybe they just think, well, if they can get a 175 by getting 5, 6 and over, mm. they'll be content with that. Siddle into Greatwood. Greatwood pushes it back past the bowler for another single. So, five singles in that over, so it's not too bad, but no boundaries. Which is key for these last few overs now. Three of them to go. 162. So, yeah, Siddle and Watt, the spinners. Watt's bowled at eight overs, Siddle's bowled six. Both going at a decent run rate, sort of threes and fours. And it's still going to be Watt, the left spinner. Last five overs have only gone for 17. Wow. That's not what you want in the back end of an innings. And just over three and over. I know the, I know the wicket's down, but I've got to roll the dice. Here. So, great we're done here on 13. And he makes some rooms, pushes it to mid wicket for one. So we feel we've got a deep cover point, deep middle wicket, and a sort of a deep cow. Tossed up, driven the mid off. Two men are out straight as well, so they've got protection. Just the single there. The batsman even have to hit it hard in the gap, so we're going to have to clear him. You could say behind the bat is on, sort of the sweeps and reverse sweeps. Oh, That's a lovely shot. To over cover. That's better. Slightly short. Yeah, he's middle driven that. Driven extra cover for four. He's hit that hard for a cover. It's a little bit aerial, but no one was there. That's more like it from Great Wood, isn't it? Well, that's what the gaps, you know, the gaps are there. You put, You've just got to beat the infield, so. You put some real force into that, some good bat speed. That was good. Skipped along the outfield. So it's like changing the field a bit. Yeah, they just brought deep point is coming to sort of a deep cover now. And it's gone to extra cover, but for none. So what with two more balls left in this, 
whether he'll bowl one more over after this. You'd think I'd maybe. just keep him going. He's bowled. You know, they're not really getting after him, are they? So great wooden again. Oh, Ooh, inside wood. edge. Going to run away, run away for a couple. Two runs at least. He'll take that. It's well bowled again. It's eight runs off the over so far with a ball to go. Two more would do at least, wouldn't it? Ten <coughs> off the yeah. over. It's more like it. I Brings think the one seven pace off. Pace off. It's not easy. No. I think they recognise that. Bring back his pace on, and yeah. then suddenly it's Any a bit, it's a bit to easier to have a go at. So what in? And he pushes that for one. So nine off the over. So a handy over that for Berkshire. Score is 171 for eight. And there's two overs to two go. Two overs to go. So somehow they've got the 171. Just when you think they're down and out, a little partnership builds. That's what champions do, though. One time chance. 180, 185. Oh, I think 190 if they have another good over. Who knows? It's nine off the last. Mm -mm. They're going to have to pull the pin here. Surely two overs to go. Got to go for it. Got to go for it. Two overs to go. What have they got to lose? Still one wicket in the in the hutch as well. I know it's number 11, but they can swing a bat. I'm sure number 11 can swing it. So the field is we've got a long on, long off, deep cow, deep mid wicket. Okay, so we'll what can you do? Can whip it to mid wicket. They'll be looking for two. Yeah, he's got to get two there. Oh, no, he's called him down. Just a single. I think there was two for the taking there. Brings Nugent back on strike. I think he's going to have to be a bit innovative here. I think maybe hit it behind him, get the reverse sweep out, something like that. It's the sweep's there, isn't it? Sweep's there. If he can just beat short, Or will he back himself just to man. clear the boundary fielders? Here comes Siddle to Nugent. It's tossed it's up. In the air, it's in the it's air. Going to it's split the fielders. Pitching wedge to mid on. Just the one. So it is aerial. He went down the ground. Not using their feet here at all. Just looking to play from the crease. Mm. So, Siddle again. Quicker ball, looks Ray Wood goes for the reverse and he finds the Ray field. The field like a good shot. Unlucky there. I think that is a he good shot. He more than that. That is definitely one of the shots to play. So you've got a third man in the ring. Point is in the ring as well, so it just has to beat them. Unfortunately, he found the fielder though. Will he go again? Siddle into Great Wood. He comes down. Oh, oh and he's held it in his delivery stride. Umpire calls dead ball. No. So Mickey Mouse yep. tactics here. I used to do that. <laughs> I think he was hoping the non-striker non was going to run down the wicket. Then mm. we could have seen some controversial taking of the bales. Oh. Number dot ball. Nice ball from Seal. I didn't think he knew what he wanted to do with that ball to Greatwood. He was so eight mines. balls left. One seventy-three for eight. Yeah, you think double that? Sixteen gets him to almost. We've got to get a one eight five, haven't they now? Yeah. I think Greatwood's the man though. Will he go for that reverse sweep again? In comes Siddle. And he just works it just to the works. leg side. Cow will collect that just for one. <coughs> I think so, I think Nugent has a free hit here personally. One more ball in the second well. last over. One ball to go from Siddle. Nugent's gonna have the strike regardless. Uh, sorry, Great would have to stroke, strike for the next over regardless. Anyway, I think this is a free hit. In comes Siddle. Yeah, it comes down the Tossed wicket. Up, used his feet. Almost yorked himself running. there, but they'll take a Not single. Not going for the run out. It's easy single. One over to go. Berkshire 175 for eight. And Great Wood is on 23 or 43 balls, and Nugent's 15 off 19. Mm. So, one more to go. It didn't even look like we are going to get the 50 overs. It didn't, no, it didn't. 50 overs, have one quickly. Spin helps, there's been a lot of overs of spin, they've got through the overs very quickly. They could have easily collapsed as well. Wow. They had Berkshire a... have kept it going and kept yeah. it going, they've, they've got a score. Yeah, they lost a lot of early wickets thanks for Moulton. It's 10 overs, two wickets for 14 runs with yeah. four maidens in there, that was the, the big breakthrough at the, start the, the show, start. really, wasn't he? Yeah. Bob well. Sharp, two wickets and two balls. That was mega. So, Nugent on strike. The leg spinner of what? 
what to bowl the final over of the what, what innings. Ball? And he comes, <laughs> short, whipped onto happy, the onside. Happy to give him a single. Yeah, I think Greatwood, I think Nugent's recognised Greatwood as the man here. Give him the single, let him attack. So there's a, there's sort of a backward point and a regular point, no more than five yards apart from each other. Come on, use your feet. Tossed up. He's it's gone, gone for the big. big one there, and that is going to be caught. Oh no, he's, the field has done well fielding. there, I think. That's really good fielding. He's caught the ball, but he knew that he was going to carry that over long the boundary. Long arm had to come round a long way. He was right on the boundary line. And then with wicket came in and picked it up and threw it in. So that was a real great it piece of fielding his, there. Yeah, it went in his hand. He was right on the line. Could have easily have caught that run over the line and mm. six runs. Great, we've got two for it though. He's gone for it again. It's out to mid wicket. It's going to fall safe this time. They've got to come back for two, surely. Oh, yeah, just a they single. Missed well out there. So got, Greatwood. I've got a feeling they've left this too late. I think so too, yeah. Greatwood with two big heaves. One of them almost a six. So what in to Nugent? Nugent comes down the wicket and creams us to Cal Corner. And he's going to get four And that's four, four runs it. and a good strike. And that's what's been needed, to be honest. Yeah. And I think they should have done this, started this about yeah. four or five. I know they still have one wicket in the, in the bank, but... I think at least another over or two ago. They've shown intent. Done this. They've used their feet now on the spot. Especially to the, the leg well. spinner. I don't think the leg spinner's turned one all, all, all innings. The two balls to go. 183. Can they get to 190? Six runs will help the cause. So Nugent on strike. He's oh, gone again. Huge. It's aerial and it's six. This is over. All the, the way into the into village the field. <laughs> so Nugent, the man. Six runs. Well, it just shows you what they can do. I think they'll be kicking themselves. I think they've pulled the pin too late. I think so too. You've got spinners. And a partnership of 53. You've got spinners that aren't spinning it. 53 of 63 balls, so... Vital. Vital. I think they'll think runs. they've done a really good job, which they have. Yeah. But I get they get one they've, more, they've one left more some out here, I think. Last below. The last ball. Go again. Oh, this Aerial again. As well. And this is it's six again. Six more. Hit the tractor as well. Well, one. So they, that's a great strike from Nugent. Nugent, wow. And that's put the score on 195 for eight of 50 overs. One, that, yeah. You know, they, they've nearly got to that 200 we yeah, said was a minimum. They have finished their 50 overs on 195 for eight. Uh, Tom Nugent, 32, not out from 23 ball. Toby Greatwood. 26 not out and 45 balls. So wow. good recovery from Berkshire, I think. Good recovery Absolutely. from them. They posted yeah. a score. However, yeah. I think they've left 25 out there. Yeah, well, Cumbria, they got off to a brilliant start. Lots of early wickets. And then Archie Carter scored 61, but he got run out after a good partnership with Lewis. They rebuilt the innings. And then another couple of wickets Cumbria went down. 196 to win. Uh, and play will resume in 30 minutes. Uh, I Here think... are the Cumbria bowling figures. Uh, Michael Slack, seven overs, no maidens, two wickets for 25. Ed Moulton, ten overs, four maidens, two wickets for 14. <coughs> uh, ben Walton, six overs, no maidens, no wickets for 22. Sean Sharp, five overs, no maidens, two wickets for 25.
So it's the final of the 50 over competition. So it's the final of the 50 over competition NCCA and here we are, fantastic Wormsley. Absolutely. Just tell me a bit about being here and, and the journey. Yeah, it's been fantastic. We've had, a, we've had a really good white ball season, 50 over season. We've had some fantastic wins to get here. It's the fourth time that the lads have played here. Unfortunately, they've not been so successful in the other three. So let's hope today's the day that we, it goes our way. It's been a great start so far. You won the toss and it's tied to have a bowl and at the moment it's working for you. It has done all right. The ball well. Slacky's ball well at the far end and Ed Moulton's ball particularly well at this end. Maybe just unlucky not to get a fourth, but that's maybe us being a little bit greedy as well. But a good start, a good start. We know they've still got plenty to come. So it's a matter of us now just keeping plugging away and just trying to get wickets. Long way to go, obviously, with your own innings. What, what would it mean, do you think, to come in cricket? And, and how does this help promote cricket? Ah, in the I, think, I think massively. And I think to, for us to come and play on, on a pitch like this, on a ground like this, with facilities like this, has got to be our aspiration. You, I guess you're aware we, we struggle with the weather. Um, but we've got to get develop our lads to be able to play cricket on these sort of grounds against these sort of players. And the more we're exposed to doing it, I think the more we'll improve. Good luck.
Northumbria need 196 to win in their 50 overs. That is a run rate <coughs> of 3.92 per over. A reminder that the first power play last for the first 10 overs when a maximum of two fielders are permitted outside the 30-yard circle. Okay, so we're back. Cumbria coming out to bat. The opening batters for Cumbria are number one on the scorecard, Freddie Fallows, and number two, Sam Dutton. Sam Dutton's got a bit of a reputation, hasn't he? He's got, he's got a lot of runs this season. He has. He has indeed. I think he's got 300, isn't he, on the bounce? I think so. I'll have to double check. So, Cumbria need 196 to win. That works out at 3.92 runs per over. So, it's not a huge total. You'd feel if it all goes to plan, they Opening should chase the it down. Opening the for Berkshire from the Deer Park <coughs> end, Tom Nugent. So, Nugent to open up. Nugent the man who also hit. Some big blows in the last over, two sixes and a four to get You're his ready. side up to a respectable, well, respectable considering total. Yeah, I think he posted a score that has given Boxer a hope, isn't it? Mm. Rather than just thinking so Fallows, it's nowhere near enough. Fallows has to face the first ball. He's not hit 100, <coughs> he's hit 350s. So the left arm, oh no, right arm. And Fallows just plays his back to mid off. So Berkshire, they'll want to replicate what happened to them. Early wickets and a lot of them. Yeah, they need to, they need to make inroads fast. Mm. If they're going to stand a chance, I mean, really, one nine six is not not a massive total to chase down. No, probably not enough. At least they've posted a respectable mm. score from where they were. I mean, it was looking ominous, wasn't it? Fifty six for six. Nugent in, and it's being fallows there. Good pace there. Yeah, very good pace. Fallows looked to replicate the previous shot, but didn't didn't get any bat on it there. Let's just hope the Berkshire bowlers are up for it. Yeah. Want to make a bit of a mark. And let's, let's hope for a close game. Sunshine out. Should make the second half an interesting one. But as you say, they need to take wickets. So Nugent in again. Fallows, Fallows gets half a bat on that, it goes to cover, but for none. Didn't sound that solid, no, did that it? Sounded <laughs> that, sounded, <horrible. laughs> that sounded like a broken bat. Yeah. He's got loose stickers on this bat, so it's a bit interesting. And the hawk's back. Was yeah, it a red kite? I think it's a red kite, yeah, actually. Yeah, he's been pesties. So I think he's got a couple of burgers, hasn't he, already? The tea, yeah, the tea break, he's been hovering. And apparently there's a few signs about it saying, beware of the kite, it will steal your food. Here comes Nugent again. A long run up into Fallows. He hits Quick single. his pad on the hip. He's going to sneak a <coughs> single. Is it leg by? Yeah, umpire says one leg by. Something's starting to come out a little bit now. So good hospitality here at Wormsley. Thai curry for lunch. Mm, it's lovely. Hit the spot. Bit of kick in that. Was mm, needed it. Very nice. So right hand Dutton is to face his first ball. So left hand, right hand combination to open. Be interesting to see Dutton bat. Crouching down. Very wide stance. That was an incredible leave. I think if we look back on that again. <laughs> we can uh, hopefully see a replay of that. Hmm. Berkshire fielders are making that sound as if that was very close to knocking look, off stump out. Scott's low, doesn't he? Oh, and it came it was an in. extra stump and he's gone. Yeah. A big movement there. Shaving off stump. So again, getting that ball to hit the seam and come back up the slope. Oh, that was not far. Is it? That was all. not far away. I mean, that was a good leave, but a very close leave. So Nugent back in again. And he plays this one <coughs> run. So that's a point for no run. So, made an over to start. Yeah, good start from Nugent. That's what Berkshire needed. 
Cumbria won't be too bothered, just to see out the first view. Mm. But movement, movement yeah. with that new ball. Some difference in the size of batsmen here. Yeah, definitely different batting styles. Thalo's tall and sort of upright, whereas Dutton is smaller and more squatted when he's in his trigger. So Rishton coming on to bowl from the Opening Dibley the end. Opening the box here at the Dibley end. Andy Rishton. Rishton is. Rishton had a naught to his name whilst he was batting. Let's hope he can do better with the ball today. I'm sure his favourite is with the ball. What's the umpire doing there? He's giving him his marker, I think. So Rishton's played 124 matches, so he's well experienced, 158 wickets, three five wicket hauls, and his best is six for 48. He's a right arm fast medium. Well, he's going to need something like that, isn't he? Six for 48. He's coming in now. Got he ball. hits the bat hard. Does he bowl off the wrong foot? Or is that just... I don't know, we'll have to see that again, I hope. These Berkshire bowlers have got to pick up. No, it's just a slight. Mm. I don't know. The legs are going everywhere. It's a bit unusual, but he seems to uh, <coughs> seems Obviously to work effective. for him. Yeah, in he comes again. Rishton of a grunt as he bowls, and this is be the first runs off the bat. Goes out to third man for one. Fallows off the mark. Good intent from Rishton. Mm. Ground filled up quite nicely now. Sun's out. Picnics so, galore. Sam Dutton, the other batsman, he's uh, scored 1750s and 300s. He really does crouch into it, he does. doesn't he? He's played this up to point. No run. I think any, any water that was around from that quick rain is probably gone now. Was, oh, he's edged this. That was a bit. wide a second slip. Might have carried if there was a third slip in there. But they'll take a single. That gets Dutton off the mark. It's Cumbria 3 for naught. Fellows to face. And here comes Rishton. Two balls left for the over. Dot ball. Yeah, so Berkshire have got two slips in. Sort of a catching point. Um, a cover. And a mid-off. So a few gaps on the offside there. Much more conventional field, isn't it, than yeah, we saw from feel, Cumbria? Yeah. They do have two men out behind the bat as a third man and a final leg, so I guess there is a bit more pace here. In comes Rishton again, and Fallows just plays that back to mid on for no run. A smirk from the bowler to Fallows. I think they're trying to get into him here a bit. Yeah, the keeper's having a little word as well, just trying to rev up the boys. So that's two overs complete. Mm. <coughs> Three without loss. One leg by, one run off the bat of Fallows, and one run off the bat of Dutton. Again, so two slips, no gully. Backward point, a cover. Mid on, mid off, and then mid wicket, and again, two men out behind, so a third man and a final leg. So Nugent steaming in. Play system and wicket and the fielder collects, none run. So Berkshire definitely up for this, lots of chat in the field. Don't know how long it'll last if the runs start flowing. But it'll get louder if they get a wicket, that's for sure.
Nugent again from the Deer Park end. Good length ball. It's driven to mid off, no run. Definitely needing early off kickers here if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Early breakthroughs are key to all the batsmen. They're the ones that do the damage. Dutton the face up again to Nugent. It's like short of a length, it hits Dutton, a half an appeal, but going down, going side. down, probably too high as well. <coughs> he does get very low in his mm. stance, doesn't he? I've not seen that, that from a batsman for some time. Obviously effective. Might be wrong, but I think one of the fielders might have just called for a helmet to get into a short leg or something. But we'll see. Here comes Nugent again. And oh, and he just whipped him over mid wicket. That's going to be four runs. That shows intent. Yeah, lovely shot from Dutton there. He just just flicked his hands through that. Yeah. Over mid wicket. Good timing. Yeah. Few bounces, run away for four. Lovely shot. <clears throat> it was aerial, but he met. He had enough of the bat on it there. Just flicked it off of off stump. Lovely shot. Good timing. Four runs. First boundary of the Cumbria innings. So what can Nugent respond with? He's got a long run up. He comes off the 30 yard circle. He's in. And that's hit. Quite high really, Dustin. isn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I think there's I'll a say it's quite high, but... Small chap, so I think that's that's going to be positive here, isn't he? Mm. It's obviously confident. If it's in the right areas, he'll play it. <coughs> so Nugent into Dutton. Doesn't have a bounce at all. No, and the keeper can't get. Neither can first. <coughs> and they go come through for a buy. I can imagine. Yep. Yeah, no, buy that, given. That really did keep low. Mm. Mm. Well, that sends the third over. So eight without loss from three. It's the first ball we've seen go like that. That was probably only about a foot off the ground. Mm. So, Cumbria. A boundary in the in the third over, but apart from that, it's been pretty close either side. Some good bowling, some good so side of intent, but no wickets yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Still got two slips, third man fine legger out, and man at backward point. So what can Rishon do? Oh, that Ooh, good ball! Up. Well, talk about. Differential of bounce. Yeah. That has really carried through. Dutton sniffed that it's one. Really right sort of jumped. Nose. Look at that. Wow. Watch that on the replay. Smell it. Mm. Wow. Wonder if that will affect Dutton. The last ball of Nugent's over just scaled along the floor, and that one just leapt up off of Rishton. That one's gone through at a decent pace. Rishon lets out a fair cry when he. Uh, He's definitely putting the ball. effort in, yeah. isn't he? You want that of a fast bowl. <coughs> two different bounces there from two similar balls, to be fair. Mm. One probably going through at the top of off stump, and the other one leaping off a length. <coughs> Comes Rishon again. Oh, this could be a chance here. Oh, it's and it's just faded mid off. I think that's going to run away. Kilda's given up the chase, and it's just gone. Just from four runs, positive cricket yeah, here. Dutton went for the drive for extra cover, and it was a bit aerial. Mid off had a, thought he had a chance, but it just evaded him. Four runs nonetheless. Didn't get all of that. You see on the replay, the bat turned in his hand. So Dutton taking the uh, aggressive route early on. 
what we're wishing to respond with. We think a big effort ball here. Get it up to him. Could we see a bouncer early on? No, it's another length for that one. Just died as well. Rishton with a sigh of a grunt, really. Let's see this on the replay. It's doing all sorts at the moment. He seems to almost step away from it, doesn't he? When, when he leaves mm. it, he literally steps away. That's what it appears. Let's have a look. No. I just watched that through, but... He just watched it through, Just yeah, that it's it's died on the way to Kiefer, to be honest. Anyway, he's in again, is Rishton. That was driven. Positive Lovely. shot. Four That's runs. Four Beauty. <laughs> Pitch to the full from Rishton. That was more of a half volley, really. And Dustin met it with a full face I think on the ground before. This is what we're seeing the difference in the bowling, isn't it? Mm. Cumbria came out and bowled short of a length. Yeah. Got a lot of reward for it. Barkford came out and bowled a fuller length. And Dutton's gone after it. Absolutely. And currently, Cumbria's 16 oh, for no wicket. So one more ball left in this over. See what happens. That's a better uh, length. That That's a better length. And that'll be over, so eight from it. 16 without loss from four, so much better start for Cumbria. Berkshire is gonna have to pull back that length a little bit, I mm. think, from the bowlers. There is obviously something in the in the wicket. It, there is there for movement off the seam. Bit of variation in bounce, but you've got to bowl it just short of a length, haven't you? Yeah. Anything full, the batsmen are just playing through it. Positive cricket here by Cumbria. Good to see. Remember, Cumbria have lost the last three finals here against Berkshire, so they're definitely going to want to. They'll be desperate to win this. Make their best efforts. It's a new jinx there. It hits fallows on the pads, but definitely too high there. Probably going down. But that just short of a length. Yeah, area. it's not easy they're to hit. They're finding it difficult to put away. Yeah. And we've seen that in the first innings. And that's where Berkshire have got to be patient. You've got to put it in consistently the right area. Mm. And See. then I'm sure they'll get some reward for it. But if they go seeking wickets, I don't think that will, that will uh, benefit no. them. Full ball's being put away. So Nugent in again to Fallows. Fallows punches that to cover, but no run. a good crowd here at Wormsley. They've had their lunch. There's been a few drinks, a few pims, a few beers. It's definitely not a raucous crowd, but a pleasant one. Enjoying some good cricket. So Nugent and again to Fallows. Oh, Ooh, that's, close. Lost, and it's, that's missed the keeper and hit the first yeah, slip. Yeah, it's gone to first slip <laughs> without an edge. He's currently down. Yeah, I think that's hit him pretty hard. He's still down. Let's have a look on the replay. That's, That's moved a, a wide. mile. That's a wide. Yeah, he's giving it a wide, yeah. That's moved God, a mile. And it's nailed firstly. Yeah. That was on the tram lines and it just mm. kept moving. Wow. <coughs> well, first slip knows he's in the game. Sure. Mm. Good take from the keeper this what, time. That's another wide. That's, one first, that's another well. wide. That's another wide. The bowler's not happy at all. Let's well, I, I think it's when it lands, it's in the tram lines. If you look here, well within the tram Oof, line, it's, it's the movement afterwards. It's gone. But, but it's that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter after it's, it's uh, and gone. After it's gone past the stumps, it doesn't matter where it goes. I think that one's a bit harsh. The first one, I'd say fair enough. This second one, I don't think that was a wide. Just looks a bit deceiving. Anyway, he's in again as Nugent. And Fallows is on Punched. that. Punched four Punched runs, I think. That's got it. Is that going to go? Field Money is going to give it a chase. He might call it back. Ball. It Ooh, does. He's just made it. Well fielded. They'll sneak a three at least. Yeah. Just going up the hill is just taking a bit of pace off it, isn't mm. it? All it was is a back foot, back foot punch. Good shot. Good shot. No risk to it. Again, if the ball is there. Cumbria are trying to put it away, aren't they? Mm. They're not hanging around. No, I think that's a good tactic here. Really. I think you're right. I think I think be positive. Get some early runs. <coughs> you can build the runs quite quickly, and that score isn't. We swallowed up quite quickly. So Dustin back on strike. He's on 13 already from 16 balls. Nugent into him, and he cuts this, and it's 
bottom edge towards the keeper. Still two balls left of this over. Dutton 13 off 17 balls. Fellows four off 11. Cumbria 21 for no wicket. Nugent desperate for a wicket here. He's moving the ball around, so. Mm. Could always be a chance. Could be a big in swinger here, potentially. But no, it's oh, cut through the cloud from shot. Dutton. He deserves to be hit that ball, short and wide. And put Four away runs. quite easily. Dutton's having the time of it here. <coughs> he moves to 17 from 18 balls. Quite a long over this for Nugent. Look at this replay, bang. Cut away for four. Great shot. Great shot. Right, still one ball left. He's gone for 13 off his mm. uh, nearly completed three overs. Man in his camp chair said, you can have it back. Anyway, Dutton again for the last ball. And he lets that one go by. That was the in-swinger. And that'll be over. So 25 for no wicket from five overs. Obviously at five and over. Got off to a very good start. Cumbria not hanging around. We can put the balls away as much as they can. Bishton will carry on from the Dibley end. Good attendance here at Wormsley. Lots of picnics, lots of people enjoying themselves. A few jumpers being worn though. Not the warmest of days. No run. Real positive cricket being played by Cumbria here. Looking to get on with the game. So a bit of a fielding change. Gully moving a little slightly wider. Oh, full ball. Christian appeals. They like it, but no. Down leg side. I think it's going to be leg by. The appeal was uh, cut short there. Bit of excitement, but leg by taken. So Christian, he's uh, bowling at a good pace, but just hasn't hit that good length yet. Definitely not out there. Second slip. I think a pill just for the fun of it there. I well, don't think he really I meant it. I think the clue was in that the <laughs> keeper was diving mm. down the leg side and managed to get okay, a, so a change, one finger to it. Changing field here. So we've got a tight, um, sort of short mid-off really in a catching position. In comes Rishton. And that goes straight to him. Maybe they feel it could be a catching chance. I know he's been hitting it hard down the ground, but... <laughs> I can see Dutton just hitting it straight back over the bottom of his head. Yeah, potentially. But and I think, yeah, I think... There's a good gap at cover, isn't there? If I it think gives Berkshire, him wide. Uh, Berkshire need to do something different. They can't <coughs> let the game go by. In comes Rishton again. To Dutton. Oh, and it's him on the pad. So the umpire's having to think about this. But no, no, it's not out. I think that was going down leg. Yeah, we'll have, to have a look at this, but... Rishton bowling decent areas. Let's have a look. Big movement. And mm, just going, going down. I think if that was straight, it was yeah, good decision it was hitting, by the but missing. But a little bit straighter. That's you're in the just game. Just roll your fingers over the ball if you saw that. Mm. Trying to cut that ball. And obviously it did pitch and go. So a good few balls this from Rishton. Two to go. What can Dutton do? The aggressor so far. Short of a length, and that's hit him again in the pad. He can't just quite can't read the length here at the moment. rishan has got a smirk on his face. That's good. Rishton bowling tight. One ball left of the over. Movement off the wicket is there. Can they get it in the right areas to get a wicket? Another dot ball. Let's get over that. Better over from Richardson there. Three overs. Ten. And Cumbria moved to 26 for no wicket. Our 
after six overs. So the required run rate just below four now. They keep batting like this. They'll be well on the way to victory. Berkshire need wickets. Need something to happen here. So Nugent coming again for his fourth over from the Deer Park end. Well fielded at Gully. No run. So one of the slips now coming out to point. Try and cut off some of the gaps. No run again. Just trying to keep the ball as tight as they can, not give it away any width. Yeah, Thalos hasn't really found the middle of the bat too much, really. He's just played himself in a bit. In comes Nugent. That was okay. He's gone for a quick Ooh. single, slight misfield, but they'll get by. Yeah, Thalos looking to hit the ball hard. Mm. Just hasn't probably had the luck of hitting some gaps. No. Because Dutton really has put, put away balls that have been there for him to. Yeah, absolutely. Put his hands through. Now Dutton back on strike. So second slip has gone out. Still one slip in. They just brought another man into the cover region. In comes Nugent. Well, oh, that does go to a sort of extra cover. No run. Berkshire trying to be as loud as they possibly can in the field, keep the positivity up. Yeah. Looking for they that have wicket. To. They have to. Keep the buzz about. Trying to earn a wicket here. Oh, this is hit Dutton again. He's a couple of them now this innings. Just hits him in that sort of hip or that pad, pad area. It's got to be this movement off the pitch here, isn't it? Yeah, just I think there's a little bit of nibble. I know he's got that big swinger. Well, it was going away to the left hander, so mm, I'm assuming it'll come back come in back a lot him, for yeah, the right hander. Tucking him up slightly. Maybe he'll, he sets a plan, maybe a straight one for a couple of balls, and then that third or fourth ball will be a big in swinger. So, last ball of the over. In comes Nugent. Solid in defence there from Dutton. And that's the end of the seventh over. Cumbria 27 for no wicket. And a solid start. Yeah, absolutely. That's all they need to do, really. See off the first few overs, get a few boundaries here or there, and see how it goes. There's a beautiful pavilion in shot. Some, uh, a lot of memorabilia, a lot of good paintings inside the... Mm. Main part of the pavilion we saw earlier. Number of uh, famous cricketers who have scored runs here have got plaques on the uh, wall for big scores. So, Richardson in again. I think Gooch is on there a couple of times. We've got Brian Lyra, Lyra got 102 there, yeah. not out in the game. To ground hosts a lot of charity some serious, games. Some serious uh, players have been here before. I'm sure there'll be more to come as well. So I rushed it in again to Fallows. And Fallows goes That's down out. and he's caught at extra cover. Rushed him with a big celebration there. Well, Fallows gave that away, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I he, think he was getting... He took a strike down the wicket. I think he was getting frustrated there, wasn't he? Just, he just threw his hands at it. It didn't connect. I think it hit him high on the back. Let's have a look. Yep. Yeah. And it went straight to extra cover. Good catch. Went quite hard. 
I just think he was looking to get on with it, wasn't he? He was getting tied down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Five off of 17 balls and straight to extra cover. So, well, Barks that's what Bucks needed. Bucks yeah. needed that. So they've got the breakthrough they needed. Fellows was caught by Jack Davis, bowled Andy Brishton for five. And no applause. No. <laughs> no I don't think his teammates were too happy with that one. Silence at the ground. Well, I don't think that was expected, really, wasn't it? No, he, he, just, didn't, he, he didn't, didn't need to do it, did he? Going away as quickly as you probably wanted. Yeah. But so ben, we knew ben, ben Walkton's Walton coming in. Coming in number three. He's only played 15 matches, but he's averaging pretty much 30 here. He's got a few 50s to his name. One of which, his top score was 64 against Berkshire back in 2022. So we'll see how he does against him today. So, Riston with the first wicket, caught well at extra cover there, brings the right-handed walked in on strike. So Riston into him for his first ball, two slips in, and he hits a good length. The new batter for Cumbria is number three on the scorecard, Ben Walked. So Berkshire players are still up for this, lots of chat flying around the field. I just feel they need to take wickets. I think they need to get some more catches in. Maybe another slip or gully. A short cover, maybe. There's a lot of easy shots there for the new batsman. In comes Rishton. And that's well rolled. It's almost that like balance in the, between getting wickets mm. and keeping Saving it tight them. because yeah. they haven't got a big score no. on the board. Um, so you need to keep the balance. Feel. You break that top order, it yeah. all relies on the middle and the lower. <clears> really, it certainly it? does. You know, your top order, you don't want to give them anything. I don't think Berkshire will be disappointed. They've got a breakthrough. Yeah. Obviously, they'll be very keen to get Dutton. Mm. That'll be the key wicket. In comes Rushton. Ooh, he's oh, beaten him. Oh, well bowled. I want to see that one back again. That was millimetres away from the outside edge, I think. Rushton can't believe that's he's, not... He's eating a shot. It was a wicket for him. So Rishon, he's got his tail up here, he's bowling some good areas. Good pace too. Come on, Boxer, get another fielder in there. Still only two slips. In comes Rishon again. He drives, and that's going to be four What runs. a beautiful shot. What a counterpunch. Second ball faced, and he's just driven that through the covers Walks beautifully in. for four runs. Walks in and says, have some of that. Have some of that. Well, that Beautiful is shot. That's a good response. Sex foot cover drive there. Head Lovely over the ball. Shot. High elbow, four runs. So after nearly thinking they got him, he's hit yeah. the next ball for four. He's away from an edge to the keeper. Yeah, lovely next shot. Ball. Lovely, lovely shot. Goes to the boundary rope. So, game on. I mean, already five fours been hit. Exactly. Already, yeah. I'm not too sure how many. Um, well, it was ten. It I think with ten overs to go, I don't think there was. I want to say probably fourteen, maybe fifteen. <coughs> yeah. So anyway, here comes Nugent again to Dutton. It's a slightly shorter pitch, but it's only going to cover. So will Dutton carry on his? Attacking ways, or we just settle in. Only one slip in for him. They've brought another man across. Well, they've brought a man across the covers, so yeah, cover just, extra cover and a mid off. Just trying to shore up, shore up that cover region, aren't they? He comes off a I think that good could... catch there from the wicketkeeper. There's appeals. That's gone. 
and the umpire is standing still. Well, it's got to have hit something. It's probably a pad yep. because he's not signaled wide it's and it's gone there. flying down the leg side. So it must have hit. Ooh, yeah, it's obviously thigh pad. Yeah. Thigh pad. That's very close. Good catch by the captain Lincoln there, the wicket keeper. Good diving catch. Still good seam movement. Not easy. Temperature's dropped down a bit now. Mm. Nugent in again. That's cut into the ground there, but for no run. So good areas from Nugent here, good pressure building. That wicket is just unsettled the, the Cumbria batsman a bit. So Nugent with three balls left of the over. Four ball driven oh, straight down the ground. Shot there from Four Justin. runs. That Class is player. excellent. He met it with a full face and just skittled on his way down the ground. Beautiful shot for four. You can see why he's got so many runs this season. Mm. Mm. That was delightful. Yep. Textbook. On drive. Nugent gave him a little look of saying, how dare you, but mm. I don't think Dutton will care one bit. He's back in again then, is Nugent. It's gone down the leg side. That's a wide ball. And it's a wide ball. <laughs> Typical fast bowler, eh? <laughs> I think that's trying to not get wide. Mm. <laughs> Has to be a little bit careful, does uh, Darton. There's a couple of them where he's not been far away from getting an edge. The keeper has been taking some good catches. So Cumbria move on to 36 for one. 160 more needed to win, just under four and over. In comes Nugent to Dutton. Slow ball. Just works out off his hip for one, probably two. Yeah, easy two. Yeah, that's good running. Keep the score ticking. They're on 38 for one. The run rate is 4.3 and they only, they only require 3.8, so they're ahead of the rate, which is good. Not too many risks involved so far. Nugent bowls, short. Short pulled. And that could well be four more. I think that will be four, yeah. Yeah. Definitely not off the middle of the bat, but enough to go away for Effective. four blind square. Poor ball, really. It was too short and too down the leg side, so... so Cumbria moved to 42 Nugent's for one. not happy with himself. There. He grabs the hat and slams it into spur. Right, Nugent's now gone for 25 or 5 overs, I, so he's, yeah, he's gone at 5 and over. Uh, so Berkshire need to uh, probably make some changes. Here. They can't let the batsmen settle. I think they've got to make a change. If they need wickets, they need to make a change. So it looks like Rishton's still going to bowl. This would be his fifth over. Yep. He's got one maiden, one wicket, 14 runs. In he comes now. He's worked off of... Uh, it's probably going to be two more. Hips. No, no just, just one. One, good fielding there. It would be interesting to see at the end of this over where the score's compared. Yeah. Where Berkshire were after 10 overs and where Cumbria were, so we'll, we'll have a look at that at the end of this over. Rishton again then, to the spotting Dutton. Pull ball. He doesn't get enough bat on that, he's sort of twisting his hand there, goes to mid on for none. Yeah, I think Berkshire are going to have to change it up here, I reckon, from yeah, I think at so. least one then, yeah. if not both. Whether they just introduce some early spin, or maybe some different uh, pace bowlers. They're not going to change it yet. So a slip comes out. That's not a good sign. But just about sums it up, I think. Mm. Comes into sort of a catching got, in a wicket. You've got no slips and... Uh, you maybe put some it, straighter bowling here. You've put the ring out. No. Rishton in. Oh, and it's beating them all out. There's a big appeal. Umpire has none of it, though. 
And they'll take a single. Now it's going to go for four. Four. That's four leg buys. Well, oh, we want to see this on replay then. Berkshire has stood still with their hands on their head. Berkshire cannot believe that's not been given out. This would be interesting. Oh, that's no. going way down. Miles down leg side. Almost the keeper looked like he didn't even go for that. No. He could have potentially have stopped that. I think he was too busy appealing, really. I think but he was too busy appealing and thinking it was going to be given, and it wasn't anywhere near no, it, was umpire it? umpire was definitely correct with that one. I think it might have missed two sets. So Rushton in again to Dutton. Which she goes to cut, but didn't really connect. So very much made a strategy here of put a ring field into Dutton. Mm. Basically limiting their opportunities for any any catches in the yeah. slip region now. The ball is moving around. But you could say it's probably moving around too much. Mm. Here Rishton comes Rishton. Dutton looks to cut again, but doesn't connect. He won't worry too much though. He's on 27 from 35, going at a good rate. So one ball left to the over. Cumbria 47 for one. Oh, this could be a chance. Oh, just falls short of mid on. It's not, uh, the, not the best of shots. Is it going to go all the way? No, no he's just filled it, well, but yeah. they need to run them up here. So they've done not the best of shots mm. from Dutton there at no, all. That was a bit of a risky it's one, one of the, That was a bit of a loose shot, but Cumbria gets to 50 runs now yeah. off 10, 10 overs. Ten. So it would be interesting to see where Berkshire were at this, over, at, the, eh? at, this, at this stage in the first innings. After 10 overs, Cumbria have scored... 50 for one. Sam Dutton, 30 not out for 37 balls. Ben Walton. So here we go. Oh, as you can see. The second power play is now starting until the 40th over. There are now a maximum of four fielders permitted outside the 30 yard circle. So you can see there on the worm, obviously, Cumbria just lost the one wicket. Berkshire would have lost three mm. and just about lose their fourth. And double the amount of runs almost. <laughs> and nearly double the amount of runs. So. Significant difference, mm. and you can really see, you know, seventh, eighth, ninth New overs there all going from the Deer Park end. Luke Beaver. Ah, here we go then. And probably to make it worse on this on this Manhattan is the next five, six overs. Yeah, Berkshire didn't get any, get many runs at all, so no. it's likely to increase even further the gap. No, so Berkshire have changed up here. They're bringing on their experienced left arm left arm spinner of Beaven. And, that, and that's much needed, I think. They've had to make a change. A They've got to create head. something here. You know he's going to be quite reliable, so let's see what he's got. It'll all be interesting also to see how Dutton reacts to this. Yep, so Beaven played 98 matches. He's got 200 wickets, average of 20. A very experienced campaigner. Yep. Very good bowler, this Beaven. And he comes now to Dutton for his first ball. And it goes straight back to him. I think Dutton's going to take the challenge on. I think so too. I think they'll want to get ahead of the game. Yeah. Break the back of this this total. See how he bowls. Comes down the wicket and it's a top edge. Well, there shows you his intent. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Charging down the wicket. Away third man and they will get two at least. Yeah, two runs it is. So, wow, there we go. Only just second ball he comes down the wicket. He's not messing around. He's not... well bowled by Beaven. He dragged it a bit shorter. We look back on the replay. But he wasn't even going to take any time to have a look at it, was he? He was just, as soon as that was released, he was charging. But even <laughs> in despair, he looked, he gives just Dutton a little smile. cannot believe what you're seeing. Anyway, he's in again. What will happen now? He stays still this time, just works into the wicket for none. As soon as he sees that ball flighted, I think he's going to use his feet. Yeah, I think if it's in his area, he's ground. going down the ground, I reckon. Evens into him again. It's like short this time, it's cut and the fielder was Got a hand to it, though. fielded. Good contest now. Mm. Dutton, 32 or 41 balls. Bevan with two balls left. Oh, that that was the shot. shot. Really nicely played, swept for four. 
behind square. Beautiful shot. Beaven just dragging that one down the leg sides ever so slightly and uh, Dustin capitalises. Got down on one knee and played a lovely controlled sweep shot. Tossed it up, slower there. ball. Thanks very much. Very well controlled. So the Barcher have put a deep backward square out and a sort of deep cover. They only allowed two out of the ring at the moment. Oh no, sorry, it's in the second power play. They're allowed more than that now, sorry. So, an eventful over for Beavens first. Six runs from it. A top edge. A sweep shot. Positive cricket, though. Positive. And yeah. Cumbria really come out. Cumbria 56 Want to blast to this one. away, don't they? Run rate is five and over, which is plenty more than what they need. I think they want to get home quick. Mm. Or into the bar quick. Potentially, yeah. I think there'll be some celebrations after becoming second to Berkshire the last three times here. I think they'll definitely want to... Uh, stuff them in this one but still a long way to go here long old way to go so as you see here Berkshire uh, batted first Carter top scored of 61 Nugent and Greatwood came in in the end and got some valuable lower order runs with 32 not out and 26 not out Moulton was a star bowler with 2 for 14 at the top of the order and uh, a spread of wickets throughout really some good spin um, some good some good uh, overs of pace in the middle as well so very good um, bowling display from the Cumbria. I think Carter's attack. going to be really disappointed, though. Lots of people have now seen the replay of the run out, yes. which didn't look out. Yeah, it honest. was a tight single. Um, you know, it was tight. It was well fielded, but Carter, we all think, did manage to get in, but it was given out. So it's a new bowl here. It's great win on uh, the mark here from the Dibley end. Toby Greatwood. So Greatwood, we just spoke. He got some valuable lower order runs. But it's going to be his wickets that he wants. And he comes then to walk to him. Bowls to heavy length. Hits a splice in the bat and just plays it back to the bowler. That's good areas. Good areas, but Berkshire very much ringed the field here. Haven't they? There's mm. no slips in at all. Walton's five off seven. You think they want to take a little bit more because without wickets, they're not they're not going to win this. This is flicked off uh, Walton's legs for one. Again, no real danger at all there. They're just starting to get a little bit darker. Yeah. Let's hope those clouds aren't building. Oh, Archer again, a little bit quieter too. And maybe, like and maybe Cumbria have got one eye on the Duckworth Lewis score, which is um, 35 at this point. They're well ahead of that yeah, 57 for one. So yeah. maybe they're just thinking, well, look, if there is any rain around, we want to get well and truly ahead of this. Comes off the middle of Dutton's bat, but for no run. I presume 20 overs will be the minimum to constitute a game. So they'll be looking to get well above that DLS mm. score by 20 overs and then they know they're in a commanding position. Mm. Yeah, let's hope for no more rain. We'll get a full result here. In comes Greatwood. And that's it, the Ooh. splice, almost a caught and bold, but just falling short. Squared him up a little bit there, it's good. Good start mm. by Greatwood. Yeah, very good start. And then to Dutton. Dutton gets inside of this and works it to the onside for one run. Sensible cricket there. Yep, that'll end the over. So two runs off of Greatwood's first. Not a bad uh, six balls from him. No, good, good start. Yeah, this partnership's going quite well. 31 runs from 28 balls, so going at a very good rate. But doesn't really like the they give him many chances to be honest. They're uh, puts Dutton back on strike, which gets, gets, sets up the challenge nicely. Against, yeah, this will be in, against Bevan. This, this is this could be really yeah. inter interesting. Will Dutton carry on being really positive and attackive? Let's hope so. It's entertaining to see. I but, think he will. You know, I think he's. Well, they put a man out at long on a uh, long off. Sorry, but I the man at long on is still in, so that's tempting for him. I think Bevan there's, will want that. He'll there's want, no man at. 
mid wicket or cow. So anything over the top will be a boundary really. There's a deep backward square leg. Let's see what he does. He slows it up and he just punches it to long off for one. Just takes the one. Yeah, he's happy for that. Sensible cricket. Let's see what walked in does here. They've got a slip in, which is uh, understandable. Gets the inside of the bat though. Didn't intend it to go to mid wicket. Oh, well, half an appeal. Not out. I think they were saying it could have been pad first instead of bat. He's bowling well. Putting it in good areas. Mm. Walked in, doesn't it? Totally confident no, against it. No, he's not settled yet, has he? Then he comes, and this one's played a bit more well. So Beaven's starting to settle into his rhythm here. He's bowled three dots in a row now. He's just sort of toying with walked in here. Another slower. So he's getting a little bit more movement out of the pitch compared to the uh, Cumbria spinners. Just, I think mainly just because of that slightly slower. Slow pace. Yeah, slow pace, just giving it a chance for the ball to grip. Not that there's that much turn, but it's just doing enough. Yeah, another good over. Another good over. Yeah. So back to Greatwood, who had a good, good first over. Mm. Tutton to face it. Cumbria 59 for one. Need 137 additional runs with 37 overs to go. Still in box seat here. So great win again to Dutton. He just solidly defends that. So no slips at all, not even really. There's a mid wicket and a cover catcher. Short, short ball, ball, and it's been picked. This could be a wicket, and it One just bounce. falls short. Very good effort. Four runs. And is it well fielded? I think it's well fielded. That would be excellent fielding if so. We'll have to watch that back on the replay. I think he has done well there. It was Beaven with the attempted catch, and yeah, the fielder like comes around like he has and flings it back in. See that on the a replay. A well bouncer. Even goes for the catch, doesn't get it, and the fielder flicks it behind him. I think that's very good wow. fielding. Yeah, he okay. saved a, and There's no one on the bank. He ran into a he yeah, ran into he, a spectator. He wiped as well. out a few spectators at the same time. Great bit of fielding. Anyway, here comes Greatwood again. Oh, that's come off a boot. Oh, they want to say catch. It's a. <laughs> I think Dustin hit it back to the oh. bowler's boot. I don't know if it was in the air, and there were screams of catch to mid off. But I don't know if that would have been out. Let's have a look. Could have been. I think that could have been out if there was a catch. But to no avail. So everything going on at the moment. Good job. We got a beat, I think. It would yeah. have been a four runs, I think. Yeah. Oh, this one just down just the leg side. Line. It'll be just one. Wind's getting up here again. Great wind in again. Some to walk and he pushes it, but for no run. Does he walk in? He's still a great deal at the moment. Does he just need to stay there and let no, I think let, he, Dutton, uh, let Dutton keep attacking? He doesn't look too settled. I think he just needs to play himself in here. He doesn't need to take many risks. He can just settle. Say Dutton on 41 from 51. He's got the bulk of the runs and they're well ahead of the rate. So.
Yes. And another good over from Greatwood. Yeah, all well. Two overs of five runs. Could have had a wicket. It was a yeah. tough chance down it, sort of deep fine leg, but... That would have been some catch. Mm. But in these games, you've got to take those... When you Berkshire took one like that down at South Wales, didn't they, on the boundary? Mm, they did. Remember in the semi-final? Yeah. But it's these sorts of chances have just got to go for Berkshire. Mm. Otherwise, this game's going to get a little bit away from them. Yeah. So the Berkshire field is saying he'll run past one here. So <laughs> let's he, see he if may, Dutton, may well do. Let's see if Dutton does use his feet again. He's only done it once, and it was the second ball. Let's see what happens. He presses. There could be. It. He's gone. Oof. He's been stumped. Okay, let's see. I, I that think I was on giving that replay. one out from here. To be honest, he did. He did lift his foot. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty certain. Very sharp work there from Lincoln, the keeper. Well Sam Dutton was caught by Dan Lincoln. Good flight. Have a look. Turn. Bold Luke Bevan for 41. You need a side on replay there, really, just to get a view. Here we go, this will tell us. Yeah, flat up crease, and it's not back mm, in. Not back in. No, it was on the line, decision. but it wasn't back in. Good decision. I think, I think he knew it as well. See it again, if you can slow it down. He's dragged his foot out. He has to push it back. Yeah, that's yeah, out. That's out. Good decision. Good decision by inches. So, so a shame in one way because Dutton was looking really attacking. He good, was good to watch. Absolutely. But a key man the for Berkshire. The new batter again. for Cumbria is number four on the scorecard, JJ Fielding. A correction to the last dismissal, Sam Dutton was stumped by Lan Dan Lincoln. Bold Luke Bevan for 41. So the experience, Bevan. It's bowled well, bowled well. Oh, absolutely. Good Just flight. Lovely bit Turn. of dip, good areas, and the keeper has to uh, take a lot of the credit for that wicket. Very quick behind the stumps, in a flash. So, Berkshire have their tails up now. They're going to need another one or two to make this interesting, but Cumber is 62 for two. They're still well ahead of the game so far. But cricket's a funny game. It's not over till it's over. So, JJ Fielding is in, number four. He's played eight matches, scored 298 runs, a good average at 33, scored 350s. 350s in eight games is a pretty good game. Mm, yeah. I'm sure you'll want to... Get some runs in this game for sure. See a side over the line. Left hand at bat as well. So left hand, right hand now at the crease. What will Beaven do? He's slightly short. Could have been a single there, but it was turned down. <laughs> Berkshire players getting stuck in here to the uh, bit, Cumbria bit, bit batters. A more chirpy now, aren't they? Yeah. Now they've taken that second wicket. Got rid of the key man done. Plays well. Energy levels seem to have increased quite quickly mm. now for Berkshire. And that's what wickets do. Good, which wickets, is good. It, it, in, you know, they give you that spark. Oh, there's an edge. That was a quicker ball there from Beaven. It's well, got bold. inside edge. It's gonna That's run unlucky. It's going to be two runs. Well bowled again, though. Mm. Yeah, Beaven's really got him in the spin here. Good move by Berkshire to change up the bowling. Absolutely. So it brings Fielding back on strike. He's got off the mark with that sort of edgy shot. It was the quicker ball there from uh, Beaven. But... Tosses it up. Yeah, well bowled cut, again. Doesn't connect. Nice flight, like it. The keeper is on hot alert here. He's staying right above the stumps until it's called dead ball. Ready for any stumping possible. Beaven in again. Oh, and the keeper could be a wide. There. It will yeah. be a wide. Even 
commentating. Well defended there from fielding to end the over. So Cumbria 65 for two yeah. for 15 overs. So the runs are there. Um, yeah, it runs you know, are there. Two wickets down, which isn't the end of the world, but. Got to restart the partnership now. They all want to be careful, you know. Two can soon lead to three, four, five, and then they are in some trouble. But I think these two will just sort of settle themselves in. There's no urgency, is there? No, run rate's 3.7 as a requirement. Yeah. It's not uh, too heavy. The worm's slightly reduced down, mm. but still you know, very much in control. Block should have lost four wickets at this stage. So there's no, no drama for Cumbria as long as they don't lose wickets. Just keep knocking it around. Great Wood coming in. So I feel like Great Wood definitely has that short ball in his locker, and I think he will bring it out maybe once and over, if not twice, because you've got a deep backward square set back there, and they've also got sort of a wide final leg. Wide, yeah. But it's inviting to the batsman because the mid wicket's open. So if they connect, they'll get it into the boundary. But any edge, then they're in the game. So what will Great would do here? That's oh, that's I think there runs. was an edge on that. That's four Down runs. the final leg. Runs given. Yep, there was a ticker on that one. Just two, uh, two legs side there from Great Wood. They're not attacking them, are they, Bosch? They slip still. No. In. Is got strange. New, new batsman in. You got the other batsman who's got ten off. Maybe 17. they feel they won't. Just, maybe they feel the runs. You know, they can just. They obviously don't think they've got enough runs. Which oh, I think the ball has got stuck in someone's picnic area today. It's under the umbrella oh, somewhere. Oh, it's just come back. Who does not have any jam on it or any uh, pickle or anything? Might go in someone's champagne glass. Who knows? Anyway, come on then, Greatwood, what's he got now? Walked in smooth to 10. He goes for a cut, he's, he's edged, he's edged it, behind. umpire's given. He went to cut it, Set he's disappointed with himself. Now we're in some trouble for uh, Cumbria. So they very quickly gone to 69 Then walked three. in, was caught by Dan Lincoln, ball Toby Greatwood, for 10. So let's look at the replay here. Oh, he's just cut that back slightly, mm. hasn't he? He's, he's, he's fed it out there, and then he's cut it back off the pitch. Good see movement, I and, wish a, we and had, a faint uh, edge to the keeper. I wish we had a player, Mike, because I think there was a few words said out there between the uh, two teams mm. on the dismissal. Well, that spiced it up a bit, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. The so new batter for Cumbria is number five on the scorecard, Michael Slack. So Slack, the MVP, opening bowling, bats at five, does it all. I think he's captain as well. Nearly got a hat trick as well, didn't he? Was that Zilli's chap? No, that was um, that was sharp. That was one. Sharp, that's right. Yeah. So let's see what he can do. So the game's definitely in the balance right now. Although Cumbria are ahead of the rate. It's the wickets they just want to keep an eye on. And two more wickets for this. So Slack has played 80 games. He's got 2,400 runs. Well, average of 28. A lot of 50s, but no 100s. He's got close in 2022 against Buckinghamshire with a 96. But he seems quite a well-experienced player, debuting in 2014. Sun's coming out as well, which is always nice to see. Oh, Berkshire will be feeling a lot more positive now. It's definitely a game Again, to be played now. Again, not many catches in. They've got one slip, a man at cover, but he's not really catching. I think, I think at this point, you want two slips in, wouldn't you? You want to try and make the most of this. I think if Great was bowling well, sixty-nine for three, you know, seventy for five. It's a whole different game. A whole game, different isn't it? game, massively different. And Instead suddenly, of hundred for five. So changing personnel there at cover and at wicket. Anyway, here comes Greatwood into the new batsman slack. Down the leg yeah, side. Down the leg side again. And a white so ball. Greatwood's just got to adjust his line here a little bit. There's been a fair few extras so far in this. Uh, Mind you, last time he bowled a wide, he followed it up with a wicket. Yeah, that's true. 
There's been 11 extras already so far inside the 16 overs, so they want to tighten them up, especially in a low-scoring game like today. So great we're doing again to slack for a second ball. And he just lets left that one go by. Well left. Good pace from though from Greatwood. He seems to be getting a bit quicker. So Greatwood in again to slack. He stands tall. He solidly defends that into the offside for none. It's the Cumbria batsman now just needs to get themselves back in into it mm. to see a few balls. Yeah, I mean, rebuild. These two They're ahead of the rate. A good few of overs, they'll get to a, yeah. over 100, and then it's only uh, it's under 100 to get then, isn't it? And as soon as they get to under 100, I think they'll feel more comfortable. Hopefully, with not too many more wickets now. Shot. Oh, it's well no run. It's a back point, but for none. That all ends the over from Greatwood. So a wicket with it. Four runs and a wide, but the most important one is the wicket there. So Beaven and Greatwood really have made a bit of a difference since coming on. Oh, absolutely, Two wickets, yeah. and ten runs off the bat. Turn the game. Still 34 overs to go. Yeah, so much time in the game. So the run rate is 4.38 and they only need 3.7. So the runs are not really the worry right now. They just want to keep knocking it about. But the experience be even will have different problems. He'll want to tease them. He'll want to tease them. It's, yeah, it's, and it's, absolutely. He's spinning it. So. He will tease them. He wouldn't mind going for a boundary or two if it means drawing out an attacking shot. Mid, mid on and mid off both up now. Yeah. He's in now. He'll be wanting them to go oh, he's gone for down a big the soft ground. Sweep and he's picked the gap brilliantly. That's gone for six, six. runs. I think that's six. Yeah. It is. Great so strike. Fielding with a six. Well, there you go. There was I saying they'll, they'll just knock it around that's and uh, just get themselves in. And it's a big shot. Over with wicket for mm. six. So that set the tone then. What will Beaven respond with? Will he slow it up? Will he dart one in? Field stays the same. No, he's just pushed mid on back. Oh, yeah, now, mid on goes back. Sorry. So I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if he says, toss another one up and see if he can do it again. There you go. Yeah, he does, but this time he just whips it to mid wicket and they're looking for two. It's in the fielder's hand. Oh, he's got to go back. About it, but yeah, yeah, correctly sent back. Yeah. Okay, nothing, nothing silly, just knock it about. So it brings the right handed slack on strike, who's still on naught. Cumbria are still being positive here, fielding. Yeah, I think they must have said that in their team talk, I reckon. Must have done, yeah. Continue the positivity, don't get in a slump, even if they do lose wickets. So in comes Beaven again, this time to the right handed slack. Edge, and he's, gone. And he's caught behind. Edged and gone. No, he hasn't Beautiful walked. Beautiful ball. He hasn't walked yet. He is now, because the umpire hadn't I think he's just in finger, devastation, but... really. Well, yeah. Bevan really has turned it wow, again. Wow, hey, look at this. How a game can change. The experienced Beaven coming to the front again. He's, he's, bowled, he's bowled really nice. He's getting wider on the crease there. Michael Slack was caught by Tom That's Beaven. really well bowled. Old Luke Bevan. Good but catch no, at slip. Good. Very good yeah. catch at slip. And he's got to go for a duck. Wow. So Cumbria, 77 for four. And it really has changed the uh, dynamic here in the game. Berkshire not out of this. No. At wow. all. The champions are fighting. They're fighting their way back into this game. Maybe the finals curse for Cumbria. Who knows? Four wickets down. Beavens bowled well. Oh, exceptionally well. Despite being the hit new by batter six. for Cumbria is number six on the scorecard, Matthew Semple. So Semple played 86 matches, 2,030 runs, averaging just a, just under 26, 11 50s and 100, so he can bat.
Yeah, so Semper, he's 25. Um, he plays his club cricket for Cockermouth, which is the same club where uh, the current England test captain, Ben Stokes, spent his early years. And everyone's saying that he looked like he's going to follow into his first class footsteps. Um, he has represented the North of England schools in 2013 at the Banbury Festival. Um, and he's also played in Lancashire and Durham's academies um, without being offered a, a professional contract. So he's on the fringes. He's there, but almost there. He can play. He can certainly play. And he's going to have to play in this innings if they want to get over the line to Cumbria. So two left hand hands at the crease now. Semple on strike. And he's just worked that onto the leg side for none. Enthusiastic cries from the Parks of Fielders. They're definitely up for this challenge. Like I think they can sniff it back in this and Oh absolutely. Two or three more quick, quick wickets and then it's, it's, it's the pendulum's turned straight back to Berkshire. But even saying he defends the simple. Better flight, yeah, slower deliveries. The pressure of a final. Low scoring games. So one ball left to the over. Even gets so wide on the crease when he bowls. Must stop ball, and that's the end of the over. So he's bowled four overs, two for twenty, uh, two for seventeen. Made a massive difference. Mm. Definitely bowling slower. Definitely flighting the ball more. And he's getting that and he's just enough, it. just enough turn in the pitch, which is I think where the Cumbria bowlers might have. Lost a bit of edge there. They just just trying to bowl too quickly, too I flat. think so, yeah. I mean, it worked for a majority, but um, there's not much danger when it doesn't turn, does it? No. Just a one little, a few degrees of a spin, and it really gets into the batsman's mind then. So back to Greatwood. Sun's out now, beautiful mm. Sunday afternoon. There's a quiet hum in the ground. It's all pretty settled here at the moment. I don't think anyone really knows which way this is going. This no, I don't think so either. So Greatwood's in, two fielding, and it's angled down to back the point for none. Yeah, Berkshire fought really well to get back in this game. So great with it again to the left handed fielding. And again, this one, they look for a single. Ooh, he's got, but it's I don't sent think there's one there. sent him back there, no run. So good Graham and Crockett going on so far. It's hanging the balance for both teams, it's both there for the taking. It's a good game, it can swing one way and then the other in little to no time. And then comes Greatwood again. And this one. Inside edge there. Yeah, inside of the bat. I don't think you meant it to go there, but they'll sneak a single nonetheless. So, seven brave women have set 140 for Northern Superchargers to get. In the 100 final. Interesting. You feel that might be slightly under par, but you never know in the ladies' game. Well, they're four for one already, so. Oh, wow, okay, that's a good start. Come on, the brave. Great wooden again. This on Semple, who hasn't got off the mark yet. Full of a length, but gets the inside of the bat and it runs away to square leg for one. A waft at that one from Fielding, but I'll take me by the keeper. It's 
So one ball left to Great Woods over. It's fourth over. Cumbria 79 for four. And after this ball 18 overs completed. Requirement still only 3.6 and over. Oh, again, the bat again. That. Outside off. Nothing oh, on I it. I think Great Wood wants another slip in. Doesn't look like he's moving his feet much either. So that's finished the 18th over. All in the balance here. And Beaven on. Oh, it's not Beaven. Looks like there's a change of bowling coming here. Wow. Interesting. I'm a bit surprised at that, to be perfectly honest. Whether Beaven might change ends, potentially, I don't know. I don't see a why. I mean, no. I don't Unless they're saving in some overs, but... Yes, yeah, interesting. So it is another spinner. That's like right arm off spin, I think. Wow. Yeah. So in comparison, uh, Cumbria were 43 for four at this stage. Unless they want the ball spinning away from the bat. Hmm. Potentially, I guess maybe uh, two left-handers at the crease, getting it away, more in, more likely to get an edge. So it's Woods, the bowler. You and you and first Woods. ball. You and Woods. He unfortunately fell for a duck bang at number three today. We picked him up on the uh, commentary. Former England under 19s player, but can't make any runs. He's got so. 226 wickets to his name. So yeah, he's <laughs> plenty good enough bowler, that's for sure. New bowler for Berkshire from the Deer Park end, Ewan Woods. So he got four or five wicket hauls to his name, the best of six for 57. Mm. Very good average. So good depth here for Berkshire in their bowling. Take Beaven off and he's bowling very, very well. Catch. Just no for one, down to long arm. He bowls to Sempil. He's slightly slower this time. and that would be a little a, bit turn there. Yeah, so I think it would be key to these spinners just to, can, you know, just keep changing their speeds a bit. Don't get too consistent. In he comes again. This one just worked from Semple onto the onside. So one ball to go the over. 82 for four. Woods bowl into fielding. Bowls, and that one's just pushed again to the onside for none. So not a bad first over. Three runs from it. Still a little bit surprised at that change, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like I say, the, the right arm off spinners, the left handers, will be spinning away from them, but uh, they probably Beaven think at Beaven, the same time was bowling really well. Yeah, Beaven had just as much chance of probably getting him out as anyone, so we will see. It looks like the red kite is circling the ground looking yeah. for more food. Any scraps? Come dive bombing into the crowd in a minute. Oh, I think Riston's coming back on to bowl the opening bowler. It is so Riston's back on. They've got a man out at deep cover and a man out at deep back square. So still no slip. See where he bowls. Pushed into the onside, but no run taken. Good shot fielding there. That red kite's disappeared again. Yeah. Watch your back. <laughs> oh, oh, look out for small children being hoisted out of the crowd. So, Rishton in again, this time to Sent Hill. Bold. And well taken by Rishin on the return. Gave a little stare down to Sempil, but Sempil has none of it. No 
the box, you're just looking to rotate the bowlers consistently mm. you know, and just keep Cumbria thinking. We'll work down to third man, just a single. Return to bowl at the Dibley end, Andy Rishti. In, good length ball, it's not back. Oh, so resting in two balls to left, and is over this time to fielding. There's a shouting yeah. appeal. Oh, Rishton liked that one. He was haunching back. Going down the leg side. I think so too, yeah. Leg buys have been given. Just look at the replay. It looked pretty obvious. That was flying down the leg side. Oh, yeah, my. Yeah, down, down the leg yeah. side. He likes the appeal, does Rishton? Obviously appealing for everything they can possibly get. Yeah. I mean, if you don't ask, you don't get, so... Oh, Sorry, I haven't been around. I've That's OK. I've been running around like a... Uh, so he rushed him in for his A balanced last ball. game. Indeed. In he comes. Oh, it's a lovely drive there. But for no runs. And that'll end the 20th over. So 20 overs gone. Come here at 84 for four. Definitely ahead of the rate, but the wickets, uh, well, they just want to keep an eye on them. But they're definitely taking the game to Berkshire. Berkshire be fighting back, though, the champions in the last three years. So we've just been joined from. Why? Representative of the NCCA. Yeah. Game well balanced? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think probably just edging ahead for Cumbria at the moment. But yeah, like you've just said, I think they just need to keep an eye on losing the wickets if they can build a bit of a partnership here. Might put the game to bed, but yeah, there's still a long way to go, I think. I think we all thought Cumbria were pretty much home and dry from the first first half. They managed to put a relatively good score back on the, on the board. Yeah, as Woods is back on the ball, he just gets nerdled into the onside for one. Yeah, you'd feel a couple quick wickets here, and it's certainly in the balance. And you know, Berkshire have been there many times before, as have Cumbria, but I think winning those finals have, is definitely something you take into these games. And I think given half a chance, they'll, they'll take it. Quite amazing that these two sides have reached this final for a you know, fourth year in a row. Yeah, it is. It's, it is amazing, really, because obviously the process you have to go through, the group stage, you've then got quarter-final, semi-final. There's so many areas over a four-year period for one of them to slip up, but they've managed to get there and, and fair play to them because they've, they've, they've always done super well in, during the main part of the season and, and we've had some really good finals. So this one's turning out looking like it's going to be one of the best ones we've had in the last three or four years. The first one... Which was in 2019, I think, was the was the closest one of the last three. But this one's it's shaping up to be a really good one. So, yeah, I'm fingers crossed it'll be a nice, exciting finish for everyone. Absolutely, brilliant. You must be pleased to have the finals hosted here as well. Great venue. It is, and it's a, obviously a big showcase day for us. And it's, um, sort of marquee event. We've got the biggest crowd we've had in the last few years for sure. Um, so it's great to see that's kind of it's on an upward trajectory with regards to the awareness that we're generating, the people that are coming, and it's obviously a fantastic venue, so we love coming back here every year, and like I say, it's kind of our main main event of the year, and it's, um, yeah, this game's looking like it's going to be a really good sort of showcase for, for that, really, but uh, yeah, super happy to be here, and, and it's it's great to have see so many people here, really, especially yeah. on a slightly dodgy forecast, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think the rain went inside of that one for sure. Yeah, I think they got the rain yesterday, but we've been very lucky, haven't we? We've just got a bit of drizzle, but it, it seems to have gone. It looks like we're going to get a full game in today, so yeah. that's good. Could be worse, couldn't it? <laughs> it could, absolutely. But could I was watching the forecasters, I'm sure everybody was yeah. yesterday, and it was it was terrible at stages, but it, it seemed like it was changing every hour. So woke up this morning to bright sunshine, and that was, uh, I suppose that's the best weather forecast, isn't it? You look upwards, and if it's not raining, it, it, it's game on. So we're, we're now into the... 22nd over are we so yeah. that means that uh, we'll definitely get a result today either way which is which is brilliant because I think 
although we do have a reserve day because we don't ever want to bowl off, then um, yeah, we're, we're not going to have that now. So we'll have it decided today either way. No one really wants to come back for a reserve day, really, do they? Not really. No, not really. I think it's it, like I said, we've got past that point now, so that's that's good. And uh, hopefully the rain doesn't come in. It just you get to its sort of natural finish. So no, it's uh, it's shaping up well. Excellent. Well, many thanks for your support and for being here today. So Russian Bond's good lines there. Simple has been banging out of his crease in the last few balls. Maybe just trying to avoid any lateral movement or just sort of meet the ball on the ball on the full. Yeah, he's definitely banging out of his crease just ever so slightly. And he comes now. Nice good areas there from Rishan, just cramping him up for room, nothing nothing easy. Just trying to counter the movement there, isn't he? Just coming out of his crease a bit. Cumber at 86 for four. 21.3 overs. Still ahead of the rate, but it's getting tighter. Oh, it's a He's big gone for a big there, swing. But again, umpires having none of it. You can tell when the ball goes out to sort of backward square. Um, um, square leg, sorry, you can tell it's not going to be hitting. You can also tell because Paul, the umpire, puts his hand out. And he walks away very quickly as well. <laughs> so you know it's going to be leg wise. So, Rishton again. Up to fielding. No run. So required run rate 3.9, current run rate 4, so it's tightening, 109 to win off 28.1 overs, so not a massive score to chase down. Wicket's going to be absolutely key. A couple more wickets added to where they are now and it will make it very interesting. Ooh, he's beaten them again with the bat. And that's Rishton's seventh over, two maidens, one for 19. Good. Continues the bowl well. Careful, will the camera's on you? Oh, hello. <laughs> so, what are they going to do now? A bit of a chat between the keeper and the bowler. Like There's change another change. Bowling, I think yeah. it's another change of bowling here. I think Nugent's coming back on, yep. So the other opening bowler is coming back on. So maybe Barcher feel a bit of pace is needed. Definitely mixing up the bowling here. Yeah, they're not letting the Trying uh, to keep it keen. bowlers nor the batter settle, really. No. Well, you definitely can't second guess what Barcher are going to do next, can you? No, and this feels keep... a bit strange. Anything wide and short is going to be actually dispatched here. There's no one really for it. It's going to have to be full and straight, which that isn't, but he's got protected there. See what spell Nugent can muster up in his second spell. Yeah, he went at five and over in his first spell. I think Dutton very much fancied he did. tucking he into him a bit. He liked pace on the ball, didn't he? So Nugent again. Just like down leg size, going to be leg by as I expect. I think just looking inside these first 20 odd overs, the main difference I think bowling wise is just the consistency and accuracy. I think Cumbria's bowlers would were very accurate and they were very attacking with the line of lengths. Whereas Berkshire, they're just a couple too many wides, a couple freebies, and you know, in these tight finals, that does make the difference, unfortunately. But they still managed to get four wickets along the way, so still in the balance. Well played there from Fielding. So they're looking for two. Oh, the field has slipped, but it's remained at one for well fielders. Nugent applauds his fielder there. Oh, 
come to Nugent again. This time to Semp Hill. <laughs> it's solidly defended. Uh, bowling now at the Deer Park end, Tom Nugent. So, superchargers in the 100 final, women's final, are now 35 for three, chasing 140. Ooh. So, seven That's brave got the top hand. Ooh. Ooh. That was so good ball by Nugent. From that. Good ball by Nugent. Yeah, good areas, good pace, good areas. Semple was probing. And around the wicket to the left hander. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very close to the edge there. So Semple, 5 of 25 deliveries. So Nugent with the last ball is over. Just defended there by Semple. So 23 overs gone, 89 for 4. So the, uh, the, the scoring rate has decreased, it's gone into the 3s. Yes. It's actually under the required rate now. So, um, First time that's happened. It has, yeah, all winnings. But again, I don't think they'll worry too much. Has been some good bowling in this last few overs, so it has to be well respected. So who's it going to be now? It's Woods, I think, again, but from a different end. Yeah, Woods is coming on from the opposite end. He started in the Deer Park end, but now he's on the Dibley end. This does seem to be, at this stage, sort of one over each. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's strange. <laughs> Mixing the it? bowlers up constantly. Now, Beaven's now going to change his fielding position. <laughs> Just can continual change of bowlers, just keep him Cumbria on their toes here. So they still have a slip in for Woods, spinning it away from the left-hander. Return to bowl at the Dibley end, Ewan Woods. Again to fielding. Looks they to cut. cut there and they take a single, and it's close, but they get in. Team Box are definitely looking trying to squeeze these overs in mm. as fast as they can, aren't they? Keep rotating yeah, the bowlers, don't the let them settle. And that thing, like you say, scoreboard yeah. pressure it definitely comes into it, it's a huge factor. You know, all of a sudden, Cumbria will be behind the rate. Mm. Still four wickets down, put two more on that, and they're definitely uh, chasing the game then. <laughs> so Woods bowling some good long lengths here, mixing up his pace too, keeping the batsman guessing. Just worked it for a single. <laughs> <laughs> so Woods in now to fill in. A bit slower this time and it's been swept, but Beaven does the fielding on the 45. Good over from Woods so far, one board again. And again, a swept a bit too full to sweep that one, and it's a wide ball given. So, Woods in again. On for the reverse, reverse. and connects, and it's a brilliant shot. So, he made use of that extra ball, did fielding, went for the reverse sweep this time, and he connected. Quite finely, but four runs nonetheless. So a much needed boundary there. Nicely played. Very well, well played. executed reverse sweep. 
Bruce Cumbria is 96 for four off uh, for 24 overs. Exactly 100 to win now of 26. Trying to sneak through that over, which was looking really good until mm. that wide ball, and suddenly yeah, only a extra ball, two four three. runs, and suddenly it's turned from a good over to not so a good over. Fine margins here. In comes Nugent, his seventh over. Oh, brilliantly driven down the driven ground. That's ground. That might be four. And that is going to be four. Yeah, four runs. That's a lovely shot. Lovely on drive there from Semphill. Outfield certainly dried out from earlier. Raced away. Beautiful shot. Good balance. And that brings up Cumbria's 100 runs inside 25 overs, halfway distance, overs wise. Nicely executed Perfect shot. Perfect drive, look it? at that. Straight Beautiful. down the ground. <laughs> so Nugent in again to Simpil. This one just gets a bit high on him and he works it to the onside. There should easily be a two here, yeah. So four then two, so a very good start in this over, six runs from it. Game changing again. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Beaven back again. No, I wouldn't either, to be honest. I think after Nugent's second spell. Be drinks breaking after this. Mm. Next four balls. Maybe time for a bit of a rethink. Ooh, good ball. A miss there from Sempil. Good areas. Let's see if this moved anywhere laterally. No, not massive. Just, yeah, just, just the angle, line, effectively, yeah. isn't it? Just coming around the wicket. It's a kind just of shot should have really threw his hand to that one. Yeah. It wasn't really there to push. <laughs> so, Nugent in again. This one hits Semple on the thigh pad, but no run. Carrera does a fielding at mid-wicket. I've got one left of middle. Yeah. I can't I've still got really struggle. It's weird, man. It's really balanced. So Nugent back in. Two balls left the over. Good length ball. Blocked. <laughs> So a good start to the over for Cumbria, but then a few dots from Nugent brings it back a bit. Depends how this last ball goes. Let's increase the run rate, they're up to 4 and 0.1. Required rate is only 3.7, so just above. This partnership is building slowly. On he comes now. <laughs> It's just a fantasy offside, so not a bad over. And I think that'll be drinks. Yep, that will be yep. drinks.
So we're back after the drinks break. At the halfway stage, Cumbria 102 for four in chase of Berkshire's 195 for eight. So they require 94 runs on the last 25 overs. So run wise, it should be a doddle really, but um, you know how these finals go. It's not all plain and simple. A few more wickets quickly will uh, soon upset the Cumbria run chase. So we'll see how it goes. Spin of woods to carry on from the Dibley end. Fielding on 18, Semple on 12, and in comes Woods. Semple just pushes that for none. So the final quarter of the game. A shout's an appeal here. Umpire's thinking about it, but it shakes his head. This would be interesting. Woods is on his knees. Not out. Replay coming up. Just, mm, just sliding just down. drifting down the leg side. Close, the ball, but just sliding ball. down. Woods in again. Inside of the bat, and they'll get a single to square leg. As commentators are happy, the hot water is back on. Is back on, so we've got our coffees. It's getting pretty chilly here. I still think it's time for Beaven to come back on at the other end now. Yeah, it's Beaven oh, time, captain, baby. Captain at this point, I'd be bringing him on. He looked really good in the first spell, but made some impact. Woods in. So we'll and this is clipped nicely onto the onside from Sempil. They want to win this game and they need to attack. Yeah. Just looking at the, uh, the stats here, and there's a high percentage of dot balls, 73% of uh, Cumbria's innings have been dot balls, which is a high percentage. Ooh, oh, the up. half a chance, just falling short of extra cover there. Slightly uppish from fielding. Woods in again. This one pushed nicely down the ground. He just one run. And that'll be over. So, three runs from the over after drinks. Unfortunately, drinks didn't bring a wicket for Berkshire, but let's see if they can get one soon enough. So, 24 overs remaining. 91 to win. I was saying Still that... Feels he's in Cumbria's hands. Yeah, the, the, run, the runs regarding is, is a doddle, really. But, yeah. like I say, you know how finals go. You just, anything can happen. Ah, Steve, you've got your man back. Beaven's back on. Just get talk this up. Yeah, spin from both ends. Just adjusting the field here is the captain. Wicket keeper captain. Flight like the ball beautifully in the first spell. Yeah. Got He's a turn. Slip and a and a sort of very backward point. It's just worked into the onside. They're pushing for two, they should easily get two. No, no. sent back. Well fielded. Yeah, very well fielded. Would have been tight. Just got to find his line here, isn't he? Just got to get it on off stump, just spinning it away slightly, and it creates some trouble, I think. Berkshire desperately needs another couple of wickets, really, mm. to swing that pendulum back in their favour. Otherwise, if Cumbria keep going as they are, they're in box seats at the moment, I think. Quicker ball. Just flicked to mid wicket, no run. Good fielding there. Berkshire hungry. Hungry for that next wicket. So changing personnel there and it's like changing the field. Straight back to the bowler. Straight on it here, Beaven. He has to be. No freebies allowed from Berkshire. There's not enough runs to play with. In comes Beaven again. Fair the line of length bat. St. Paul just has to defend. So this is how Berkshire are going to build some pressure, I think. Mm. 
two spinners operating. Keeping it tight, little bit in it. Not easy to get away. Might just create a bit more pressure. Potentially an opportunity. So Beaven with the last ball of this over. He comes into Sempil, gives it some good flight. Good bit of drift. Yeah, another good over. That's his five done. He's only got five left, so they're gonna have to use him wisely. Good figures though, five overs, two for twenty two for well, eighteen. There's been another change of bowling. That uh, last over was bowled by Luke Bevan. I think this P PA announcer ought to tune into on feed, I think. Yeah, he's a little bit behind. <laughs> so Woods again. In the Dibley end. Reversed. Oh, what a take. Wow, we that's some good fielding there from the first slip. <laughs> top bit of fielding. Very good reaction. That is top quality fielding. Look at this on the replay, you ready? First sweep goes that way. Into the ground, one-handed. Otherwise, always. that's four Beautiful. Runs. Great. Woods in the fielding, he pushes them back. Archer Field is giving him Woods some encouragement here. He's just pushed onto the onside for one. Well, it'd be good to see this game go all down to the wire, wouldn't it? It would be good. Yep, the showcase game, NCCA One Day Trophy Final. Fourth time these two teams have met in consecutive years. Archer winning the last three. It's unreal, really. It's just amazing yeah. that these two teams continue to make the oh, final. Paddle sweep here from uh, Semphill. They're going to get at least two, probably potentially four. Is it going to be four? Yeah, yes. it's gone. Four runs. Well played. A little uh, paddle sweep there from Semphill. Delicate. Delicate play, but he gets a good reward for it. Just uses the pace of Woods there. Down the leg side slightly too, yeah. Beautiful shot. Just needs to take that pace off a bit. Yeah, Beaven's yeah, going a lot slower than Woods. Yeah, and... Woods has mixed his pace up, but I don't think he's done it enough or consistently slower. Just needs to keep tinkering a little bit. So, changing... Deep backward squares now come into uh, just, just inside the ring behind square. Okay, so no one out on the leg side now. This would be interesting to see what Semple does. Does he attack? He doesn't, but he gets an inside edge. And Bevan does the fielding. So, one ball left to the other. Woods yet to find a wicket. And that's his fifth over completed. Four for 20. Cumbria and Nelson for four. One, one, one for four. They're going at about the same rate. They get about. Well, look at this comparison. Barksha at 86 for six at this time. Cumbria, one, one, one for four. So ahead in the runs and the wickets, but mm. there was a few lower order runs for Barksha, which dug them out of a hole. It's quite a difference in comparison, isn't those, it? Yeah, 86 to 6, that's when uh, Sharp got those two wickets and two balls. Good catch, at, uh, it was a high catch, it, it long on, and then uh, next ball hit top of off, and uh, Cumbria were flying. So anyway. Beaven back for his sixth over. Tosses it up, comes down the wicket, punches it out to mid on. Easy single. Cumbria now choosing to use their feet. Slight field change. Deep and wickets coming in. Into the ring. 
slipping. Tossed up. Again, this one's down the ground. Another single. So both batsmen using their feet there. Maybe they feel that's the best way to go against Bevan here. Well, something Beat we didn't him on the see floor. in the first innings, is it? We didn't see the. Mm. Didn't see the the uh, Berkshire batsmen use their feet enough. I don't think in the first innings until the very last over, pretty yeah. much. And again, moving his feet. They're going for a single. It's yeah, good. Easily taken. Good challenge on so here. I think they've definitely come up with a plan here of the Cumbria batsmen, trying to meet Beaven's ball on the full. Really, don't let it spin. Don't let them get the drift. So we'll see what happens again. It's three from three. Three balls. Three of them coming down the wicket. Quicker ball. And it's just, yeah, it started in there a little bit. A bit of cat and mouse going on here. That's a good cricket. That's what you want to see in the sort of final is good challenges in place. It's Beaven back again. Two balls left of us this over. Tosses it up, goes down, down the wicket. wicket. And there's a gap there, and that's going to be four. Slogged it over the cow corner area. Ooh. I think just four, I think. Yep, four given by the umpire. Didn't get all of it, but you got more than enough to get it over the inner ring. Now, I think Slip will come out now. Four runs. Yeah, Slip's coming out into cover. The wicket's going out of the deep mid-wicket. So the Cumbria Cover's batsman, going to mid-wicket. Cumbria batsmen certainly taking the attack to Beaven now. They're not going to let him settle here. They've, they've seen that he's a, a threat and they're going to take it to so him. So deep mid-wicket and deep mid on. Deep square. And now he's worked it through gully. And there's going to be an easy two runs there. So, so, good cricket from nine from the over. There. Good cricket. So Bevan won't be too happy with that one. Nine from the over. No, they have taken the game to him. They there. had to attack there, didn't yeah. they? Because Bevan was getting on top of them. So that brings Cumbria on to 120 for four. They require another 76 runs. Another 76 runs, which isn't too many. But we've seen stranger things happen. So a few wickets will soon change it here. Two balls, two wickets, and it's a different game yeah, again, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, just like in the Berkshire first innings. You know, Sharp put those two and two, and it's a different game then. And the sun is really coming out So now. it looks like... A Wood has been taken off and the pace bowler is coming back on. I think it's going to be great. Wood. Great wood. Looks like he's probably going to come back on. He bowled a good first spell, didn't he? He did, yeah. Good pace. Four overs, one for 12 in his first spell. Let's see if he can make an impact. Full ball. Oh, Ball's he's knocked it straight here. to mid off. Run one. Wrong end. Wrong end. Really? And they've made an easy single. Return to bowl at the Dibley end. Toby Greatwood. Probably couldn't do the PA job. We have not got deep enough voices. So no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in my later years. <laughs> so Greatwood in now to Semp Hill, who's on 24. And then another quick single taken, yeah. Good rotation of the strike. Good partnership this. Barks are going to need to break this sooner than later. It's like short oh. ball this time. Just glided out to third man. Bevan does the fielding. These two batsmen are getting nicely settled. Mm. So they needed it after a few wickets in the early doors. The score is one, two, three for four. Yeah, they only need another four runs and they've built their 50 partnership. So yeah. yeah, it's much needed. Dutton win at such a pace early on. 
very dominant, yeah, run rate well above. You know, these two just dug in again. Yeah, I think Cumbria needed that. They needed one of the openers to get a good start. Just set the tone. Greatwood into Semphill now. He just off the fire pad and Greatwood lets out a grunt. He's not happy with the rotation of strike. in again with some of the fielding. Short ball. Pulls it but doesn't connect and fine length's going to have to come around. It should just be one. It is just one. Mm. Should have probably been put, put away that ball. He's probably missed out there. Mm. That finishes um, Greatwood's fifth over. Cumbria 125 for four. And 71 to win off the remaining 20 overs now. So again they don't lose wickets, it'll be straightforward score yeah. to achieve. Cumber are doing well, they were 77 for 4, now they're 125 for 4, so good partnership this. Looks like Berkshire are going to have a change of bowling again. Yes, I don't know who it will be, it looks like a completely different bowler. Berkshire desperately need wickets so they get themselves back into this game. Still a lot of lots of enthusiasm out there by the Berkshire fielders. I'm sure they will fight to the end. So it's another spinner. It's left Rodri arm. Lewis, left arm spinner. Left arm leg breaks apparently. Bowling at the Deer Park end, Rodri Lewis. Wow, Rodri Lewis coming on to bowl. Needs to break this partnership. You Man City fans, I'm sure you enjoy your Rodri. Just scored a late minute winner against Sheffield United to make it 2-1. Let's see if Rodri Lewis can get a wicket here for Berkshire. Comes on the wicket, mm, skewed it, no runs. Bit risky there from fielding. again to fielding. Ooh, a, Ooh, bit a bit of bounce there. Wow, look at that. We haven't seen that from the spinners so far, No, have we? not at all. We've seen some turn, but not necessarily some unusual bounce. Then he comes again. Oh, that one just sort of scooted underneath him there, but he got enough bat on it. So a very good start, four dots in his first four balls for uh, Lewis here. It's in again. And it's another dot. So a very tidy start this from Lewis. I'm sure he'll be happy to get a, a maiden, or a wicket maiden here if he can. So Set the tone. One ball left. Cumbria 125 for four. He's in, comes down the it's wicket fair. and he just gets an inside edge on that, it's going to run away for one. So no maiden, but a very still, very much a good over there from Lewis, good start from him. So that's three spinners now that uh, it's good, though. It's good rotation of the bowlers Archer there again, isn't it? just to keep him on their toes. It's the fifth bowler, three of which have been spinners. Great wood still bowling. So it's interesting looking at these towers here. It's sort of Cumbria, they have a few very slow overs and then all of a sudden then there'll be a, a you know a ten an eight, ten, twelve run and over um, score. So it's just coming and going for me the team. It's still in the balance, but Park should desperately want to break this partnership. Short ball and it's pulled in front of square and this is surely gonna run away. Chase is on, is it gonna go? It has gone. gone. It's four runs. Four runs to fielding. And that makes the 50 partnership. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful partnership. That's the 50 partnership between JJ Fielding and Matthew Semple.
88 balls and 53 minutes. So, in time of partnership, come the partnership, fielding in Semple, 50 runs together. It was a short ball from Greatwood in uh, fielding capitalised, hitting it in front of square, getting a good piece of it, running away for four. Another short, short ball, ball. this has been again. this is a bit top edgy up, but uh, square leg boundary, filled on the square leg boundary, just didn't quite get around to that, but only one run. So a great would have back to back bounces there. Maybe this is a different ploy. Maybe they thought <laughs> let's uh, go for some bumpers. They gotta throw everything at this game, haven't they? Well the simple thing is if they don't get wickets they don't win the game. Mm. They've got to try everything again. This one's a slightly fuller then. It's absolutely beautiful here now. All sunshine. Clouds dispersed. Well set for a good finish to this game. A couple more wickets and they'll be right in the balance and it'll be a tense, tight finish. Great winning again to Semphill. Further delivery and it's worked for the onside but for none. So great wood again. Two balls left the over. Full ball driven. No run. Good contest here. Between bat and ball. Great wood in. This is Ooh, cut it's... behind point. Gonna run away the third man for one. And that's over. So Cumbria 132 for four. After 32 overs. 64 to get from 18. 3.6 run rate required. Berkshire desperately need wickets. And the women's 100 final. Northern Superchargers 85 for 8 off 80 balls, so chasing one, 140, so some braving command there. That's a wide ball from Lewis here. So his first over was brilliant, but he starts his second with a wide. He's in again. That's a better area there from Lewis. Lewis bowling well. But we need wickets. Yes, absolutely, yeah. He's in again to Semphill. Semphill looks to work it. Single quickly taken and he just got in, yeah. So still good rotating at the strike. Score creeps up to 1 3 4 for 4, so they're getting there, they're not far away. First few comes sweet. out and he's Four made runs. it. Lovely shot. The that shot was on. Executed well that. Yeah, connected well. The field was up for it. It's not the first time he's done it. Beautiful shot. He moves to 37 now from 47, does fielding. Brilliant shot. Completely controlled, very safe. And he's got four runs for it. Berkshire don't take a wicket soon. They're yeah. going to be out of this, aren't they? They'll be dire, yeah. They'll be clutching at straws, but you know it can soon change very quick. But yeah, they don't want to leave it too late here. And comes Lewis again. 
This one just whips into the long arm. Got to say, these two have batted really, really sensibly. Oh, absolutely, haven't given any chances. No, flawless. Not the ball around nicely. Executed the shots well. Built a really good partnership. Lewis in again to St. Hill. And that's a good area. It's a quick single. They're running the box. You feel rabbit here a bit. Lots of singles taken. The scoreboard keeps ticking and we're now at 140 for four. Yeah, Lewis will start getting frustrated here. Just got to think what can Berkshire do differently, if anything. It's way quicker this time. It's been cut behind point, but for none run. And that ends the over. So an event for one. Good few runs from it. Run rate has been upped after those last few overs, up to 4.24. Required rate is decreasing, down to 3.29. So. so still pace of Greatwood on, I think. Yep. Greatwood to start his seventh over. Bowled tightly, only on for 3.7. Short ball. So, uh, yeah, I think this is no. Is that alone? I think this would be a bit of a tactic here from Greatwood. I think, you know, it's, it's a fair hit square the, square the wicket. And it's if, probably worth a go, isn't it? You've got I think if they're going to take it on, they are going to have to middle it, and there's, there's men catching. There's, you know, they've got the field for it. You've got no slips in place. No. Nope. Not beating the bat massively. Got to create something from nothing now. Yeah, they've got a deep square and a, and a wide. Deep fine leg, fine leg. So you know, catches set. are there, and they're fuller one. So he's just adjusting his line of lengths here. Keep the batsman guessing. I've also noticed that isn't even in the uh, not necessarily that Cumbria had to do it much because they were bowling, you know, good areas, good pace. But you know, on this sort of thing, just give it a go. I don't know if the the Berkshire bowlers, especially the pace built bowlers, can bowl maybe a few slower balls or a few cutters or anything like that, just to. Just a bit of variation. I think you might see a short ball uh, yeah, I just they need to change it up a little bit. Just anything really. It's a hard length, yeah. But just anything really, you know. See what the the pitch is doing enough. I just think they need to uh, change it up a little bit. Yeah, just just keep throwing things at them really. You know, the spinners can only do so much. in again to fielding and fielding has a waft of that outside off but no runs the run rate now has dropped to 3.4 mm. yeah they're going to have to bowl them out our Berkshire great woods in again and that's Slightly short of a length, and just guided down the third man by fielding. He moves to 39 now. So, one more ball left of this great wood over, and I think that might be him done for this spell. But we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, Berkshire have been changing up the bowling quite frequently. Short, Short ball, and he's ducked under this one. Didn't want anything to do with that one. No, I reckon he predicted that one. <laughs> yeah. But again, you can't blame Greatwood for that. That ends the over. So 142 for four from 34 overs. Cumbria well ahead of the rate, and uh, the wickets are in hand now. So it's all plain sailing so far. Need of a wicket. Mm. What can he do? 
it's an odd field for him. He's got a deep backward point and a deep cow. Mm, and the pill was cut short there. I think they knew that was not out. <laughs> But yeah, they've got, they've got a deep sort of mid-wicket cow, they've got a long arm, but then there's a huge gap on the cover region. I know there's a man out on the backward point, but I can't really see it going there. It sweeps hard, but he's filled, well, straight to the fielder there, quite Beaven there. He's quite tight in the ring there, is Beaven. Lewis in again. Comes on the wicket, and there it is. Lovely shot, three extra cover. Yeah. That's going to be another four runs. Lovely. He moves into the 40s. Yep, straight in the big vacant area, which I just said, through the covers. It was a hit me ball, really. He came down the wicket, made it on the full, and say half of that, and it's through the gap, really. He's very quickly moved to 43 or 54 balls. Yeah, he's going at a good rate here. He's not hanging about. Cumbria nearing that 150 mark now, so what will Lewis do? Lewis is in again. And this could be out, Close yes. Umpire gives him. Slightly quicker from Lewis. Got him on the back leg. I think there's another send off there. It's <laughs> Berkshire a bit loud in the field. But. JJ Fielding was LBW to Rodney Lewis for 43. Key so, wicket, just, wicket, as yeah. Lewis, just as Lewis, uh, just as. It was looking like he was getting going, he uh, had to go. Yeah. Looking on the replay. Pitched in line. Yeah, it's a flicking, like, flicking leg, I would say. It's close. Flicking leg stump, I think. But umpire says out. Key wicket, they needed that. Bucks, you needed that. Get back in the game. So it can be 146 for five. They need 50. It's 15.28. The new batter for Cumbria is number eight on the scorecard, Nico Watt. What? And a new batsman at the crease. So Watt, he's played 52 matches. Scored only 288 of an average of 10. So uh, not the best stats, but we'll see what he can come up with here. Maybe they just said, go on, go have a whack. He was down at number eight on our scorecard. So he's come so up, he's one. Up, up one. So maybe they just said, you know, if it's there to hit, hit it. But we'll see. With an average of 10. Yeah, hmm. So he only yeah, made his be, debut not too day, long ago, yeah. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? So what faces first ball against Lewis? And he's in defence. Got a forward well. Yeah, I think the uh, Berkshire players are well up for us. I think the keeper certainly is. They needed that wicket. They did. Yeah, they can. T you can they tell. Keep the game alive. And another well defended shot there. So Berkshire buzzing around now in the field. 146 for five from 35. They're going to need more wickets though. Still Cumbria. Box seat, you'd say, wouldn't you need him 50 or 15 overs? Yes. But Box should take two wickets and then well and truly back in it. Mm. So Great Wood is still bowling. So it's, this could be a tight finish. So they need 50 to win. And Great Wood's back. Short ball, Short ball again. Under it. Certainly a tactic here from Great, uh, Great Wood. Says one for the over, says the umpire. I still think he'll do it. <laughs> Just not above head height, Great Wood. He'd be chest height, man. Yeah, get on his nose, he'll be fine. Let's see what he does here. My guess is going to be a full ball. Oh no, it's short of the length. It's cut, but it's come straight to the fielder. I think he got away with one there, looking at his face. That could have been four, should have been four, really.
Great Woods in again. Fuller delivery here, right on his toes that was. So he's certainly adjusting his lengths. It's good to see, not bowling the same line of length all the time. Desperate to get Watt on strike, I'd have thought. Yeah, absolutely, especially against the pace. Just one or two balls. I think they might even give Semple one, I would, when he comes. And it's kind of a dot ball. Again, yeah. So good dots, there's some great wood, but dots don't cut it for Berkshire, they need wickets. Greatwood in for the fifth ball of the Sova. Short, Short ball again. And Semple just gets underneath it. What's and the umpire says, calling? That's two, that's for, two for the over. So. So if he. Uh, the batsman will probably think it's going to be full it, but you never know. Ooh, good ball. Very well directed bouncer. Let's see what he's got here then. Back of a length. They're going for a quick single. Yeah, easily taken there. Gets himself back on strike. He does, yeah. So Cumbria 147 for five. After 36 overs. We need 49 now from 14. Three and a half runs and over will do it. Five wickets left. So still lowest to carry on. Depends if Great will carry on or not. Depends whether they'll put another spin on the other end. So the left hander of St. Paul still on strike. The, so they've got a deep backward square, a deep cow, and a long on. So all the men out on the leg side. Which makes you think he might be floating up on the middle stump here, but no, he darts it in. Could be a wide, and it is. It will be a wide, yeah. Can't afford to give these wides away. No. We saw Semple, uh, I can't remember, one of the left handers previously came down the wicket and yeah. slotted him through the covers, but there's quite a big gap. That one's more full, just pushed down. Still lots of singles about though, so no need to, you know, go for brownie. The leg side's wide open. Just gotta wait for that one on the leg side. Knock it around. Slower ball this one. Don't know what he's appealing for, but No, it's not bowling too bad, eh? he's doing pretty well. Sunglasses have come off now, he's bowling without them. He means business. He's in again to Semphill, so a wide and two dots. It's back, yep, just the one there. So he's now got what on strike, which is probably what they want because he's seen face two balls and he hasn't got off the mark yet. No, I don't know if what will be too fussed. So lots of gaps, they've, still, they've left the man out of cover on the boundary, so it's an easy single out there. And he just defends it, yeah. Nice and simple. Keeper and slip quite exaggerated there, but he's to blame. He's in again. And he just presses forward. Solid there from Watt. One more ball to go in the over. He's in, he bowls. Oh, and it's played quite late there from Watt, but... <laughs> Keeper's doing everything he can to uh, take those bails off, but Watt had his back foot in. So, 37 overs gone now. One rate required really hasn't moved that much. Still remains at 3.6. 47 runs to win, 78 balls remaining, and five wickets in hand. Just keep knocking it around, and Cumbria could win their first finals day. It's 
So still is great wood. He's putting a real shift in here. Proper shift from the paceman here. And he comes again. Will it be a short ball first up? It's slightly short, not short enough. Fielder does well. So the field is definitely set for the short ball, but it comes in now. It's a decent length. Keeper has to do his fielding here. He'll just sneak a leg by, yep. Yeah. Umpire gives it a leg by. And that's the 150 up. Yep, yeah, 150 for five, so they're still going well. 46 runs required now. 76 balls, so yeah, easily doable. They won't want to leave it too late though. They'll want to get it done with probably 20 balls to spare at least. So what on the strike? It's first time they've gone down this end. They've left the cover open for a single to get them off the mark. But he just decides Short to ball. pull instead. Balls. Yep, good shot from him. It's a well-directed short ball, but Watt did play it well to get off the mark. So, Great Woods in again to the left-handed Sempil. Oh, and that one just... That yeah, I think that might have been a cutter or something there from Great Wood. He's been some hard yards in here. He's bowled uh, a good six or seven overs on the spot. So he's in again to Sempil. And Sempil just gets behind it for none. So the crowd here at Wormsley is staying in to the end of the game. Definitely a good few hundred people here, which is good, brilliant to see. They're in, the, they're in for a tight finish here, potentially. Great would have a last ball of his over. And they go for a quick single. They're taking it, yeah. Great was not happy with himself there. He's simple getting himself back on strike. Yeah. Intelligent cricket there. Yeah, absolutely. So just 44 to win of 12 overs. What will Bart should do? The wicket keeper's having a chat to. Bevan here, captain the wicket keeper. Thinking they've got to do something. Up with a plan, yeah, they've got to come up with a plan. Whether Bevan comes back on and slows it right up, maybe gets it turning. I don't know. But no, Lewis is still carrying on. So will they just give Lewis the uh, Sempil the single against Lewis? The field is spread for him. And he will Yeah, he just worked that through one. the covers, doesn't he? Just get the single. Brings the right handed Watt on strike. So he'll be spinning away from Watt. So I'm not I'm sure they'll have a slip in place, maybe. They do, yeah. Still a man out either side, a deep square leg and a deep cover. Both men straight are up though. Comes, Comes down the wicket. wicket. He whips it through, but he can't get past in the ring. Good intent from what? Yeah. Bear in mind he's on one off seven balls. He's, yeah. he's doing his job so far, just staying there. 
Okay, he's back in cuts and it's... Got through cover and it's yeah. going to be at least one. Yeah, just the one. Cover got half a hand on it, but uh, it was quite a tough chance. He read the length quickly there, did what? He got back quite quick and cut it. So left-handed Semple was back on the strike. And he just dead bats that back into the ground. Yeah, I think Parks have definitely got to change it up here. It's getting a bit too consistent. Got to bring yeah, someone good. else on, or different plans. Just something to get one wicket. One wicket and they're still in it. I think Great would have probably bought his last over. You'd think, yeah. Ball him out. Maximum effort from Greatwood. And then, and then probably uh, a double change, I would say. Yeah, I would probably wouldn't it be against Rishton coming back on maybe and then uh, Beaven coming on this end here to replace Lewis, but we'll see. Well taken by big the shout, keeper. Big Umpire shout, says umpire nothing. unmoved. So it must have hit his leg as no wide was given. And that's the end of the over. It'd be good to see that on replay. So it was definitely down the leg side. I think mm. I just clipped the outside of his pad. Yeah. I think the bowler knew that too, but it's worth a shout. So, Cumbria need 42 more runs to win from 66 balls. So it's definitely not over yet. So a wicket or two here would definitely reduce that. Well, the required run rate is starting to creep up again now. Mm. Now at 3.8. So, I mean, Cumbria won't want to leave this too late. You know, they want to get it done with a good over a two or three to spare, really. So, here we go then. Greatwood into his last over. Oh, this could be a chance, but it's going to fall between the fielders. And they're going to go for two. This could be close. Oh, I think he's gone. He is gone. What a throw. Wow. I think that's Rishon on the boundary love that. there. That's what can happen. Just a moment of brilliance there in the field. A direct hit from the boundary. And he was struggling. Wow. I think that is gone. I think that was def definitely out. Let's see what we got. So slightly the uppish cut there. It went for one. I mean, the was, two was on. But it looked a bit casual to me. Looking at the replay. Keeper leaves it. Oh, he's, he's out. Yeah, yeah certainly gone. Out. By half a yard at least. Yeah, direct hit and he's absolutely gone. Peter Watt was run out for three. Wow. Did he run hard How enough? How a game though? can change. Did he run hard enough for that first run? It all looked a little bit casual to me. Excellent Great pick throw. Up and throw. And he's gone, yeah. He's gone. Direct hit. Gone. Umpire knew straight away. So, what has to go for three? Well, 155 for six. The new Draw batter for Cumbria is number seven on the scorecard, Ed Moulton. So now we're into the bowl. Moulton bowled a great spell early on this morning. He did. Can he be the man great will be five to end the game left. with a bat? Run rate's creeping up to 3.8. This game's now finally in the balance. Right? Mm. That's all it takes in these finals. Just one moment of brilliance to change the game on its head. And I think it was, I think it was rushing on the boundary there. He came in a few yards, clean pick up, beautiful throw, direct hit. See you later. So, Moulton, he's no mug with the bat, he averages 23. I think he can hold his own. Obviously, Barksha, you know, good throw, direct hit. Mm. And if you look back into the first innings, Cumbria had probably six, seven oh, shots at least. direct hits. Oh, at least, yeah. He didn't get any of them. So, great with it in again. And this is down the leg is side. Down down the leg side. And it is a wide. There's been a lot of extras, hasn't there? That's 22 yeah. now, I think. The yeah, 22 extras. The difference in extras is going to be... I well, think quite significant. 22 in a in a low scoring game like this, it's almost 10% yeah. already, you know, that can be the difference. So Greatwood here to Moulton. It's a hard loan for Moulton, defends well. Also, Buckshaw had just gone that bit earlier as well. Yeah, at the end. this they is the trouble. 20, 25 on the, and that would have made it very tight. Mm. It might come home to roost, but we'll see. Yeah, certainly in the balance here. 
So a great wood in again, this time to Moulton still. And he hits it a good length and it just goes to third man for one run. So he gets off the mark. I just can't believe that bit of fielding. That was brilliant. And that is game changing really, isn't it? Absolutely, no, a great bit of fielding. You know, it shows the desire of these players. Simple now really has to dig in. And Staying see alert. The game through for Cumbria. If they're going to get a win here. So Semple on 32. Back on strike against Greatwood. He just gets inside of it and just plays it down. Steadying the ship. Great with it. Short Semple ball. just gets underneath this, lets it go by him. Greatwood gives him a proper stare and I think a word or two there. So great within again. Short ball again. Just ducks underneath it, and that will be his over. So that's his 10 overs done. Ten overs, no maidens, one wicket for 30 runs. Down in the Aegeus at the quarter final, Hampshire posted 306 for nine. So after 40 overs, Cumbria are on 157 for six. Matthew Semple 32, Ed Moulton one. Cumbria need another 39 runs to win at a rate of 3.9 and over. So back to the Hampshire score. Hampshire posted 306 for nine there, 50 overs. We are Worcestershire. now into the final power play where a maximum of five fielders are permitted outside the 30-yard circle. So Bevan's back on. He's in now. And it's a cut there, and they're going to sneak a single. Moulton gets off strike. So we will get to that Hampshire score. So they were Worcestershire chasing 306 for nine. They're currently 208 for four off 38 overs. So they need 99 off 11.4 overs with six wickets remaining. So it looks like Hampshire in box seat mm. for the quarter final. So you know, it's always a good competition, the good. one day cup there. Hampshire put, always put out a young side, calendar players and fringe players. So Beaven back on, the main bowler here, experienced left arm spinner against Semphill. They put the field out to him on the leg side. And he goes to Nerdle, non striker better get back in. So we've got uh, long on, sort of a deep cow, deep backward square. Quicker ball. Yeah. Return to ball at the Deer Park end, Luke Bevan. So a single and two dots from Bevan, so a tidy start, pressure building. Come down the wicket, and they're going to sneak a single, yeah. Every run being cheered here by the Cumbria supporters. It's not over yet, though. No, they still need 37. 9.2 overs, so it's very doable. Four and over required. The experience beaving on all his left arm spinners. Moulton just defends. Will Moulton be the one to take the attack? He comes in again, slightly short of pitch, hits the splice of the bat for no run. That's even seventh so over now completed. Two for 29. Again, the run rate requirement jumps up a little further. 4.1 runs unable to win. The 37 of 54 balls required. Cumbria 159 for 6. 
be the 41st over. Greatwood's obviously bowled out now, so it'll be a change of bowling from the Dibley end. It looks like Woods is back. To bowl lives off spin. Yeah, I think spin is going to be the way again. This seems to be harder to hit. They have to generate the pace, don't they? So who have we got? The left-handed temples on strike. We've got a deep backward square, a long on and long off, and a deep cover. So the sweep shots are on. Reverse, we've seen him do a reverse sweep. Let's see what he does here. So Woods into bowl to Sempil. Drives. Drive through extra covers on. That's what we're trying attempting to do. Let's do another dot ball. Certainly in the balance still this game. Cumbria still only 37. Four wickets in hand. Anything can happen. Woods bowling well, good first three balls there. Mm. Pressure is building. Bowling at the Dibley end, Ewan Woods. Comes on the wicket. wicket, punches it down the ground, and this will be one. <laughs> Cumbria team. Keen to cheer on every run. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what they do against Moulton here. Will they bring the field up and make them try and hit through it? Two balls to go in the over. Will they just give them a single and get them on strike for the next over? So I think they just go move deep square around. So there's definitely a gap on the leg side there. And is he going to go all the way to deep in the wicket? I think he probably is. Anything short, he can capitalise here. There's a big gap on the leg Sweeps side. On. Doesn't Hughes go down? Bowler gets it. Mid off has come up. So there is a long one out as well. Goes for the drive. Oh, fielded. This could be another run out. It's oh, out. he's gone, surely. <laughs> and it's the left hander. Semple has to go. The Great man in form. Fielding. Wow, how that can change the game. And in these key moments, isn't it? These direct runouts could be the, the deciding factor here because my word, there was a lot missed in the first innings, and they've had two in the second innings, and they've both got direct That's hits. And two Archer's wickets. ground fielding has been impeccable. So here we go on replay. Nice drive. Fielded as well to get a hand to it, and then oh, oh this is going to be close. We'll have to have a look at it, but I think I think Semple knows he's gone. Looked out. From the naked eye, oh, that view's not going to yeah, show us. I think he is. I gone, think he is yeah. out, but we could just see it from the other angle and just slow it up a bit. Oh, Moulton, what's he, he done can. there? Berkshire team in a huddle. A huddle. Let's just see again Here we go. from that other angle. Moulton wanted the single. I think he. Oh, this is close. This is very can you run close. That back? I don't know if we've got any more angles in it, but nonetheless, umpire says it's out, so he's got to go. Wow, we two here direct we hits. Here we, here we go. This is probably the this best. Might be Matthew Semple was so run out for 34. Oh, he started at the start. He didn't. The new. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, gone. Bat in the air. He's a goner. Bat in the air. He's a goner. I think if he died, if maybe. Yeah, there was a little stutter at the start. Right. There was a stutter at the start. I think he thought he was, was going to be safe there and didn't think there was going to be a direct hit. It really has changed the complexion of the game. 160 to Wow. Seven. 36 needed or 8.1 overs. Three wickets to win. Three wickets and the run rate's gone 4.4. Leave them back on. Wow. Well, we didn't think about this at half oh, point. This is going to be a very tight finish. This is 
has been cut away. Just the one to deep cover. So, two new batsmen in. So, Moulton, the man that took the single, ran out his other partner. Beaven's in. Oh, a ball. It's beating the bat. He yeah, was turning it earlier, so just nicely gripping flighted. Gripping it a little bit, just enough. Wow. Beaven again. Tosses it up. Just blocked. Balls remaining and coming down. Still need 36 to win. Quicker ball. Just edged it into the deck. Another dot ball. Beautiful over from Woods uh, from Beaven so far. Dot ball's gonna be absolutely vital now. In its late stages. Ball slightly slower. Oh, oh. Again. Beaven can't believe it. That's Beaven super over. over from him. Two for thirty. Wow. So 35 meters off seven overs, a requirement now of five and over, the highest Gosh. it's been in the entire second innings. Can't write it, can you? Cannot write it. Low scoring games, they're always exciting these, especially in the final. And two new bats, it's not going to be easy for them. No, absolutely not. But remember, Beaven's only got two overs left after the. Well, Two overs left in a spell. So they're going to have to be interesting to see when he bowls and if he bowls them out. It's Lewis, I think, coming on from the other end. It is. So who have we got? We've got a slip in, deep cover. We've got a long off, a deep mid wicket, and that's it. So yeah, the sweep shot's still on. But will he take the risk? We also need to start clicking some runs off now. A so it's going to be an easy single. Yeah, they'll take the single. I think they'll just keep dealing in singles for now. Wait for a bad one. You know, a single ball will do it with 12 runs, uh, 12 balls to spare. So it's just the wickets. It's all about the wickets. Defending champions Berkshire are fighting back in this competition. Can they somehow manage a win here from nowhere? Lewis is in. This is oh, chips. it could be out. And he's gone. Caught and bowled. He top edged it straight back to the bowler. Lewis with well. the wicket and Moulton's got to go. My well. word. What's going on here? Cumbria are collapsing here. And Berkshire, I would say now, a favourite. A favourite. Look at this. So, well bowled. Moulton's feet went nowhere. Poor shot, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Lewis had to move quite quickly to his right. Looking to work the ball off Little his bit legs of spin and as just well. got a leading edge straight back to the bowler. Another striker almost got in the way. Couldn't believe it. Beautifully bowled. Catch him, he says, and he's caught. Moulton can't believe it. He trudges off. So, well. another turn in this game. Well, in Berkshire were 56 for 6. We thought it was game over. Wow, I know. Oh, the batsman on the way out just dropped his bat. Cumbria now 160 for, 162 for eight. We have seven overs to go. There's definitely some chat going on out there. The well, pressure's, came the pressure's out. definitely building now. Oh, Bart should do anything to get these wickets. Doesn't matter how they get them. So Lewis still So Lewis bowling to I'm not sure who yet, we haven't been told, but he's bowling. And he defends. 
excitement levels are going through the roof here for Berkshire. Oh, he's flicked the it. Side. It should get two be runs there. Be even top the quickest. Yep, definitely two there. Well run. I think it's Sharp who is the batter. I can't. Not for certain. No. Yeah, sorry about the delay. But Drew Postle's rate was caught and bowled by Ewan Wood for no score. And no, the new batter for Cumbria is number 10 on the scorecard, Sam Sharp. So it wasn't Moulton that had to depart, it was Postle weight. Oh, another dot ball. So two balls left this over. Cumbria 164 oh, for eight. Sam Sharp can bat. He's got two fifties before. Ooh, he nearly got through on a bit. <laughs> a smile from Sharp, and that will end the over. So an eventful one. Yeah, there's Sharp stats. Good six overs from Lewis. Two for nineteen. Sharp can hold a bat. They've got to carry on with Beaven, haven't they, surely? Yep. Beaven to bowl his ninth over of the match. 32 needed to win. Six overs left. Run rate required now 5.3. And this could still go either way. So you've got long on, long off. Demon wickets going out. Got deep cover. Four in the ring, saving one. And then comes Beaven. Down the leg side, big appeal. Nothing given. Must again have hit side pad. No wide given. Another dot ball. And every ball now, the uh, run rate is starting to climb up. Currently at 5.7. So Cumbria need to get the scoreboard moving. Another dot ball, well fielded by Beaven off his own bowling. Pressure is now building for Cumbria. Oh, it looks like one of the fielders has got an injury. It's going to be a straight substitution. It is a straight substitution. So the 12th man is on for Berkshire. Subfielder for Berkshire, Charlie Dunnett. So he's done it his webbing, apparently, I've, I heard. Yeah. That's not nasty. I've done that a few times before. It's That's horrible. not good, especially near the end of the game when you really want to be on the pitch, oh, don't you? Oh, no, yeah. I don't think he'll be coming back on, unfortunately. No, I don't so. think so. Not worth the risk. So then, Beaven, three dots to start this over. What can you do now? Lovely fly to him, but another dot. Cumbria really easy so to get now hold of because if they 32 don't... 32 from 32, that's how quickly it's come down. And only two wickets to win. It's right in the balance here. Cut away for one run. Be a single. So one ball left of the over. Cumbria really do need to put the foot down a little bit. Mm. I know they've got... Hardly any wickets in hand here, but I mean, they do need to the, get the runs. One big over, you know, 10 or 12 from it will soon help, but you just can't see it happening right now. Something drastic would have to happen. The Berkshire bowlers have been sublime in this second half. Well, Beaven's bowled a tidy spell. Mm. Last ball of the over, down the so leg side. That's going to be a wide ball. Another run to the total. I think a few Cumbria fans were cheering that wide on. <laughs> but Beaven, this is not his first rodeo. He's been there many times before. He comes in again. Comes down the, down the wicket. 
And he's, and he's gone. gone. Stumped. Nine down. And the keeper's giving him some right chart there. Well, you've got to say now, this is Shot in Berkshire's has hands. To go. And Cumbria, from a position of complete strength for, for a good chunk of this game, wow. are now looking like they're going to lose Just watch for this. the fourth year Come running. Down the wicket, skips. Keeper was like, you going to get back in or not? Nope. Definitely some words out there. High level cricket though. Beautifully bowled by Beaven. That's his third now. Well, the game has turned on its head, hasn't it? It really has. Who would have thought, hey? I mean, Berkshire were looking dead and berries. Especially when Dutton was. Sam Sharp was stamped by Dan Lincoln, bowled Luke Bevan for two. Stamped or stamped. <laughs> but you know. The you know. new batter for Cumbria is number 11 on the scorecard. <laughs> Matthew Siddle. So, Siddle and Moulton need to do something a bit dramatic now. They well, need yeah. 30 need off 30 out balls. The, out the hat here. Six runs and over now needed. The highest it's been throughout the whole game. And it really it's doesn't look like it's going to happen. No. But you go back to the thing, you know, Barcher have been there many, many times, eight times in the last ten years. So they've won it in the last three years against the same opposition. And Looking like it's going to be the sometimes, fourth. Sometimes, you know, some teams, they just have a habit of winning these close games. And when it's especially a final, they just somehow get over the line. You know, they look dead and buried at the halfway in their 25 overs when they were batting. But they showed fight, they showed spirit, they bowled well, fielded well, two direct hits. And now look where they are. 30 runs to win, 30 balls remaining, one wicket in hand. Can Lewis do it? He's down back stack. There's Moulton. Another dot. Run rate goes up. And this is going to be the thing now, isn't it? Every dot ball is going to keep rapidly creeping that run rate required up. So Lewis in here. Oh, close. that could be close. Umpire that could be close. Says not, not out. out. Oh, oh the can we get a side on replay of that? Captain of Barcher, the wicket keeper, is in despair here. We here. Go. It's going to be, can't really see the line here. He does come down, doesn't he? Look. Ooh. Oh, I think uh, it's tough. It's hard to tell from here. It's hard to He line does take a yard. He takes a step forward. The line's probably. Takes a step. Oh, I think. I'll tell you what. That's out. I think he's a goner, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. And that's out anyway. Well, that's, that's out anyway, it. and Barcher have won. Game over. Wow. My word, how's well, that happened? Cumbria have got to be absolutely gutted. Ed Moulton was uh, caught and bowled by Rodri Lewis for five. Uh, Cumbria are all out for 166. Wow, who could have wrote that, hey? No, I mean, well played then to Berkshire. The Berkshire have won by 39 runs and are the 2023 National County Trophy champions. Well, you can't believe that, can you, really? Wow. I mean, Berkshire have played brilliantly to How get themselves it? back in and win this match. Uh, the presentation will take place in front of the pavilion in a few minutes. So, there's nothing else to say apart from Cumbria let that one slip. They had it in their hands and they've just let Absolutely. it slip pretty much. And between Beaven and Here Lewis taking the, six uh, wickets. Berkshire bowling figures, Tom Nugent, seven overs, one maiden, no wicket for 32. Andy Rishton, seven overs, two maidens, one wicket for 19. Luke Bevan, nine overs, no maidens, three wickets for 32. Toby Greatwood, ten overs, no maidens, one wicket for 30. Ewan Woods, six overs, no maidens, no wicket for 21. And Rodri Lewis, six overs and three balls, no maidens, three wickets for 19. Wow. Incredible scenes, really. Well, a great final. Great oh, final. Excellent final. Yeah, the crowd got a brilliant game there. You wouldn't have guessed that. No, both ha sides. At halfway, or even two thirds of the way through the game, would you? So Berkshire turned it on its head. Both sides had a chance to win it there. We've got the game in a day. It's yeah. really important. Absolutely. Some good cricket seen. And well done yeah. to Berkshire. Fantastic yeah. performance. Be interesting to see if they're both here next year. Fifth time in a row. <laughs> yeah. Maybe fifth time's the charm for uh, 
for Cumbria, but who knows? But yeah, well played to everyone. Brilliant day here at Wormsley Estate. And hopefully everyone's enjoyed it on the, on the live stream. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching. The live stream will carry on um, for the presentation, um, but the commentary will be stopping in a minute or two. So thank you all for watching, and um, we'll see you soon. Indeed. Cheers. Thank you.